Jewelry makers, join me this weekend where we'll be exploring uh, an incredible collection of jade. On the Friday, I'm launching what is being deemed as the newest jade on earth, coming from a location in Pakistan. It is known as Sananskan. Uh, I was there um, the week that Cartier placed the huge initial uh, order on this material for their debut collection. And we have got one of the, if not the most supreme grade I've ever seen. And then on Saturday, join me for the original jade. We're talking Kotan mutton fat with that tallow-like luster, carrot weights and strands like we have never previously bought to you. Very, very limited, but an exceptional, exceptional showcase for true collectors. Hello everyone, it's Mark here. I'm delighted to be inviting you to join myself, Eleanor and the crew, this Saturday, 5th of August, Come and join us on our safari. We've got an amazing lineup, including eight o'clock show opener, the most incredible elephant pendant. Nine o'clock, we couldn't be going on safari without Botswana Agate. I've got five incredible kits to show you. I'm not gonna tell you about the deal of the day, that's a bit of a secret, but at 12 o'clock, keeping the safari theme, I've got three kits, including the most incredible tassel toppers. We've got a leopard, We've got a lion and we've got an elephant. So join us all this Saturday morning, the 5th of August. You heard it here first. lovely jewelry makers how are we all this bright glorious friday morning yeah a little bit of a bit busy here in the studio i'm not used to it like this it's like ah normally I, it's, it's hobby maker that follows jewelry maker but it's been the other way around this morning because we had the gorgeous sarah davis in the building and not to be outdone we have got royalty in our studio today as well in our studio, we have got the beautiful, the wonderful, the lady who started it all, the wonderful Linda Brumwell. Oh, she's just getting on a chair. One second, one second. Sorry, Adam. Sorry, she is there. Look at a vision, a vision in red she is today. There she is. Sorry, Adam. I did hear you as well. Just didn't process what you were saying. <laughs> um, <laughs> wait there, Al. Wait there. Wait there, Al. Wait, wait. Sorry. Um, yes, we've got a fantastic, re truly, I think one of the best shows for you today because your kits are absolutely out of this world. The jewellery is nothing short of inspiring. You've got wonderful demonstrations and you also have the fantastic Dave Troth stepping into the studio who quite literally is bringing some of the finest jade that I've ever, ever seen. Hot off his trip from China. And you know, I said this to, um, to Roscoe just a few moments ago. I was like, Ross, you know when you kind of like, you, your expectations are there obviously, but then they're massively, massively, uh, um, you underestimate just how beautiful it is. This is the most imperial I have ever seen. And I'm saying that without, with little to no knowledge um, on this discovery, on this parcel. Um, we've got sizes that I certainly wasn't expecting. Check out the quality of this launch. They are coming up today at 10 o'clock from Pakistan. So it's a brand new location and it's called Sanan Skan. Um, and it's the translucency for me. I'd never imagined that it would have that level of translucency. Plus, we've got carvings. As you can see, you've got massive sizes just here as well. Incredible. And it's all totally and utterly. Let me just scooch it like that for a sec. Totally and utterly natural. Um, this is going to erupt. Because one thing I do know is our wonderful audience have somewhat of a knowledge when it comes to jade. What you're looking for, you're looking for colour. 
you're looking for translucency, you're looking for that glow, and I've never seen anything quite like this. It's happening at 10 o'clock today with lovely Dave. Also, can I show you your early bird? Because your early bird's absolutely beautiful. Now, you can shop ahead and pre-order on this right now. It's in 925 sterling silver. You've got a beautiful button pearl and mother of pearl, the perfect combination. Um, exquisite carving. I mean, look how beautiful that is. It's item number one, your early bird, in this hour, so you can shop ahead. We've got 160 of these available, but I don't think there's going to be 160 um, for very, very long. Um, in fact, I think this is going to be an on-screen sellout. I mean, literally just feed that directly onto a chain, 18 inch, 20 inch, whatever your preferred length. Um, six have gone already since we've just discussed. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at all. I mean, look, you've got carved shell full of uh, that wonderful iridescence and then the luster of that pearl. So they're coming up. It's at number one on the website right now. Um, now, if you have a little look on the website, all the W's at jewelrymaker.com, you'll see a menu of absolutely exquisite beauties, even if we do say so ourselves. Um, click watch live in the top right hand side of the screen and then you'll scroll down. There's the early bird, which is not stopping at 49.99. I can assure you of that. Um, scroll down, you've got some sterling silver components. You've got some beautiful multi gems. Um, you've got your lengths of chain. You've got my favorite earrings in nine. You've got carvings. You've got some natural cultured pearls. You've got some tanzanite. You've got some slider bracelets. Gold chain, when do we ever see that? Um, you've got some of your elephants left. Not many of these though, by the way. So some items will be extremely limited. Limited. Some last of stock opportunities in your Botswana as well, so which has been ages since we had that. Very, very last of stock. Um, we've got some Grandidurite as well, some beautiful aquamarine. You've got some of your beautiful master carvings in jadeite. Um, so do take a little look at your oh, look, items selling out already. Do take a look um, at the website. Um, ooh, 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 um, because there's lots of items on there that might just tickle your fancy. And without further ado, because it is going to be an absolute cracker of a Friday, I think we should say hello to our lovely crew, don't you? We've got our beautiful Linda, who's got, like I said, stunning kits, Linda, today. Absolutely. Amazing kits. Very you, I thought, when I was yes. prepping for today's yeah, show. Yeah, they are. Yeah, absolutely. The, do you know what your nine o'clock kits are going to? No. Let's just say it's a mega deal. Wow. There are Koya pearls, which I'm yeah. sure you know that anyway, yeah. but a Koya pearls. And frankly, it's one of those individually they've closed at a certain price point, an amazing price point for jewelry maker. But today the deal is unbelievable. Right. Okay. Um, nice. So, yeah, that's happening at nine o'clock today. Beautiful jewelry, as always. We've got this is a nice treat. We've got the wonderful Alan on camera this morning. <laughs> Hi, Alan. Hello. Hello. We are, for what do we owe this pleasure? You stepping in so early. I'm just covered, just being just, just here seeing you all. Oh, bless on. him, bless no, him. So you, know, you did it for free. Did it for free. That's good of you. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Scott did get coffees in. Yes, I saw. I've got mine there. You got your coffee. There you go. So it's not quite for free. You got yourself, <laughs> yeah. got yourself a very expensive free. coffee. Yes. Um, oh, and are you with us for the whole show? Uh, no, this is one hour. Just oh, one hour only. Yeah. You might not know it, but actually you are. Here for the whole show. Oh, well, I'll, 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 I'll <laughs> um, yeah, 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 you can present at 10 o'clock, says Roscoe. He's kicking me off, clearly, clearly. Right. Um, we have as well, I don't know if he's in the background, but is that gorgeous Dan? Is he there? There he is. He's in the gallery directing me this morning, telling me what to do. I'll go here, I'll go there, I'll do this. Um, and then the man with all the deals and fresh from, I don't know what that noise is, sorry, fresh from, um, baby scan it's producer roscoe hello how are you doing and how was baby healthy everything looking really 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 good amazing well we can't wait we cannot wait to meet baby ross um they've booked chloe in for another scan in, in four weeks time she goes don't worry it'll come it'll, baby will come by then <laughs> She's not waiting. Yeah, I know. Do you remember that feeling? In oh, yeah. Remember yeah, that yeah. feeling? The problem is, if you think that, it doesn't happen. Yeah. It doesn't no. happen. Um, apparently, 
on Monday, <laughs> Chloe was convinced that they were going to tell her, right, you can have the baby today, but they didn't, no, no. Um, yeah, don't tell Chloe this, but both of my babies were two weeks late. Two weeks, yeah, they were. Mine were both two weeks early. Yours were early. Oh, that's a win. That's yeah. a win. Oh, yeah. Yeah, when you finish work on the Friday and then you've got a child on the Tuesday. Yeah, OK, yeah. yeah. Bit of a shock. <laughs> a bit of a shock, not time to plan. No. I was having contractions in the jewellery maker studio. I remember. Yeah, do you remember that? I was do. I on the with you? I think I was, wasn't yeah. I? Yeah. Yeah, genuinely, I was like, oh, OK. Yeah, and I remember telling <laughs> Liam, and he was like, what? It's all right, Liam, I'm not going to have the baby right now. And then he just started talking about viewing ratings and things like that. He said, well, I think it would be good for viewing. <laughs> um, <laughs> OK, shall we get cracking? Um, yeah, did you watch Jewelry Maker? She had, yeah, the presenter had her baby on her. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. If only. If only. If only. Yeah. Right then, shall we get cracking? Get your messages in. Do come and say hello to us because we would absolutely love to hear from you. Are you excited about your kids? Your amazing Pakistan Jade launch is just going to be so, so, so incredible. Um, and your early bird, like I said, up, truly beautiful. I'm going to start with a gorgeous flower donut. Loving that. You could just simply do a lark said not, couldn't you? I'm going to get the tweezers so you can see it better. Um, are you ready? Hold on to your hat because it's going to be a busy show. Um, 20 carats, hand carved, an absolutely beautiful carved donut. Sorry about that. £16.99 would be a great price considering it is a natural, genuine gemstone. Hand carved with that beautiful blossom, cherry blossom pink. How about we squeeze this under £10 for you all? How about that? I mean, it's hand carved. It's quite, um, I'm trying to think of her name. Mary Quant, is it? She goes for these quite geometric, mm -hmm, quite mm -hmm. uh, simplistic flowers. Now, we've got 20 of these left within the vault. Another price crash. And we are still not stopping here. Still not going to stop at 7 99 Using this time wisely to guarantee yours. Lark said not. Feed it onto a chain. You could incorporate into your knotting all of the above. Maybe instead of a, a tassel, you could have this at the bottom. Mm -hmm. um, in, say, a Marla necklace. I think that would be absolutely beautiful. Um, in 52 seconds, we are going to take this super low. But we only have 20, or had, I should say, because people are checking out already. And if you love this, maybe you're thinking of a combination also within this hour we have some of your amazonites so maybe they could tessellate what do you reckon in like a lariat style linda would that work that would really work i'm just thinking as well with something like sakura agate oh yeah around the neckline that's a nice idea would be lovely wouldn't lovely it? yeah because yeah, it's got blossoms in hasn't yes. it sakura Ag agate yeah. yeah so your um amazonite version is also within the hour you can shop ahead on that one too straight away there's multi buyers getting involved good morning lovely jewelry makers hope you're all well hope you've had a nice couple of days you're certainly in for an amazing Friday that's for certain um, don't be shy come and say hello we'd love to hear from you we are live here in the studio hello Angela and Lisa and Kate and Kim and Alison and Sue and Jay Marie and Catherine and Rachel and Genoifa and Nicola uh, sorry Nicola uh, Alison nice to see you as well we only had 20 <coughs> and that quantity is dropping quickly especially when it's six pounds and 99 pence it's a genuine gemstone 6.99 md scott just popped to the coffee shop before we came live he came, he came in with trays and trays of coffee and i'm fairly sure you know spent a bit more than that oh yeah well to be fair he definitely spent more than that yeah. there was about 20 coffees in his uh, yeah i was like okay. how 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 are you planning on getting all this in <laughs> you know we're talking about a gemstone that will last an eternity a lifetime um and yet we're only at 6.99 you know what to do make sure you're checking out your baskets congratulations do you want another one says our roscoe yes please yes please let's go with the amazonite flower shall we is it the flower the fleur 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 um, amazing. So, yeah, if you like the idea of actually having the two of them in one piece of jewellery, maybe you could put complementing strands alongside it. Um, and here is the stone itself. How many do we have of these then, Roscoe? 
20 again, got exact same number. It'd be nice for Botswana, actually, as well, I think, because mm. there's a few Botswanas within the hour. And that new jade that we've got coming oh, up. Oh, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's unbelievable, isn't it? So this is San and Scarn Jade launching today for the first time. Um, we're not stopping here. No, we're not stopping at £19.99. pence. It's totally natural, beautiful, soft pastel blues. Um, of your Amazonite, which forms in lots of different locations around the world, of course. Um, I really like this kind of azure blue, you know, like sky blue, summer's day sky blue. Um, just transports you, I think, to tropical destinations, you know, experiencing nice, glorious sunshine that we haven't had here in the UK over the last month. What has been going on? What has been going on with July? Let's hope that August is going to be much, much, much better. Um, you what, sorry? You feel like we haven't really had a summer? Well, we had a lovely June. June was nice, yeah. June was nice, and, and, and April was, I think, quite nice. But yeah, July, not so much, not so much. But I try to, you know, every cloud and all that. Six ninety nine for this beautiful Amazonite. I always think, though, if we didn't have the rainfall here in the UK, the UK wouldn't be as lush as it is. Absolutely not, no. You know when you go on holiday and then you fly back? One of my favourite moments yeah. is when you start Coming seeing over all the... the channel and you start to come down. And you see all the, the green, green fields. fields. Yeah, it's one of my favourite moments that you appreciate where you live then, don't yeah. you? Uh, 6 99 only, lots of multi-buyers getting involved. Lisa, hello to you, Chris and Jean. Hello to you, Rachel, Genoefa, Nicola. Nicola. Uh, Devon, nice to see you as well. Yeah, you could keep this super simple or you could create something, you know. A big statement look, couldn't you? Yes, definitely. Sky's the limit. Literally, sky's the limit. Like that. Nightmare. Knotting, incorporate into knotting, or you could just put jump rings, big jump rings. And yeah. maybe have like a few of these yes. and then a jump ring in between. Yeah. Statement necklace. Mm, yes, Lots of necklace. potential and opportunities. Well done, everybody. Um, if you love the flower do donuts, there are a few others on the website. So do have a little look. So 22, there's clear quartz. 24, there's amethyst as well, which imagine all of those together in one piece of jewellery. Oh, and you've got mookite looking number 27. So you could team all of those together if you wanted to. Or maybe create your own little collection. And call it something like, I don't know, off the top of my head, fleur. Donuts for us. Donuts for us. I like that. <laughs> Flowery donuts. Petal yeah. donuts. I don't know. <laughs> you could probably come up with way better. Um, okay. Let's bring you two mils. Beautiful two millimetre stones. You've got labyrinth and tourmaline. Um, full of sparkle. Never underestimate your two millimetre stones. They can create lots of texture, um, lots of luster, bring little bits of pops of colour. A nice alternative to knotting, Linda? Very much so. I mean, I think you hit the nail on the head then when you said don't underestimate your two mil uh, gemstones because yep. they play a huge yep. part um, in jewellery making. Um, as far as being inspired, you see, I love a little bit of sparkle. I mean, look yeah, at that. Yeah, I know. It's amazing. I love a little bit of sparkle, a little bit of bling, and these have it in shed loads. Of you can also use them in, in, you know, in, in, instead of your Mayuki. So if you're a sea yes. beader, yeah, you, you can, can use yes. your, your, your you micro gemstones yeah. um, um, instead of or alongside your sea beads. Things like uh, Mark's Kiss Cross and, um, will work, you know, or maybe your looming. You could use them in looming as well. Lots of potential. Now you're getting both strands. Your cashmere, beautiful silver, natural labradorite, and the blue is the shiller that you get naturally within this gemstone. Plus, then you've got your wonderful palette of colour within your tourmaline, um, totally natural once again. I mean, just imagine how difficult it is to actually facet gemstones to that size, you know, to get that symmetry, I suppose, and obviously to heighten their gems um, already. Um, beauty. So here we are at £19.99. pence. You do get both strands. Let's get everybody involved. Eight carats on each of those strands. Now, the first price crash that you're going to see is not even where we are stopping. Do we have quantity? Yes. It's wow. Not even where we're stopping. I've just said, like, I was just saying, imagine how difficult it is to facet a gemstone to two millimeters in their size. 
you know, to bring out even more beauty from those natural gemstones. And we're at four pound per strand and not even stopping there. We've got quantity. Um, tassels, these make amazing tassels on something like your featherweight head pins. I'm rubbish at knotting, terrible. No matter how many times I try, rubbish at it. So do you know what I do? I use a, a, a two mil or a three millimeter gemstone in between um, as an alternative. And that kind of looks the same, I suppose, um, but with more luster. We're at four pounds per strand, but we are are going lower lovely jewelry makers so uh, make sure you are checking out nice and early we've got quantity even if you've never used a two mil gemstone before you know they're not to be feared I understand they're a little bit smaller in their scale obviously but they've still got really the same size drill hole not the same size as the, you know they've got they've got a drill hole which is not difficult to thread onto is my point is that right would you That's say absolutely right yeah Completely. You can still treat them the same way as yeah, you Yeah, I mean, if you're a beginner in um, jewellery making, don't think that you can't manage these because you can. Treat them exactly the same as any other size gemstone. Yeah, um, And as I say, once you've used them, you'll want to collect a yeah. full collection of gemstone to your facets. Yeah, it's beautiful. Five pounds and 99 pence only. That shouldn't be the price of one strand, let alone two. Three quid. So that coffee that, that MD Scott bought us all this morning would have definitely cost more than three quid, wouldn't it? I'm well, yeah. I, I mean, I've said this a few times when we have two mil gemstones on air, but um, initially, like going back to the very beginning of jewellery making, when we first moved to this studio for the first time, um, Sarah Bennett, that's the wife of the well, co-founder of, of the company Gemporia, um, had all of these strands in her office mm -hmm. hanging on the wall and you just could not help but be drawn into yeah, them beautiful. just to look at them. It was a wall of sparkle. Yeah. And I said, Sarah, you know, are we going to be having these? And she said, we just can't at the moment because they are so expensive. So expensive. To buy. And that's understandable really, isn't it? Yeah. Given the work that goes into faceting them of that size. Um, speaking of, wow, speaking of, now this is full of saturation, full of vibrant colour, neon appetite, always has been one of my absolute favorites the quality of this is absolutely unbelievable because it should live up to its name neon it should have that wonderful intensity that luminosity um, within that beautiful blue there aren't many gemstones many blue gemstones that can pack the same punch if you like that uh, neon appetite can straight away i have to tell you 29.99 for faceted coins they're four millimeters in their size of this and it's totally natural um is unbelievable but we're going to better than half that price um better than half there are only 12 of these left though so well done to paula and carol the first people who are in uh, making sure they don't miss out on this opportunity last chance saloon on this totally natural in its color there's no enhancement whatsoever and yet we're at 12 pounds and 99 pence only to get hold of this be look at it it's electrifying neon appetite should have that intensity you should be able to notice it from meters away which i mean alan's a good what two and a half meters from me um, um, and you can absolutely, you can absolutely, you can see, look, ooh, Alan, ooh, over there. You can absolutely see that gorgeous intensity of colour. Meath has got three, Rachel, Paula, London, Carol, well done. Keep on dialing through. Only a couple of those left. Um, I do have that, yes. Now, this strand, um, this bundle, rather, because it's not just a strand, is absolutely incredible. So I'm just going to borrow my white piece of paper because it comes with a clasp. Now... <clears throat> I had the privilege of bringing this to air and I was saying, you know, you, you visual, visualise yourself watching an auction at Sotheby's or at Christie's or at Bonham's. Something like this is not going to be at 6 99 It's not. It's going to be considerably more because what I have draped over the back of my hand is type A natural green jadeite and natural Burmese ruby. Now we have the last four chances Look at the quality of the ruby. Look at the beautiful glow, apple blossom green of your type A jadeite. Last few, and you get that stunning class, which is encrusted with rubies, of course, and zircon. Um, so all you need to do is, I don't know, well, you might, you might reconfigure it if you wanted to, but you could knot that with some of your silk, use something like your wire guardians on there, and you've made such luxury jewellery. This is, you know, the ilk that Sotheby's and Christie's and Bonham's work with. That's where it was inspired by, actually, a piece that was actually sold in one of those big auction houses. So it was inspired 
inspired by um, <coughs> one of those big designers. Um, or was it first dibs? Either, either, or. They're way beyond my budget. Um, now, these are the final few. We're at £699. You can also break it down into bite-sized chunks using your 0% interest split payment as well. Um, tell you what. <coughs> How about if we take your split payments to £100 each? Bearing in mind this is natural ruby. Natural uh, jadeite. And you also get your gem encrusted clasp. We are no way near done. There are just four, four chances remaining. That's it. Once they are gone, they are gone. To actually put together these components is incredibly difficult because you're sourcing, firstly, less than 5% of the world's ruby is natural. That's what you're getting here. And we know that in the world, the wonderful world of jadeite, type B and type C, that's fine, but it doesn't really have any future value. Um, type A absolutely does. It means it's totally void of um, all treatment. It's natural as Mother Nature intended. It's the best. It's the best that you can possibly source. So we are at £399, but we are no way near stop. We've only got four of them left. I do get that's still a considered purchase, but not reflective to what it would be elsewhere. I genuinely meant it. If you saw this knotted together, sold on First Dib, Sotheby's, Bonhams, any of those places, it certainly would not have been £699. And it most definitely would not be at 149 Look at your split payments, jewellery makers, £37.25. Now, all four are still currently available, but we are actually over allocated. It's not guaranteed to you until you make that confirmation. You need to check them out. Remember, you can add to your order. It's still only one post in packaging all day. This is the kind of legacy jewellery that I want to pass on to my girls, you know? This is the kind of jewellery that I know, you know, when, when my days are done, um, that they're probably not going to be able to get hold of, unless, of course, you know, they make fortunes doing whatever they do. This is probably a gemstone, or should be, I should say, two gemstones, um, that they're going to have to dig pretty deep into their pockets. Because Burmese jade is no longer coming from the ground, and, and the the ruby, well, it's less than 5% of the world's ruby has this natural color. Rachel, huge congratulations to you. Heather, huge congratulations to you. I have also got Lancashire and an anonymous um, web bidder. And I have got people on the phone lines for the last two. That, that's it. Two in the world. That's it. Once they're gone, they're gone. This is not likely to be another sort of auction opportunity that I can bring to air. One left now. Four of you have it in your baskets. I'll leave it with you because I understand, um, you know, conversations to be made. Let's now bring you, uh, I don't see those, Roscoe. No, unless they're in the box. I don't. Okay. Oh, I love this strand. It's absolutely beautiful. Lovely, very linear. In the fact that you've got these, I love smooth, smooth rondelles are my favourite, I think, at the moment, Linda. I think you just get this really consistent, smooth, very simple, simple uh, shape. Simple, but very classic, isn't yes. it? Yes, yeah. Know, it's um, the shades of those gemstones there work beautifully together beautifully as a bracelet well you've got kind of like your aqua in here you've got aqua which is incredibly rare in jade yeah. you've got your imperial white and red. you have the rarest color of all red now red only ever occurs when when some and i say some because not all boulders do this um some boulders of jade oxidize and you're talking millimeters if you're lucky of that oxidization it's totally and utterly natural now we've relayed the message from um the powers that be that we are not buying any more red jade we can't we cannot buy it it's it's far too expensive and that's for the treated variety this is totally and utterly natural you've got aqua blues you've got imperial white which was once upon a time historically reserved solely for the emperors of china and you've got the rarest color of all in red this is one of the few and i do mean few um red jade opportunities that we have within our entire partnership not just here at jewelry maker the entire partnership so to be at 999 
I, look, I'm not sitting here saying that's not a considered amount. It is. However, for what we are getting, it's an act. You know, that's more than fair. More than fair. We can't purchase it for what's, you know, more often than not what we bring them to air for. And you've got your split payments. It is genuinely one of our favourite strands. We're all saying it. Um, that we have within the vault. Love how linear, how simplistic those smooth rondelles are. Um, let's take it down to your early bird price tag, jewellery makers. Lots of you watching today. Wow, did we do that? We didn't, right, okay. Who did? We took it lower. I can't believe we did that. It's the royal we, isn't it? Oh, it was with Dave, so we had, we had, okay, that's all right then. Now, you know, I just said we cannot buy our jade for the prices that we bring them to air currently. Imagine what that sentence is going to sound like in, in, in a few years' time. You know, it's, it's ludicrous. It's laughable, quite frank, frankly, that we are bringing you just one of those red jadeites at 99.99. It's not unrealistic, but you have an entire strand 33 pounds and 33 pence on your split payments. Um, we're going even lower. I remember this strand so vividly because I can remember saying, I'd just put, turn that into a stretchy bracelet for my husband. It's the kind of jewelry that I know he would wear on a regular basis and never take off. You've got all the history and the meaning behind Jade. Um, but most people think, oh, Jade, yeah, that's green. And it is, it comes in a beautiful green color. Wait until you see the ones at 10 o'clock. Uh, but it also comes in very rare colors like what's on your screens now. Your aqua blues, your imperial pure white, considering this is a gemstone that has formed over million years, millions of years within the ground um, and yet here we are bringing it to you and the red color as well what 79.99 jewelry makers what's your split payment my maths is rubbish that's ridiculous that is actually ridiculous 26 pounds and 66 pence only to get hold of this and it's natural type a grade no enhancement not type b not type c uh, natural certified laboratory certified uh, type a jadeite good luck and well done to every single one of you make sure you are checking out those baskets folks um huge congratulations to you all you'll love it it's one of my favorite strands actually that we've brought to you and i can't believe we took it to under 80 pounds that's ridiculous actually ridiculous um five of you you have that last strand in your basket and I've only got four left so yeah it doesn't go does it doesn't go um, now if you love your jade um, you'll be interested to know that we have a very exciting launch happening at 10 o'clock today I'm so excited about this opportunity. And like I said, it has superseded my expectations when you see it in person, the, person, the glow, the color intensity, the sizes as well. So yes, wonderful Dave Troth is stepping into the studio at 10 o'clock for this launch. Here's what it's all about. Jewelry makers, join me this weekend where we'll be exploring uh, an incredible collection of jade. On the Friday, I'm launching what is being deemed as the newest jade on earth, coming from a location in Pakistan. It is known as Sananskan. Uh, I was there um, the week that Cartier placed the huge initial order on this material for their debut collection. And we have got one of the, if not the most supreme grade I've ever seen. And then on Saturday, join me for the original jade. We're talking Kotan mutton fat with that tallow-like luster, carrot weights and strands like we have never previously bought to you. Very, very limited, but an exceptional, exceptional showcase for true collectors. It's gonna be amazing, it really is. So if you had any plans, you know, pop into the shops, out for a coffee, slice a cake, um, either scrap it or make sure you take us with it, with you now um, because it is going to be unbelievable and if you want the perfect com uh, complement to that launch then we've got a few of your jades in this hour so take a little look dotted around we've got the yellow natural yellow take advantage of those I think that's sold out you've got the strand that we've just brought you there's there's about three I think left of those um, but hoop earrings I love those earrings that will go perfectly one left of the uh, of the jadeite with the ruby and um, so you can get hold of that just about just about um okay another gemstone that was relaunched for the very first time in i think probably years was the beauty and without him even saying it in my ear i know which one you're talking about now ross botswana 
Yes, I love Botswana Agate. Yes, and I had the privilege and honor of relaunching it to our wonderful audience um, a couple of weeks ago. I feel like it was a couple of weeks ago. Um, and pretty much everything sold out or as good as. Um, and here it is. Botswana Agate is often uh, fondly referred to as the king of agate. You have the most beautiful natural colors. Now, this has not been on air since that relaunch, which happened about a week or so, a week, two weeks ago. Two weeks, two weeks, thought so. Um, two and a bit weeks ago. Um, Regarda is the king of, uh, of agate. So much like your Sakura agate that Linda mentioned a few moments ago and your Nan Hong um, and your blue lace as well. They command a certain price point. You know, you can get agates which are relatively inexpensive and that's because they're dyed and there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever you know it showcases they're still genuine gemstones these are not dyed these are totally and utterly natural you get really beautiful neutral uh, mother nature tones now we're going to start by halving that price tag i know without even asking producer ross that i haven't got many of these left 27, yeah, I knew it. Um, because because the launch went crazy, it has been years since we've had Botswana um, to any great quantities anyway um, on our screens. So yeah, relaunched it for the first time a couple of weeks ago. We're at 19 pounds and 99 pence. Love Botswana, because it is one of those gemstones that I think just complements everything, every single skin tone, every single occasion, every single style of jewellery, every single other gemstone as well. Um, and yeah, it's difficult to get hold of. There's actually only a couple of locations in the world that actually produce Botswana agate. Um, and you've got to remember from just a couple of locations, that's the entire world actually competing to get hold of those parcels. Straight away, we've got collectors getting involved. We're going to put a 60 second clock on your screen. Minute warning. And then, do you know what we're going to do? Half that price. That's what's happening. In, as soon as that clock runs out, we are going to half that price. Now, if you make your confirmations now, it doesn't mean you pay the 19.99. No, no, no. Everybody pays that final low. Just giving you a heads up. If you're one of those visual people that like to see it in black and white on our graphics, that's absolutely fine. Um, but I'm just telling everybody this is going to be halved. We've only got 27 of them left. Same applies, Linda, as what we said with the micro stones. You can use a four millimeter as an alternative. Mm -hmm. I love them quite simple, stretchy bracelets. Yes, definitely. That's the beauty of Botswana is it's the variety of tones that run through it yeah and some styrations as well that run through it that make it quite unique um, as an agate um, but it's it's a very um, what I th this for me is what I call a gallery look yeah you know if you go into let's say a, um, a very let me use the word posh um, mm -hmm let's say art gallery yeah. or museum as such like, and then you walk through the shops, which you have to when you're leaving, you'll often find jewellery in those shops and you'll often find Botswana agate jewellery. Certainly, I went into three or four um, galleries in Venice and each one featured Botswana agate in their little shops. I bet they weren't 9 Oh, absolutely not. No, yeah. there was nothing under 300 euros. No, nothing. absolutely. I mean, we, we, that's the thing. We can get quite complacent here at Jewelry Maker. This is a genuine gemstone. And for it to take the title of king, the king of agate, you know, that's quite something. Hilary and Marion and Carolyn, uh, hello to you, London and Catherine and Elaine and Maker. Lovely to be with you this Friday morning. I hope you're excited for it. It's going to be an epic show. It really, really is. I mean, what more could we possibly want? We've had Botswana, Appetite, we've got a gemstone launch, or I should say a location gemstone launch, coming up at 10 o'clock, and Botswana Age. I'm very excited to learn about this launch and this discovery, and, you know, on the back of the trip that's just happened. Well done, everybody. Stay where you are. Um, I do, yeah. Uh, no. Uh, we can use the recording, okay. Now, rose gold sterling silver chain, anyone? Okay. Oh, it's one of the long link chains and you get a meter off, so you customize it effectively. There are only 15 of them left, so you can use your recording. And it's one of those open link chains, so you could bubble style onto that, Linda? Yeah, and also there is a huge, I mean, it's been trending for probably two to three years now, of layering of chain. Yeah, yeah. So it's an opportunity to collect 
yeah. the different styles of chain in order to layer them, which is, as I say, very, very on. Very on vogue at the moment. But it's, it's also, this style of chain, you could also incorporate, use it as maybe your extenders. That would work too. Um, as jewellery makers, given the fact you have got the open link, you can attach directly. Now, I do have the gold version of this as well. It's item number 18 on the website. There's only one left, though. Um, we don't see the metre long lengths. Um, of sterling silver in rose or yellow gold very often. When we do, they always sell out. Um, it's been on air once, and I've got the final 10 of the rose gold. We're going to match the price of the yellow gold plated 925 sterling silver as well. So shop ahead if that's your colour of preference. Um, yeah, you can customise it. You could, you, you know, you, nothing's wasted. You're not chopping up existing chains that you might have within your jewellery making stash or within your jewellery box. You can customise it with, with no waste whatsoever. £24.99 pence only to get hold of this um yeah i mean when we look at it that way linda that's all right i've got to add the class but that's two necklaces and a bracelet you know easily or it's multiples of bracelets it's countless amounts of pairs of earrings depending on the length that you actually cut or if you're using it as your extender chain to give you that versatility or as a security chain um then it's even more than that um there are only five of these left um, again, I think I had one of the yellow gold, which we're going to match the price. Now, if you want that in silver, I do have it here. This is coming up at nine o'clock today. It'd be a lovely addition to Linda's kits, by the way. You can't shop ahead on this as of yet, so nine o'clock. But there are only 40 available. That's why uh, um, we didn't put it in this hour. We wanted to include it alongside Linda's kits. Now, we originally had 200 of these, but yeah final 40 of them um so you can't shop ahead on that one just yet but it is coming up it is coming up in today's show um don't forget 10 o'clock is going to be an absolutely unbelievable unbelievable launch um we have got and i need to remind myself how you pronounce this so it's called san and scan san and scan um new location brand new location of beautiful jade and it has completely bowled me over is that is that wayne in the gallery Hi, Wayne. You're right, lovely. Hello. What are you? What are you carrying? Salad. Just a massive tray of salad. Okay, as you do. As your breakfast. Lovely. I mean, healthy, healthy boy. Um, no, seriously though, Wayne. You know when you kind of like underestimate how beautiful something is going to be. Oh my goodness me. Oh my goodness me. That, tra that colour and that translucency, that is, I, I think I'm right in saying, I think we'd all agree, the most imperial I've ever seen. And probably ever will. Ever, ever will. I cannot wait to be part of that launch. It happens at 10 o'clock today. So San and Scan, new location, launching today here at Jewelry Maker with the wonderful Dave Tross. Your silver's coming up at 9 o'clock and you've got, you've got Akoya pearls in your kits today. Genuinely, it doesn't get any better than what I've just what I've just said. Um, okay, let's do the rose gold horseshoe class. These are genius, by the way. Um, I like the idea of actually using them as kind of an adjustable attachment, so you can kind of gather it together a little bit like a scarf pin. We've got them in all three colours. Um, these are gem encrusted as well, so you actually have. Can you see? You've actually got some of your. Is it topaz or is it zircon set within? I think I want to say topaz. Is Zircon? There we go. Would be, wouldn't it? It would be the opposite one that I've said, of course. Um, now we've got this. Okay, we have got them in the yellow gold, and we've got them in the silver. But the silver is absolutely flying. Love this. I mean, you could use it as a multi-row connector, couldn't you? They are all going lower than the prices that you are seeing on the website. Do shop ahead if you want to get hold of those colours too. We're at $49.99. There's a huge investment of sterling silver and basically it unscrews. So it, 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 it's, a, it's a nod to the Cartier love bangle, I think. Mm. You know, which takes two people to actually put on where you have to physically screw it in. Um, so look, if I just undo this one, you can see there's a burr on the end and it sort of anchors in. Um, but I personally think you could just use it as like a multi-row connector, something like yeah, that. Yeah, definitely. I mean, certainly as a, as, as a sort of a bail for a, yeah. a tassel drop or... Uh, something similar to that and certainly you know where it's sort of central I often say you know be asymmetric and put it on the side yeah this type of, of product 
you know, central because it will make it so much easier as well to to undo the clasp and do it up again. Yeah, well. love it, love it. I mean, it's like Mulberry have got that big, uh, um, yes. and it's a toggle yes. statement necklace, but um, instead of a toggle, yeah. using something A lot like of the big this. designers are concentrating on clasps at the moment. Mm. Yeah. Tiffany included. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. £14.99, so encrusted with genuine zircon, not cubic zirconia. Um, we are talking about zircon, one of the oldest gemstones in existence, certainly the oldest on our planet. Um, you can shop ahead on the yellow gold and also the silver. They are flying. Yeah, and here's the necklace I was talking about. Yeah, Mulberry. Um, you're talking a cool £475 for that necklace, which I love it, by the way, but you notice how the toggle's at the front. Um, so the detail is at the front. This is the style of class that I think you would do use similarly to what Mulberry have done and Tiffany's and uh, and Ralph Lauren they're all using their, 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 these as features at the front um, well done so shop ahead on the other colours as well should we do the yellow gold now a big investment in sterling silver you can feel the gram weight within this straight away um, and of course lovely lovely texturing over two grams of sterling silver and there's your zircons that are set front and reverse so it doesn't matter if it actually flips over um, even here at 49.99 I mean if you consider I don't know pearls for example mm -hmm. like a multi-layered uh, multi-row pearl necklace gathered together by this class I mean what a piece of jewelry that's going to be absolutely and you know think outside the box a little bit um, and use it as a component jewelry yeah. other than just clasp in your head i'm thinking the chains that featured yeah, a few nice. minutes ago would look wonderful tumbling through yeah that. beautiful yeah like almost like a scarf pin yes almost sort of gathering it all yes, together yes. 14.99 goodness me it's a lot of silver a lot of detail the fact that you've got working parts in here as well, you know, effectively a screw of precious metal. Um, over two grams and, of course, your zircon, again, set at the front, but it's also at the reverse. Make sure you are checking out, because remember, at the end of this hour, everything disappears. This is a lounge hour, so you have a curfew, effectively. Um, you need to make sure you check out your baskets before nine o'clock. Um, otherwise, they are not guaranteed to you. Um, hi, June, saying, hi, Elle. How does the class fasten, please? I can show you on the silver one no problem um so if i show you all the way around those are quite limited now so who was that sorry i missed the name that was from june hiya june lovely let me show you so basically it's not like a traditional lobster claw or a toggle class so the idea is um can you see here you've got like a little screw can you see that so you twist this you twist it open and you've got, am I turning it the right way? Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Um, here we go. So you, you twist this and it opens up. I'll show you once again. There's a burr on the bottom. So you can either knot directly, you can thread directly onto one side. Um, you might use a jump ring. You might use, a, it can be used in a multitude of ways, really, oh, this, Linda. I think so. Yeah, it really, really can. And you could attach directly onto the pin because that doesn't come out. It is actually nice and secure. You could also use these with your big beads. So, for example, if you did like kind of, um, I don't know, say a metre long length of pearls, like big pearls, for example, um, and you can kind of slot them through and that would anchor on, use it like a toggle. Do you see where I'm coming from? So you'd have one big round that would sit just against it there. Um, so there's lots of ways that you can do it. And then, and also, as we said earlier on, use it kind of like a um, like a lariat or a scarf. Um, straight away, we've got collectors multi buy on this opportunity collect getting eight well done um over two grams of solid sterling silver silver prices you know they're on the increase they have been actually for whew, as long as i can remember actually um well over two grams of sterling silver 14 pounds and 99 wow. pence only now on launch over 160 of these sold and they didn't sell at what they didn't sell at 14.99. Now we launched these, didn't we, Roscoe? The only time they've been on is the launch. Okay. Two weeks today. They haven't been on air for two weeks. It's like a nice horseshoe, a bit Gucci-esque, aren't they? I've got 40 left. Very here at Jewelry Maker, there's been a lot of very high-end designer inspiration, and this is one of those. You could you could mention you can mention Cartier with the love bangle. You could mention Gucci with the horseshoe. Do you know what? There isn't though. It's not a Gucci price. 
because we didn't even launch it at 14.99. We've got 40 of them left. Janice says, I'll have eight, thank you very much. Genoefa, Stella and Gloucester and Natalie and Susan and Jackson, Donna and Dorset, um, well done. People not leaving anything to chance, checking out your baskets. You've actually got two and a quarter grams of sterling silver with genuine zircon. We're not talking about cubic zirconia here, folks. This is genuine mother nature created zircon. Um, yeah, and they kind of work similarly to like a toggle, but obviously you would put the, um, I think that's the idea behind it. So your bead would become the tuff of the ogle or, or you can literally not directly onto it. It's entirely up to you, but loads of designer inspiration within this piece. Speaking of Gucci, this is what I'm referring to. Yeah, I mean that mini bag. What can she put in that bag? I'm sorry, I could never manage with that bag. You couldn't get your sandwiches and that in. I'm not getting my sarnies in no. there, no, definitely not. My car keys would fill that, yeah. to be honest. Um, and what, a downward horseshoe is bad luck. All the luck drops out. I didn't know that. No, we don't. So it should be the other way round. How well, um, I just, when we were watching the little VT there, um, is it double encrusted? Is it encrusted yeah. both sides? On both sides. So let yeah, me show you. Of course it was. So can you see? There's one zircon, two zircon. If I flip it over, one zircon, two zircon. So yeah, doubly encrusted. They really do catch the light. Yeah, amazing. <gasps> We're at 9.99. Wow. That mini bag, 805 pounds. That's the cheapest Ross could find. You've just seen one for two and a half grand in a bag. 1,200 in a bag. Exact same bag. Sizes maybe. Maybe a bigger size? I don't know. Eight, I mean, I like a nice bag. I do like a nice bag, but 800 pounds for something that I definitely, that's just not practical. That, yeah, the outfit's lovely. The outfit is lovely. She looks wonderful. Yeah. Nice roll neck, yeah, absolutely. Uh, no, I can't wear them either. <laughs> Same. Same. <coughs> I, just, I think it just pushing her cheeks out like this. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do roll necks. They don't suit me either. Um, <laughs> Hiya, June. Thank you, Elle. Fabulous. Got mine. Well done, lovely. It is very versatile. I mean, what I've described, some people will be looking at it in a different way. You might be going, no, 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 Elle, I'd use it like this. And uh, you could even thread directly onto the... See the top of the pin? You could thread onto the top of the pin if you wanted to. Um, it would be absolutely amazing alongside, that's true, Roscoe, why have I not said that? Alongside something like your uh, San and Scarn that's coming up. Look, there you go. You might, oh, hang on. I've said an idea, Ross. Hang on. How about something like, how would I do this? Like that? You see where I'm coming from? So you undo one pin, loop it into the other one, and then, I mean, how beautiful is that as a piece of jewellery? And I would wear that at the centre. What do you reckon, Linda? Yeah, it's beautiful. I'm, I'm just sort of pondering as well, because I'm not up close and personal to it, but would that, would the, the sort of toggle that goes screws through the top, would that go through a, an ear piercing? Maybe. Because I think how beautiful that would look as a oh. very unusual earring. Quite possibly. Quite possibly. Well done, everybody. I, like I said, there's lots of versatility to it. This launch is coming up. Your San and Scarm with Dave at 10 o'clock. You've got a coy of pearls with lovely Linda in the nine o'clock hour. But remember, you've got a curfew on this hour. Um, each item and this next early bird auction will only be on your screens for a matter of minutes. So please don't just pop it in your basket and leave it there. We are not ASOS. We won't go, ooh, you've got to me. Um, <laughs> yeah, you need to check it out to make sure that you, uh, to guarantee your success. That's how we justify your early bird price. Is it just me that's just noticed that last plinky plonk, plink plink? Is it just me that's just noticed that? Well, I know it is, but it's just there was there was just like a final plinky plonk, plink plink. <laughs> All right, all right, Ross, I've just noticed it. <laughs> it's like, yeah, Elle, we play it every day for the last few years. No, I know it goes, ooh, ooh. 
And then, yeah, I haven't got a very high attention span. You're right there. You're right. Zone out then. Um, <laughs> yeah, can we play it again? Can we? Because I just write, ready? And this early bird does deserve a little bit of a double introduction, to be honest. Can we all just appreciate the musical masterpiece that is the early bird intro? Have I only just noticed that bit? Sorry. <laughs> Don't know. Just there. I was like, oh, there's another one. Right then. <laughs> Sorry, I'll stop, what, talk, stop talking conkers, Elle. Um, I agree. I totally agree. Ross has just said this is one of the loveliest Sterling birds I think we've had in a very long time. So you can get hold of the Sterling Silver Chain that's coming up after the break. Job done. You've just made beautiful jewellery. How about incorporating these in earrings? You have also got, if I just pivot it round towards our lovely Jimmy, you've got one of those illusion bales. So it's going to create that wonderful secret suspension. Um, you've got a genuine cultured button pearl here, full of lust. I mean, look at that. Flawless. And then you have got hand-carved Mother of Pearl as well. I mean, Mother of Pearl, if it's good enough for Rolex, it's good enough for me. Um, all framed in your 925 sterling silver. I'm with you, Roscoe. This is one of the nicest early birds. And so per so so simplistic. You know, if you think about it, think about all your, your, your nearest and dearest, your loved ones, your friends, your family, your children, grandchildren, whatever it is. I bet they're going to love something like this. I bet. Maybe they're going on holiday. Honeymoon. I don't know, maybe they just come back off holiday. Maybe you're just really, really fond of the sea and appreciate it and all its wonder and beauty. Maybe you just love the shape because it's quite art deco, isn't it? Quite 1920s. Um, but I can't think of a single person in my family and friends that wouldn't love this. Now, first price crash. A perfect combination of mother and pearl, mother of pearl and cultured pearls. First price crash. Now we've got, remind me, Roscoe, how many of the 160 of these available? Oh, I've just thought of something. Let me just double check I've got this. The, yeah, hang on, I've just thought of something. How lovely is that? Just feeding it onto one of your textured paperclip chains or a curb, whichever. Trace chain, belt chain, whichever you want, Figaro chain. But look how pretty that is. Just feeding it on. I don't need to do technically much jewellery making here. I'm just putting two luxury components together. Straight away, we've got people adding this to their baskets, but not nearly enough. I don't think you realise just how spectacular this early bird is going to be. I'll definitely be shopping for these, Linda. I can imagine it's a little bit of you as well. Oh, well, definitely. I mean, anything to, with a pearl or mother of that. I actually adore mother of pearl because of yeah. the gorgeous... Um, Colours that bounce off. Yeah, the, it's the luster, isn't yeah. it? It's that iridescent. And the fact they are carved. Because uh, if I imagine sort of carving a, gem, uh, a gemstone, that's one thing. But carving something that is potentially as brittle, um, as brittle as pearl, mm -hmm. mother of pearl rather. Now we've just found, Ross has just found something online. He said, look, look, personalised mother of pearl pendant necklace, £149. It's a disc. It's just a disc. Just a disc. In silver, that is in silver. It's not in 18 karat gold. Just a slice, a slither of mother of pearl. We've got beautiful curved, like a clam shell. Oh, I love it. Um, it's artistry, isn't it? It's, it's actual artistry. Now, our next price crash is still not where we are closing this morning. I'm joining you on this. I love it. Have we got quantity, Roscoe? Remind me. 160 available, we're at 14 pounds and 99%. So that's 10%, right? 10% of the price that we just showed you earlier with that disc, 10%, not 10% lower, it's 10% of that price. And this, for, I much prefer this, don't you? We're at 14 pounds and 99 pence. What a beautiful, what a beautiful piece this is. It's a beautiful, um, for me, I've got two things in mind sort of occasion wise. One, obviously, the bridal theme, and the other one is it reminds me of a Christmas angel. Oh, yes. A little Christmas gift. Yes. It was my, my, um, my brother and sister-in-law's wedding anniversary yesterday. 
22 years. And they got married on the beach in the Bahamas. Oof, nice. Yeah, it was wonderful. It was kind of a race. They raced. They, they to, I remember them saying their vows just as I was, we were watching this big black cloud coming towards us. Like, hurry up, <laughs> hurry up, <laughs> say it faster, say it faster. But what a nice little gift this would be. Not breaking the bank. I could say, you know, just remembering the day you got married on the beach in the Bahamas. How beautiful. Um... We're at fourteen pounds and ninety nine pence. Lots of you multi buying. For me, I think mix it with your precious metals as well. Look lovely with rose It'll gold and the yellow gold. Generations, yeah. It from from it. it's very childlike. But then it'll just span through the generations. It's so wearable for a lifetime. Yeah, I agree. Um, in 55 seconds, we are taking it lower. Patricia and Kate and Stella and Nicola, uh, Nicola and Carol and Linda and Jennifer and Maker and Valerie and Carolyn Berkshire as well. Well done to you. There's a lot of you getting involved, but not nearly enough of you. I've got to be honest. Um, I was expecting this to be almost sold out by now. We're at £14.99 pence only and we are going even lower. Do you know, I, I'm going to be getting a few of these. I think they're lovely Christmas gifts. They are. Really lovely. Just get a nice chain. Probably, I'd go 20-inch. 20 20-inch 20 chain in a nice box. I bought a few of those the other day when they were on Jewelry Maker. Um, put it away. Put it in the Christmas drawer or maybe for birthdays. If you know somebody that, um, that celebrates their birthday during the summer months, I think that would be absolutely appropriate. Now, eight seconds, it's going even lower. That's what I just said, Roscoe. Roscoe's just said there's no way near enough people on those phone lines. What are you going to have to do? No, I can't. I don't believe that, though. Ross has just said that may, maybe, maybe our viewers don't like it as much as we do. I can't, I, I don't, I can't believe that because it's so beautiful. What's not to love? Fourteen ninety nine was our rock bottom lowest price. He said I could have maybe squeezed it to twelve ninety nine, but we've we've spoken about this, and this is shopping TV. A little bit of inside information. I've spoken about it for six minutes now. I can't. We can't sell like a, you know a percentage of them. We want to sell them out. There's one hundred and sixty available. I'll tell you what, then. Sixty seconds. Let's go under ten pounds for you. Uh, it's, the, it's the way shopping TV works. I was expecting this. I was totally expecting this to have almost been a sellout by now. 100%. This is one of my favourite... We both said... You heard Ross and I say it. It's one of our favourite early birds that we've brought in a long time. I love it. I think it's so beautiful. And the quality of that carving, the luster of that genuine cultured pearl, the pearl on its own should be 14 99 um, and could be even more than that. It's not base metal. That is 925 sterling silver, which if I just flip it round to show our lovely Alan, I told you you're in for the long haul, Alan. <laughs> See, you're back, aren't you? You thought you'd be going in an hour, but no, no, no. Look on the back. You've got all that lovely sterling silver. There's no way this should be less than 14.99, but it's going to happen. Good luck. I hope there's enough for, uh, enough for me now because I want to get some of these. They'd be nice gifts, really lovely gifts. Almost two grams of solid sterling silver. You forced our hands, lovely jewellery makers. Uh, it's the, uh, that's the way the cookie crumbles and all that. In shopping TV, half the stock's got to be already gone. Nine pounds and 99 pence only. Absolutely beautiful. So you notice Mulberry with that toggle had one um, fireball pill, didn't they? Had one big, oh, not that one, had one big fireball pearl, um, the mulberry one. Instead of your fireball pearl, how about putting something like this on a big statement chain or maybe a big knotted piece of jewellery? Um, absolutely beautiful. Mixing your precious metals. They've got silver and yellow gold in there as well. I just think, you know, it's an, it's an inspired version of... Uh, single figure price tag for you all. Kate's got two, Patricia's got two, Linda's got three, Jax has got two, Helen and Senga, well done, getting three. Another Helen getting two, Carol and Berkshire's got five, Ray and Nicola getting three, I've got Pauline getting two, Stella and Somerset getting three, Claire and Dumbartonshire, well done, getting four, and Des and Janet in Cambridgeshire and Jennifer, I can't keep up with you. London, new customers getting involved. Um, my call screen's gone a little bit funny because I'm looking at the bottom of the list as opposed to the top, didn't matter, no drama. We had a 160 of them we are going to close this auction your early bird and everything else from this hour in 
point the right way, in that time. So if you've got anything, if you've got any of the jades, if you've got any of your sterling silver components, any of the items that we have brought you thus far, make sure you're checking them out because otherwise they will disappear from your baskets, including your early bird. Remember that sterling silver chain is coming up on the other side of the hour alongside Linda's gorgeous kits and amazing jewelry. And we're talking a coir pearls coming up after the break. Make sure you are checking out on this opportunity. Well done to each and every single one of you. Um, beautiful, genuine cultured pearl, carved mother of pearl, and 925 sterling silver. All of that for a tenner. You know, I think you'd be hard pushed to get costume jewelry at those kind of prices. Don't go anywhere because I'm making my way over to Linda for a coir pearls and that chain after this. <laughs> Jewelry makers, join me this weekend where we'll be exploring uh, an incredible collection of jade. On the Friday, I'm launching what is being deemed as the newest jade on earth, coming from a location in Pakistan. It is known as Sananskan. Uh, I was there um, the week that Cartier placed the huge initial uh, order on this material for their debut collection. And we have got one of the, if not the most supreme grade I've ever seen. And then on Saturday, join me for the original jade. We're talking Kotan mutton fat with that tallow-like luster, carrot weights and strands like we have never previously bought to you. Very, very limited, but an exceptional, exceptional showcase for true collectors. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Hello everyone, it's Mark here. I'm delighted to be inviting you to join myself, Eleanor and the crew, this Saturday, 5th of August. Come and join us on our safari. We've got an amazing lineup, including eight o'clock show opener, the most incredible elephant pendant. Nine o'clock, we couldn't be going on safari without Botswana Agate. I've got five incredible kits to show you. I'm not going to tell you about the deal of the day, that's a bit of a secret, but at 12 o'clock, keeping the safari theme, I've got three kits, including the most incredible tassel toppers. We've got a leopard, we've got a lion, and we've got an elephant. So join us all this Saturday morning, the 5th of August. You heard it here first. <laughs> It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got Split Pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with Split Pay.
Oh, welcome back. I'm back with you now, lovely lady. You look like gorgeous today. Thank you so it much. It really suits you. Thank you. I thought that when we uh, when we met in the corridor. <laughs> Got my post box look. <laughs> yeah, well, you look very, very nice. How thank are you, you doing? So I'm fine, thank you. You've fine. been spoilt somewhat with these kits, haven't you? Oh, tell me about it, absolutely. But but I've got to be honest, though, when we think about the queen of jewellery maker, which I know you hate me calling you, um, <laughs> but when we think about Linda Brumwell, I always think immediately of pearls. Yeah, I must admit, um, it's def they're definitely my favourite organics, obviously. Um, but they go so beautifully with my favourite gemstone, which is Ethiopian opal. So yes. It's a match made in heaven. Yeah. Oh, is that your favourite? Yeah, I would is, have said yeah. you're a diamond gal. Well, yeah, I wouldn't say no to diamonds. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> yeah, not. That's true. It Ethiopian is true. Ethiopian opal it just has the edge. It do, uh, they are incredible. But these aren't just any pearls either. No, they are not just any pearls. You They're natural acquires. But you got all three of these kits? I did. So you got the natural blue Akoyas. Yes. My first Akoya pearl, which I bought, was probably one of those. Yeah. One blue Akoya pearl framed in, I think it was 14 karat gold, mm -hmm. just like a little heart frame going yeah. around it. Yes. And it was three figures. Yes, it would be. One single Akoya pearl. It would be because it's creme de la creme, isn't it? Yeah, the best. They're the best in the world. Yeah, the, the Akoya pearl, it is widely coveted as being the best in the world. You've also got your, a mixed Akoya pearl strand, i.e. with your golds, with your blues, um, and with your pure whites. And then you have others. So uh, genuinely, our designers get, treat, you know, you, you, get, you get some pretty special stone, uh, gemstones, but this is oh, yeah. multiple. You've got oh, yeah, multiple. No, yeah, this is uh, icing on the proverbial cake, yeah. isn't it? It's Christmas. Absolutely. Now, coming up, but... Just before we dive into Linda's amazing kits, I want to bring you the last 40 opportunities of a sterling silver meter long length chain. Here it is. Now, even if you just did that, just attached a clasp to it and away you go, you've just met, got some really beautiful jewellery. But it's not just that. You've got opportunities as jewellery makers because you have got that larger, um, more, exposed, uh, more exposed link so that you could... You could anchor onto that. You could use things like your um, your bubble style. You could do like your um, wrap loops directly onto that. Um, you could uh, snip it down and customize it so that um, so that you're not cutting up existing chains, for example. Mm -hmm. It's the the word for this opportunity is potential, isn't it? Yeah, really? definitely. Um, you should always have, as a jewelry maker, have chain. Yeah. In, uh, in your stash um, because it has so much opportunity to use. Yeah. Um, like Elle mentioned earlier, bubble, which is putting as many um, gemstones or pearls into each link so that you get that gorgeous bubble look all the way around. Um, or for tassel dropping or for dropping for a sort of shoulder dusting earring. Um, tassel type jewellery is, is very in at the moment. Yeah. So just layering a tassel of oh, chain alone, with just precious the chain. Metal. And precious metal and it will because it's precious metal, it ha it's fluid. That's the word yeah. I'm looking for. Yeah, the yeah, fluidity yeah, yeah. of it. Now we've only got forty available. When we first launched this we had a triple figure quantity. They absolutely flew out. Um, just over 200 of them. If you weren't able to tune in on that occasion, we had the yellow gold, we had the rose gold on that launch, and we've recapped those in the first hour, which were very, very, very limited. That might be one of the, one of the few opportunities we've ever brought you meter long lengths in yellow gold and rose gold, actually. Um, but it is always a must. Uh, and <clears throat> just to put into perspective how in demand meter long lengths, now they're not complete chains, so you need to add your class to these, but that's what you would find in a jewelry workshop. They don't do you know they, they customize them um, effectively so there's less waste um, but just to put this into perspective the biggest quantity auction I've ever done historically in my almost 12 years of working here at Jewelry Maker is 2000 I've done a 2000 quantity auction um, and it wasn't of a gemstone it wasn't of a kit it wasn't of packaging or anything like that it was a 925 sterling silver meter long length chain mm -hmm. um and they went nuts because we need them as jewelry makers don't we we absolutely need our chains now the yellow and rose sold we're going to show you here we're going to match that price straight away 
but I think we had like 50 or 100 of the yellow and the rose gold. It was much more limited. Um, bearing in mind, we had 200 of these on the first launch. 925 sterling silver. This is not base metal. You know, if you've got a necklace with it, you think how versatile this is. If you've got a necklace in your existing jewel, not stash, I'm not going to say stash, in your jewelry box that you don't wear very often, say, because it's a little bit short or it's not the ideal length for you, or you want to have that versatility of being able to wear it shorter or longer, then attach a section of this chain. That's what it's all about. It can be used as an extender or it can be used as the decorative chain that it, that it is now we launched those other colors at 24.99 amazing there's over two grams of solid sterling silver uh hello davinia hello darling this chain could also be cut into extension chain uh, for other ne necklaces great minds think alike absolutely you know I, I just think straight away i've got necklaces that and i always say i prefer 20 a 20 inch chain um just because it goes with more um i've got chains in my jewelry box that are 18 inches and i'll be honest i don't really wear them that often for that reason um i just think they don't i, I prefer longer like a more elongated look around the deck. Yeah, and I, I actually think, strange enough, um, I won't say, yes, I will, I'll say a, Go on, say it. a seasonal thing, because in the summer months and that, you can wear the shorter chains yeah. because you've probably got a lower neckline. But in the winter, when necklines get higher, this is when you want that longer chain. So you can literally pop it over the top of your head. Yeah. Maybe you don't want a clasp. You know, this, you don't even need a class if you want to keep it longer. Now, we are not stopping at £24.99, which is amazing considering the gram weight of sterling silver and the versatility and the need. We need chains like this within our stash. You know, you said just a few moments ago, Linda, when we were in the break, you were like, I'm so desperate for findings mm, and, and um, wire yeah, and chains. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Because trying to make jewellery without components like this is very difficult. Now, the yellow and the rose gold sold out at this price. But we are not stopping there for the 925 sterling silver. We had over 200. Now we've got less than 40 or had less than 40. 19 pounds and 99 pence. Oh, my goodness. Ross has just said in my ear, it's still not where we're closing, Al. Really? When you consider, break this down, right? Simple maths. $19.99. I can get two chains and a bracelet out of that. Would you, do you agree? Yes, yes, I do. So you're talking about uh, six, 12. So you're talking about seven pounds per component, say? Mm -hmm. Just under. Mm -hmm. Seven pounds for a precious metal. Um, I mean, I've said this before, so I'm, I'm sorry if all she's saying this again, but um, in the early days of me making jewellery before I actually started at Jewellery Maker, then I would go into our very good jewellery quarter in Birmingham and I would buy chain from huge, huge reels. They'd have huge reels of all mm. different chains. And the larger link chain then, which is the one I was interested in because it didn't sort of sway me, I knew I could work with it, um, it was £2.50 an inch. An inch? So you've got, in a metre, you've got about 40 inches, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. I know I'm mixing the Imperials and the... Uh, but, Either uh, way... So that you're talking about uh, 40 times two and a half is eight, 120, eight. isn't it? Wow, goodness me, 120 pounds. Now, we're already massively, uh, you know, surpassing that. Nobody today, though, is paying 19.99. That's why the call screens have lit up once again. It is always worthwhile to have this in your stash. Even if you haven't got an eye, even for right now, you're thinking, OK, well, Elle, and uh, I get the logic in it. I get why I would probably use it. Um, or maybe this is the first time you're actually including meat along length sterling silver. It's as simple as wrap looping a chain on, uh, you know, a toggle yeah. onto I mean, it or a jump ring. This round, if you don't mind, I'm just going to flip this round so that you can just see at the back. Yeah. We've got where we've attached it to the bus. You've got this gorgeous fluid. Yeah. Here, well, if you imagine um, sort of the waterfall earring. Yeah, lovely. And you've got that gorgeous movement Beautiful. then. Beautiful. Um, so much potential. In four seconds, it is going to your amazing early bird price tag, jewelry makers. And this is Last Chance Saloon. We only had 40 this morning. Um, so, again, make sure you are checking out your baskets to guarantee your success. Um, all around the UK getting involved. £17.99 pence only. Um, Natalie in Gloucestershire has just bought eight. Is that right? Sorry, Mike. 
My call screens have gone funny again. Um, people getting threes and fours. I mean, this is whole, beyond wholesale. Oh, it's beyond wholesale, yeah. You, you're so right. And you're going back, you're referring to when you went back to that jewellers and used to yeah. buy it by the inch. That's got to be more than what, 12, Oh, 15? that's got to be 15 years ago. 15 years yeah. ago, where the price of silver has gone up. Oh, up and up and up and up and up. And I mean, it's, it's sort of been at the highest levels ever. Really. Yeah. Place. Yeah, absolutely has. Make sure you are checking out to Gary. Oh, it's sold out. Well done. Well done, well done, well done. And they would be an absolutely beautiful addition alongside um, Linda's amazing kits. You're going to get a mega deal on Linda's kits as well today. So that's very, very, very exciting. I also want to tell you that in about 40 minutes time, we've got an, a, a very exciting location launch um of beautiful gemstone now this we've never brought to air before we've got dave stepping into the studio we're all incredibly excited because it's quality quite unlike anything i've ever seen before here's dave to tell you all about it jewelry makers join me this weekend where we'll be exploring uh, an incredible collection of jade on the Friday, I'm launching what is being deemed as the newest jade on earth, coming from a location in Pakistan. It is known as Sananskan. Uh, I was there um, the week that Cartier placed the huge initial uh, order on this material for their debut collection. And we have got one of the, if not the most supreme grade I've ever seen. And then on Saturday, join me for the original jade. We're talking Kotan mutton fat with that tallow-like luster, carrot weights and strands like we have never previously bought to you. Very, very limited, but an exceptional, exceptional showcase for true collectors. There it is. There's a wonderful Dave talking about your San and Scarn Jade. Truly, I've, I'm completely blown away by the quality of this. The colour, the translucency, the fact that it is as close to Imperial Green that, that I'll ever see. Brand new location launching at 10 o'clock, so not too long to wait for that. But leading us towards that amazing opportunity, we have another very luxurious opportunity. In the world of pearls, cultured pearls, you said it earlier on, cultured pearls from a coi uh, uh, um, organic gemstone. What that basically means is they are formed from a living organism like your ambers, like your amylites, um, like your jet. Their gemstones form from a living organism. But with pearls, there is, it, you know, it's, it's a huge market and it's probably never been more expensive, I'll be honest, than it, uh, than it is right now. Um, Cultured pearls, as we know, it was Mickey Moto who developed the culturing process. Um, and you can get saltwater pearls and you can get freshwater pearls. Freshwater pearls usually are usually are a little bit more um, inexpensive, not so much right now, because obviously on the back of the pandemic, it did mean that, you know, if miners don't go out to a diamond mine, the, the diamonds are still there. But if uh, if harvesters don't go out to a pearl harvest, they are lost to the it's sea. Supply so, and makes them shoot Absolutely. Up, so, um, so unfortunately, we're about a decade behind on um, pearl harvest which means the price has gone through the roof um, and that's affected both your freshwater pearls and also your saltwater pearls but saltwater pearls really if you are ever asked the question of, or if I'm ever asked the question what are the best pearls in the world I'll say three I will say I will say Akoya I will say South Sea and I will say Tahitian pearls they are the three best pearls in the world and out of those three, and they do kind of, you know, squ squabble about this a little bit, probably Akoya pips them all. And that's purely because of the history, because Akoya pearls were the first ever cultured pearls. Um, they also, the complexity, now the, the harvest, they only actually harvest Akoya pearls for a very short window, about three months of the year, in the very cool waters off the coast of Japan. Um, and what that basically means, they're also in the smallest of your oysters. So um, it's about two and a half inches in their diameter. So what that means is Akoya pearls are much smaller than your South Sea and your, your Tahitian pearls. Now, just because bigger isn't always best, because Akoya pearls, given the fact that they form in much cooler waters, are known to have some of the best luster in the world. And if you were to ask the likes of Charlie Barron, uh, Bannon, sorry, uh, who's actually been on our, um, our show before, Charlie will say luster is the number one most important of all your virtues, because 
you can have a, a huge pearl that's a perfect shape and smooth nacre surface, but if it doesn't have luster, it's not beautiful. So I do agree with him. Um, and that's one of the traits, really, that Akoya pearls has in abundance. Incredibly reflective, because it's a very dense and thick nacre surface from the cool waters that it forms within. Now, all of those things, that pedigree, effectively, commands a, a high price point. I think that's fair to say. Um, and I've shown you before PowerPoint presentations, Koya pearls in places like Asile, um, in Mikimoto, Blue Nile, for example, where a Koya pearl necklaces, I don't know if you can get hold of those, Roscoe, a Koya pearl necklaces, you are talking about three grand. Um, and also in speaking to Jake Thompson um, from Gemporia, sort of he was saying he had a conversation um, with, I always go blank what they're called, the people that govern shopping TVs, what are they called? Oh, Ofcom, oh. thank you, Ofcom. He had a conversation with Ofcom and it was all about saltwater, freshwater pearls. And, and they were discussing sort of the prices that, you know, we can, we can reference. And they all agreed, they said like £3,000 for a saltwater, whether it's a Koya, whether it's Tahitian, whether it is uh, South Sea, whichever it might be, is a fairly, you know, that is bottom end of the price bracket yeah. so i mean let's show you that for example mapping and web one simple akoya pearl necklace beautiful mm -hmm. three thousand six hundred ninety pounds yeah do you know what and that's not that doesn't come as a shock does it no not you know, at all not for akoyas you, you've got akoya pearl set in that classic look then that price is not a shock. Not at all. Like I said, with my I, I own one Akoya pearl that I bought from Gemporia when we first launched them here some years ago. And um, mine is one single Akoya pearl. It's in the bluish colour, so yeah, it's a rare colour. It's framed in 14 karat gold and it's just got a simple heart. I'll bring it in to show you one day. A simple heart all the way around. It's only small, much smaller than these. And it cost me, I think it was like 250, something like that. Um, and I was over the moon with that price tag. That's an amazing price. Wait until you see your kit deals today. Let's go to Blue Nile and you can see a Koya cultured pearl strand necklace. Now we've clicked on, if you look there, seven to seven and a half millimeters because a millimeter, you might not think makes that much difference in price. It makes a staggering di uh, difference. So for that size, you're talking 3,000 pounds. If you jump up a mil, look at the difference. Mm -hmm. It jumps up a thousand pounds, best part of. Do you want to see the price of one Akoya pearl, maybe with a few diamonds? Here we go. From Blue Nile. Look at the luster of that Akoya pearl. It's a lovely shape. You've got a few diamonds in there. Two and a half grand. That is the ilk, the pedigree that we are talking. The fact that we are sourcing from the, the most historic location. Firstly, of all cultured pearls, Akoya, they have the history and widely, globally regarded as the best in the world. So again, like I said a few moments ago, when I imagine the jewellery that I want to pass on, and not, not everybody wants to pass on jewellery, I get that, but, you know, I certainly do. When I think about the jewellery that I pass on to my girls, I love freshwater pills. Of course I do. I buy lots of freshwater pills, but I'd love to be able to gift Akoya because there's no better. There is no better than the Akoya pearl itself. Um, even more than that, you have got some of the rarest colours. Now, these are not bleached and dyed. These are totally and utterly natural. And if you look across to Linda's beautiful jewellery, Linda, absolutely amazing. And these are, the, this is all down to Mother Nature. Absolutely. But, yeah, this definitely. is not dyed. It's all down to Mother Nature herself. You know, there's nobody does it better. No, absolutely. Nobody. Off the cold waters of the coast of, um, coast of Japan, um, the Akoya port, uh, Pearl is formed. Now, we are going to bring you the most unbelievable deal because you're not just getting the one like I purchased some, so many years ago, probably about six, seven years ago. Um, you're going to get an entire strand of natural blue, silver, whichever way they're referred to, um, Akoya pearls, mirror-like luster, mirror-like luster. These are more about your Baroque-like shapes, which I absolutely love because it shows they are genuine and that they are completely natural. It also means with like a Baroque shape, can you see the overtones? 
So pearls don't just have one colour. We don't just go, oh, that's a white pearl, that's a blue pearl, that's a... So you've got overtones and undertones as well. So notice how these have got that silver body colour, but they've got overtones of blues and pistachio greens as well. Even here, after we've just shown you some of the more abundant colours, our Mickey Moto and Blue Nile at three grand, even here at £599, that's an unbelievable price point, isn't it? For that amount of acquires, absolutely. Yeah. Well, you've just highlight you've just highlighted. Yeah, that is extremely low for a first price crash. You know, normally Normally, what we would say, look, let's be honest, £2,000 is not unrealistic, is it? We set value, perceived value, we call it. £3,000, we've just, we've just compared, well, not compared, but Blue Nile has a white acquire pearl, which is the white's more abundant than the blue, and that's at three grand. So we're showing you a rarer colour, a rarer colour. But Linda, you've just highlighted something really important there, because you've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 25 blue natural blue acquire pearls plus you're getting the clasp and i'm sorry for that little class that i'm not really talking about it much it's all about the acquire pearls for me look at that quality though mirror like luster good we're seven to eight millimeters as well which takes me being being conservative in excess of three thousand pounds elsewhere now the first price crash was amazing. On the birthday just gone, we closed this strand. I can't believe we're doing this, Ross. At four hundred and ninety-nine pounds. Please, at some point, and I know it costs money. I know it does. I know it's not cheap to do so. But at some point, think about getting this valued. At some point, think about and, and, and valued not just for your own ego, for your own insurance. Exactly. Because if you were to lose this, if it was to be stolen, for you know, heaven forbid we're not going to be able to replace it at four. No, well, that, that actually happened to me a few years ago. Um, I had a single strand of Akoya pearls stolen um, in a burglary. And when the um, underwriters rang me, I, I had got my original receipt. My husband had bought them for our 30th wedding anniversary. And... Um, Two or three days later, after having sent them the receipt, they rang me again and they said, well, it's at today's price that we're having to consider. And the research that they had done, there was no way I could buy that necklace again at that no. price. It was only a matter of two years previously that they were purchased. So I ended up getting, a, you know... Um, more than what I paid for them because of the replacement value. That's the thing. Yeah. We've got 14 available. We launched it during the birthday at 499. That's why we get items, we say get it valued, get it appraised for your insurance purposes. Today, we are going to do something completely unprecedented. As part of Linda's amazing kits, you do get the clasp as well. Everybody will pay that final low price tag. I'm down to the final 10. Um, yeah, and I can see you're probably waiting. You're probably waiting to see what this price crash is going to be. Do get it insured at some point because this is totally natural. Creme de la creme, Macoya pearls, doesn't really get any better than that. And uh, even if we were to stop here, that's an unbelievable deal for natural blue Acoya pearls. Unbelievable. I mean, it's in the, um, uh, the magazine recently, well, last year at some point. I remember Dave Trott mentioning it. And I read that magazine just a little while earlier. And it said that the dearth of pearls yep. now since COVID, not just pandemic, but also weather conditions, typhoons and tsunamis and things like that, which mm. happen in that part of the world, um, has pushed the price of pearls in particular, skyrocketed them. And if you equate that with the demand in Asia to keep yeah. them in the home market as well, um, there's only one way that pearls are going in the next two, three, four years, and that's up. Not down. No, and they won't stabilise neither. They are predicted to shoot through the roof. Well, not down, unless you're here at Jewellery Maker. Right. Remember, yeah. launched on the birthday at £499, but because they are part of the kit, I, there's no logic to this whatsoever, other than the fact that, look... <laughs> I don't think you're going to see blue acquire pearls, not for this quantity. Oh, my goodness me, that is ridiculous. 
Ross, seriously though. Seriously though? And you get the clasp. I paid not far off that for one. And I'm going back probably about six, seven years. One single blue Akoya pearl. You know, when you can say, have a look at this. Yeah, a more abundant colour. One single white Akoya pearl. £393. Is that on silver? Is it on... Oh, okay, it's on 18 karat gold chain. But... We're talking best part of 400 quid for one. And here we have an entire strand. You do the maths. And one of the rarer, more desirable colours in, in the pearl market. Patricia, amazing. Truly, that is a massive deal. Look at your split payments. I've only got seven of them left on your screens. Right, uh, uh, right. what? What are you doing? Can we even buy them for what you're about, you know, where we are right now, Roscoe? You've had the, you've had, you've had approval. They launched at 499 on our birthday, but we have the final few. Today in a kit, half price deal for you. Oh my goodness, they are not dyed. They are totally and utterly natural. One of the rarest colours of pearls, plus they're acquires. You won't get, I, I, I generally don't think, I shouldn't say def definitive statements like this, but it's highly unlikely, highly unlikely we're ever going to see blue acquire pearls at the, what we're at, or even where we are, where we were. Good luck and well done. Huge congratulations to those of you that have already made your confirmations. I've got five of them left and I'm over allocated. Maker in London, Barbara, Sandra, Karen, West Midlands, another maker. I've got people wanting multiples. I can see you on the phone lines too. Good luck. Launch during the birthday at 499, which is mega. Absolutely unbelievable. Half price today, purely because they're part of the kit. Um, good morning to you, Gloria. Hello, lovely. Hi, Elle. I bought the multicolored Akoya pearls, made earrings, and sold for £350. Amazing. How fantastic is that? It is. It's, and that's it's, what, two pearls? And that's still a bargain, isn't it? Still a bargain? Yeah. How amazing is that? You've got 24 pairs of earrings on that strand. Yeah. And, and a, a single floating pearl. I mean, one pearl at Blue Nile, one single pearl with a more abundant colour in the pure white is 400 quid. And that's with 20% off, by the way. So it's a steal. Well done, Linda, Sandy. You've got yours. I've got Pauline. I've got London. And I've got a new customer on the phone. Please stay with where, where you are. Our call centre will get to you. Oops. Uh, will get to you, I promise. Oh, sorry, I'm just kicking something under the desk. I don't know what it is. Um, uh, £249. That's one of the most bananas deals I've ever, ever, ever seen on a Akoya Pearl. It absolutely is. And the thing about the Akoya Pearl is it just gets better with wear yeah. you know the more you wear it the more it seems to respond yeah. to in, in its luster well, they love the oils of your yeah, skin don't they absolutely they do yeah. love don't don't and always take pearls don't keep them in plastic by the way pearls don't like them in plastic yeah. so wear, put them in something like a fabric or even better wear them that's what they're for the okay. last one if you've pressed your option one you should be fine you'll be allocated um so speak to our contact center is there a queue on the phone lines roscoe hold those phone lines if you've pressed your option one you should be fine stay where you are do not abandon your call pauline um, new telephone bidder and also great in London. And apparently there's somebody else there. If you pressed your option one, you're okay. Um, stay where you are. Do not abandon those calls. Absolutely incredible. What a deal that is. Now, shall we do... Mm -hmm. It is Malachite. Oh, my goodness. Is this what I think it is? Are these... <coughs> Excuse me. Um... Firstly, you have... I'm going to start with these components first. because I you, love those components. Aren't they gorgeous? You've yeah. kind of got these um, it's graduated circles. Oh, so much you can do though with those. They're beautiful. You have the perfect peacock's eye malachite. Which is so... Uh, look, at, look how perfect that it, is. It's, it's just unmistakably malachite, isn't it? Yeah. You have gold-plated sterling silver findings. You have, oh my goodness, this kit is unbelievable. You've got, seriously though, you've got a, a length. Right up your street, this is, this isn't it, with the gold? 100%. You've also got a length of gold-plated sterling silver chain, which is about, what, 50 centimetres? Then, come on. 
you've got your spacers, your decorative spacer beads. And the cherry on the proverbial cake is a full strand of Akoya pearls. This, I mean, beautiful, all this. But even if we just refer back to Blue Nile or Mickey mm -hmm. Moto, where they had a strand of, of, of this coloured pearls mm -hmm. for, for £3,000, in excess of £3,000. Yes. These are bigger. They are bigger. The, I can give you the measurements. These are, am I, gonna, am I right in saying these are about eight mil? Eight to nine millimetres. It's a full 40 centimetre strand. You've just seen what the deal was, how amazing the deal was on your natural blue Akoya pearls. Um, and I'm guessing this is going to follow suit. This is a longer strand. 40 centimetres is more than enough to make a, you know, a full necklace. Um, you know, like the ones that you see on uh, Princess of Wales, you know, royalty. This, that, they will probably be wearing a coir pearls above all others. Mm -hmm. It'll be a coir pearls. But these are giants. Go to Blue Nile. You can't get eight to nine. You can get eight to eight and a half on Blue Nile. And that's with a 20% saving, by the way. If you look at the original price, £5,040. So eight, eight and a half mil, you're talking four grand. These have got more of a golden overtone, um, so, which I absolutely love. The warmer colours of your pearls. Totally and utterly natural, straight away. Again, your you're, you're best part of 10% of off Blue Nile price. 10%. Not 10% off, 10% of their price. I mean, just look at the sheer beauty. Sorry. No, you when, carry on. No, when, when uh, that shot on Elle's hand there um, against the skin tone. I mean, just look at the sheer beauty of those pearls. I mean, that that is the sort of the word for it. They are yeah. beautiful and Linda, in every sense. I generally think these are the biggest pearls I've ever seen from Akoya. I think you, you are might, right. They yes. might be the biggest Akoya pearls I've, I've had here in the studio. I mean, they were certainly very um, substantial mollusks considering, as you said earlier, that, that normally, traditionally, they are the smaller mollusks. Two and a half inches them. in diameter. Yeah. So, I mean, that's... We're going lower. Wow. Good luck, everybody. Good luck to each and every single one of you. If you've never bought luxury pearls before, maybe they've been something like, you know, like, like, like I don't know, a pair of diamond earrings or a diamond tennis bracelet, aspirational jewellery. Do you know what I mean? They're goals in my head. They, they are, are anyway. I agree with you. That's what a um, coin pearl necklace is. Well, the thing is as well, with your di the diamond tennis bracelet, etc., etc., they all look the same, don't yeah, they? Yeah, they do. Um, and I'm... You know, trust me, I'm not discounting uh, diamonds in, every, in any way whatsoever. But pearls are, have all got their own little bit of personality. I can't believe um, we just done Wow. I can't believe we've just done that, Ross. Wow. How many is on there, Elle? Do you mind counting? I, I will absolutely count them. Gloria, a pair of I hope you're watching. going to be £250. Mini. These mass. are huge. They're the biggest Akoya pearls I've seen. Gloria is saying, look, I bought the multicoloured Akoya pearls uh, strand, made earrings and sold for £350. Amazing. Absolutely incredible. That one single Akoya pearl on a chain should have been £500. I know it's in 18 karat gold. But it's not the gold. The gold's not no, that expensive I mean, in what's comparison. What's the star the of that piece? Oh, it's the, the pearl, isn't 100 percent Hiya Gloria saying, uh, love your Akoyas. If budget allows, buy them. They are stunning. Totally agree with you, uh, Gloria. They, I, I, I used to sell Akoya pearls back in the jewelers when I was in my early 20s. Akoya pearls, um, South Sea pearls, and also Tahitian pearls. And they were all genuinely high four figures. Never in, tri in, a, in triple figures. Not even your pendants. Just one single pendant. And I'm going back 24 years now. Yeah, well, the, 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 you know, singularly, Akoya pearl, South Sea pearl, Tahitian pearl... They are the purchase of the very sort of well-off yeah, person, etc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aren't they? You know, this with payment, substantial um, income. But you know, here at Jewelry Maker, this was Steve Bennett's mantra when he started to make gemstones and pearls accessible 
to everyone. Yeah, 100%. Amazing. Down to the final four. Pauline, Claire, Patricia, Natalie, West Midlands, London, Keith and Fiona and Fife and Hampshire. I can't. I'm shocked by that, to be truthful. Um, and I might have. A, I might be joining you on that opportunity because I've never seen uh, Koya pearls, a full strand. You wanted me to count them, didn't you? Well, it's yes, a 40 it centimetre strand. So two, four, six, eight, ten, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48. Goodness, that's 24 pairs of earrings that you could, you know. 48. Yeah. It's a lot, isn't it? Amazing. Huge, huge congratulations, folks. I might have to, if there's any of the, is there any of those left, Roscoe? I am asking for my own personal benefit. I'm not going to lie. Um, okay, now, lots of you have shopped ahead on another Akoya Pearl opportunity, and it's the one that Gloria was referencing. Um, let's bring the graphics to air. So thank you for messaging in, Gloria. You know, for me to say it is one thing, for, but for... Um, a customer to feel uh, inclined to message in, which I really appreciate mm -hmm. saying, look, I bought that and I've sold it for this. And that's somebody who's, I, 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 I guess, maybe turned a profession into it, Gloria. Um, here you have, I love this strand. It's absolutely beautiful. You know, it comes with other components. It comes with your sterling silver bale as well. But for me, I'd keep this simplistic. I'd make it all about your beautiful pearls, don't you think? Just so classic, isn't Look it? Look at that. Does it get any better? You've got your golden Akoya pearls, your white Akoya pearls, and silver. Now, we're going to open this up straight away. We're at 449 pounds. That's, that's amazing. But our next price drop is not even where we're closing. Next price drop, Linda. How many have we, have we got, Ross? 50. Can I just, I know this is going to sound very, very, very indulgent, but can, if your budget allows, can you imagine getting two and doing an over the head necklace in a coir pearls? I don't know many people that walk the planet that can say they own an over the head necklace no. of a coir pearls. pearls. The yeah. next price crash is not even where we are stopping. And I'm going to ask Ross to get his calculator out in a minute. <gasps> Not where we are stopping. Ross, can I ask you to add up the three Akoya Pearl kits? As it stands, £700. The first two kits, £500. If this were to stop at £199, £700. That is unbelievable, genuinely unbelievable. And I, look, I know that's a considered price point, but can you imagine saying that you own all of those? This is so be this is so far removed than wholesale prices. I went to Tucson and I saw them. I saw them at wholesale. It was nowhere near three figures. I can say that for certain. Everybody that has already checked out. Gloria, amazing. I don't blame you for securing another one. And Gloria messaged in saying, look, I sold two for a in a pair of earrings for £350. She knows where her bread is buttered. Well done, lovely. Gloria, London's got three. West Midlands, Wiltshire, Fiona, London, Karen, Heather, Fiona, new customer, new customer. Fife, maker in Northumberland. Uh, sorry, not Nottinghamshire. Barbara. I, ca I can't. Oh, my goodness. No, I can't say it. I'm not, I'm not going to say £129 for, for... Wow. Good on you. I would be doing exactly the same. If this doesn't sell out, then I would be completely gobsmacked. On what planet are we right now to bring a coy of pearls in all of their rarity, in all their luxury, in all of their... You know, when we've shown places like Blue Nile, very reputable website... Exactly, you know, but I mean, uh, you know, amongst our customers today, we there is definitely, to my, in my opinion and to my mind, there are a there are collectors yeah. of the of the products of the pearls, and also there's commercial buyers. So oh, we've got we've got jewelers shopping yeah. today, hundred yeah, percent. And why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they? On our own birthday, we sold this exact strand on its own so much higher than what's on your screens right now. 
There is a queue on the phone lines. Please, please do not abandon those calls. You got to remember, look, you're not going to be waiting for the like 45 minutes that I was holding the other day to a utility when I was trying to speak oh, to her about my mum's oh. house. Yeah, you are um, 41st in the queue. Oh God, soul destroying. No, you will be a matter of minutes. So make sure you stay where you are. And what an achievement that is. Congratulations. Now, lovely Linda. Oh, goodness me, what are you going to demo, darling? Because these, these are beautiful. Well, you sort of put in my mind what perhaps I should demo when you mentioned about your acoya that's sort of enveloped in a heart. Yeah. Um, well, there's, I think I did it in... There's did a you? little bird's nest. Um, ah, here? Yeah. Yes, that's it. it I, I did that all in silver. But um, I've got to pinch the... Oh, what a pain. I've got to pinch the oh, strand. Oh, you've got to pinch oh, a strand of a of coil of pearls. Oh, gosh. It's a tough world, God, isn't it? Well, the you, And you would pinch the biggest, wouldn't you? Yeah. 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 Well, no, I've got to cut it. What can we do with it then? <laughs> so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that little sort of nesting shape. Um, I don't know. I can't tell you why I did that. I think I was playing around with, with a piece of wire and a pearl and that. And I thought, instead of just enveloping the one pearl, I'd see what I could do with more than one. So, yeah. again, as we always do in the um, jewellery making flower, flower arranging, all that, go for an odd number. So, I'm just going to take three. Oh, I think my cutters are a bit blunt. Oh, I brought my old ones with me, that's why. Right, I'm going to take three pearls off the strand. And then carefully, I don't want any pearls going out. Well, sandwich them down there. And I've got a length of 0.4 wire here, gold plated. Um, now, in a perfect world, I would like this to be, you know, 9 carat, 18 carat, 22 carat gold, but I haven't got that, so I'm going for gold plated wire. So I'm just going to thread these three pearls. Where, are, where have you gone? The luster of the pearls is so bright. I can't find the hole. They've just come off the strand, so the hole is there. Oh, let's get the next one. There it is. And just pop that onto the wire. See if we can get this one. No, I might have to take another one off there. The reason by that one is so, so reflective. Ref it is reflective. Which is a good thing. I've got my old glasses on as well. So three pearls onto my 0 0.4. Where's the other? Yep, there's the other end of the tunnel. And I'm just going to squidge those to the centre of my wire and then take the two lengths of wire, just squidge them around and make them into sort of a loop shape as such and then just take my finger and thumb down and give a little pinch there so I've got that sort of clover shape which is quite a See? nice shape to yeah. follow around then and then holding where those two wires are touching hold that together but turn the pearls just turn the pearls only about twice and then pull quite firmly on either side of the wire just to strengthen that little twist there and then what I'm going to do now <clears throat> is I'm going to warm the wire between finger and thumb just to make it that little bit more malleable and then I'm just putting my thumbnail slightly to the edge of the wire just to give myself a bit of that natural curve because I want to follow around the pearls. Now this won't be a complete um, uniform shape because obviously it's a sort of a clover shape as it were. But if you just steady the pearls uh, on a cushion on your index finger and pull the wire around until it meets the cross of the other wire and then just push it underneath just to stabilise and push down towards the pearls and then follow that around again. Now, if it goes a little bit awry and it's not quite as neat as you would want it, don't stress too much because you can, when the whole thing is uh, enveloped, you can push the wire more into place. The more wire that you get on there, um, the easier it is to create that nice sort of halo. So we're back 
to the previous wire again. So again, twist them together and give them a little bit of a pull. Now I've just pulled that too tight and disrupted the shape a little. So as it's wire, you obviously can push it back into place. And continue doing that all the way around the outer perimeter of the pearls. I'm just going to twist that around again. And at this point here, I'm going to pinch where the two wires come together and just give that a little bit of a twist and push the perimeters back into place and continue that all the way around until you have used up the wire on the, the, the first side that you chose to, wire, to push around. But just leave about, I'm going to go around one more time with that and leave about two to three inches because we need to make a connecting point. So twist around again and then take the other side of the wire and go in the opposite direction. Okay, it doesn't have to be incredibly, the, the whole point of this is it's quite a, a organic look. It's an organic gem, so it's quite an organic look around the pearls. So you can take much longer than I, do, um, than I can do on air. So just take your time feeding it around. And then again, we'll do that little twist. And then when you have fully enveloped those three pearls into um, a much nicer shape than I've got here, because I'm just going through it too quickly, is just take both wires together again and do more of a twist now to give yourself um, a sort of a firmer area to put your wrap loop. So pop your round nose pliers onto both of the, the strands of the wire and then bring it back. Then just push that loop further down the plier and then take around, twist around so you, you're forming a nice fixing point. Straighten that up somewhat and then take off your excess And then I'll go back to that at a later date and use my flat nose pliers just to push that little bit of excess in. And then just go back to stabilising the, um, the wire around that sort of um, shape. And then all you have to do then is pop that onto the chain. Beautiful. I mean, you can do that with just one pearl if you prefer. Um, and then I've just gone along the neckline using some oval shaped um, jump rings that I had at home um, to create the neckline piece. But it's, it's quite a pretty, you know, like this shell that we had, the mother of pearl and yeah. the pearl. Um, it's sort of a, quite a similar effect to that, but, but different. Um, but do take a little bit more time um, to take the wire around the pearls because obviously the pearls because of the nacre on them uh, are quite slippy so just take your time wrapping it around and I say don't overstress the fact that it's got to be completely uniform because obviously the pearls no. will govern the shape of yeah. its little cage and that's what they're all about yeah. pearls aren't they totally. they're beautiful organic gemstones now we have one final kit and these are quick makes Simple makes. Oh, I didn't get that one. Did you not? No. Still talking the world of Akoya pearls. There are only nine of these. Um, and basically, have you got any additional half drilled pearls within your stash? Or half drilled gemstones, whatever it might be. Um, we're going to bring you um, a couple of components that you can put together if you wish or separate. Entirely up to you. So you have two dyed black Akoya pearls. Um, and these are, are they half drilled, those Akoya pearls? Yeah, 
half drilled and then you've got these really beautiful uh, very contemporary i think so that give it creating like a modern twist on something that's very classic like exactly. koi pearls yeah. um which allows you if you want i mean you could literally snip those away if you don't want to use those pegs um or allows you to add additional um additional half drill pearls or half drill gemstones now we're at 149 pounds and 99 pence there are only nine of these though so they are very limited um, beautiful black acoya pearls still get that luster the color has been enhanced and there's nothing wrong with that <gasps> wow okay so i would expect them to be more affordable because they're dyed pearls but that's that's do you know what we're making during this nothing nothing friends friends that's all lots and lots and lots of friends we are making waves ripples uh trouble yeah we are making trouble what else can we make making um making people happy making people happy yeah absolutely making people happy we're making uh akoya pearl collectors effectively uh yeah we're making wayne angry um <laughs> <laughs> quite probably because you're like they're akoya pearls but we should expect them to be a little bit more affordable making our own job more difficult. That's a really good point. Yeah, 100%. That's if you've got a job after this. If we've got this. a job after this. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, they are Akoya pearls. Yes, they're dyed. So yes, they should be a little bit more um, inexpensive. However, that is ridiculous, quite frankly. How many did we have, Roscoe? Nine. Okay, now there's one. Well done. Amazing. Um, oh. We are about to step into a brand new world. A brand new location a new deposit of exquisite jade i've never seen anything like this before and i was like oh i'll pop that one on that oh very, yeah oh you know. gosh that's quite noticeable isn't it just steal out the building Look with that, that color though isn't it isn't Look it at that beautiful. color let me show you because this is absolutely unbelievable this is san and scan we've never had it before this is all type a grade wow. I mean, it's the most imperial colour or spinach green colour that I've ever seen. And we, it is the greenest of greens. I'm so excited to hear the story. Um, we've got it in different sizes as well so that you can create your graduations. This is a bracelet, but you could easily deconstruct it if you wanted to. It, I'm very excited. Like I say, on the what is effectively the eve of the China trip where Dave and Jake and a few other members of the team went over to China to meet with one of the most reputable individuals in the jade industry. Do not go anywhere, wonderful jewelry makers. This is going to literally bowl you over with its beauty. San and Scan being launched for the first time after this. <laughs> Jewelry makers, join me this weekend where we'll be exploring uh, an incredible collection of jade. On the Friday, I'm launching what is being deemed as the newest jade on earth, coming from a location in Pakistan. It is known as Sanan Skan. Uh, I was there um, the week that Cartier placed the huge initial order on this material for their debut collection. And we have got one of the, if not the most supreme grade I've ever seen. And then on Saturday, join me for the original jade. We're talking Kotan mutton fat with that tallow-like luster, carrot weights and strands like we have never previously bought to you. Very, very limited, but an exceptional, exceptional showcase for true collectors. Hello everyone, it's Mark here. I'm delighted to be inviting you to join myself, Eleanor and the crew this Saturday, 5th of August, Come and join us on our safari. We've got an amazing lineup, including eight o'clock show opener, the most incredible elephant pendant. Nine o'clock, we couldn't be going on safari without Botswana Agate. I've got five incredible kits to show you. I'm not gonna tell you about the deal of the day, that's a bit of a secret, but at 12 o'clock, keeping the safari theme, I've got three kits, including the most incredible tassel toppers. We've got a leopard, We've got a lion and we've got an elephant. So join us all this Saturday morning, the 5th of August. You heard it here first. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. 
You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Now, seriously, look at that though. Look at that. I just come back and I just clock this. Oh my goodness me. Can I just say, tell you as it is, we as a crew know as much about this launch as you guys do. It's, it's been a very, I'm not gonna say secret. I don't know if it's been a secret, but this is a, a brand new development that really in that time frame we haven't yet heard the story of. So I'm literally so excited. But genuinely, every word that I have said to you from the beginning of the show when we came live this morning at eight o'clock to now, I have never seen Jade like this before. It is the, the most, and I'm sure, and Dave will correct me if I say anything wrong, this is the most translucent I've ever seen, and it is the most perfect colour. Because in the world of jade, I think we're all programmed to think immediately imperial green. Now, I, we know that the colours and everything, you know, reds, etc., we know that that's changing dramatically, but 
We say jade, we think imperial green, don't we? This is as close to that imperial green colour that I've got in my imagination that I think I'll ever, ever, ever be. The types that you saw, you know, that bangle that you saw being held up by, uh, um, in was it Sotheby's? It's that intensity of colour. So excited to hear the story. Now, we've been educated over, year, over the years. And, I, I, you know, I never do claim myself to be a professional, but from what I can gather, the little that I know, it's about translucency and colour, and my goodness me, it ticks those boxes and then some. Now, he is here, literally within moments, take a breath. Dave, I was just saying how exciting this opportunity is because that's unbelievable. Yeah, the, we, we were talking about um, a, a gemstone right now that I kind of found out about in November. So in November, I was out in Hong Kong. Uh, we were primarily out there searching for, for jadeite, for jadeite opportunities for you guys. And then we walked into this um, carving studio, this cutting facility, and the gentleman had what I assumed was imperial jadeite yeah. laid out. And we started talking about it and he, he stopped me and he said, no, no, this is far rarer. Um, and essentially this material is being found in Kashmir or Pakistan, mm. um, single locational, just like uh, jadeite or mm. Mausitsi. And it's been embraced immediately by the high jewelry world. So he was preparing an order in November for Cartier. Wow. And they're selling like points of this material for thousands. You've got the most impressive collection currently that exists in the world. Yeah. This, this is it. And um, I'm going to show you the gentleman that we acquired it from. It's the same gentleman that, like I said, was carving, cutting for Cartier. This is who they go to. So they, first of all, when they first discovered this, because there is no labs in this part of, of Pakistan, they, they assumed it was jadeite. They assumed it was Mausitsi. And it went by several different names for a while. Um, so Parler International wrote about it, which is one of the industry bodies. And they say the mouse sits it masquerade. Exactly a year ago, the Hong Kong Jewelry and Gem Fair saw a healthy amount of green stone sold to dealers as mouse sits it from a new deposit, not in Burma, um, its only known locality. This is a material that's coming from Pakistan, as I said, from the Kashmir region. And this was the studio that we acquired it from. Looks like Mao Sitsit, Sanan Skan, which is the name that he's going by from Pakistan. And you can see this impressive color. This is a material right now, that, that one bangle there was over $10,000. Wow. You can see there's one bangle. And when I saw it, I said, I need to be able to bring that to the West. Because no one, apart from Cartier uh, and high jewelry, because although it looks so impressive there, it's only about 5% of the material that can crystallize like that. The rough on the right, you can see it's like dust. This is the reality. To get like a necklace like that, or to get rounds that large, you're talking five figures US dollars. Wow. Even now. And that's, this is in its embryonic stage. You know, this is a brand new discovery. This isn't like 800 years of history. Like Jada and Mao Sitsit. This is super exciting to get into ground level. And I want to let you know that I've, that was in November when I picked this deal up. Uh -huh. I've just come back. You know, I was there last week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll never do this material again. Not because it's not available. In fact, there's more of it right now than there was in November. It's far too expensive. Okay, it's price only down. It's mm -hmm. only high jewellery now. We got in at the very kind of inception. This was all the certifications coming from the labs that are trying to understand it, the GIA, the SSEF. It's chromium bearing. That's why it has that imperial green colour. So that is where you get that impressive, incredible colour. It's kind of a nephrite sort of rock. This is the GIE, a GIA and SSEF. But I wanted to show you the rough because this is from the carving studio. It is like dust. Yes. Yeah, so it's not like jade. Jade, you slice jade. Yeah. And you almost get, if you get good crystallized jade, you get panes of glass of, of jade, essentially, that are like 12 mil thick. It's impossible. Uh, all that, all of that rough there might produce five cabochons. All of wow. it. Look at, it's all host rot. And then you're getting these moments. This material, um, when I went back in January, February, I'll show you what happened when I was there in November. They'd got like some of the best material, which we picked from. What's coming out of Pakistan now, they're having to sell as slices, mm. like super thin uh, discs, but not like discs that we know from Jada that are like that thick. I'm talking millimetre thin. Right. And, and, and then they're actually doing doublets of this material now. The colour is so impressive, but because if you're not getting the top crystallisation, which is super rare, it's too fragile. It's like dust. So they have to put a quartz over the top. This is the top gem. This is the ultimate. In fact, um, Adam, I sent some clips earlier. Didn't I? We've got like this clip of film, which I can talk over, it's fine. But 
he kind of concisely tells this story. What you're about to see, this was when I walked in and I was like, what is this? It has to be imperial green. He said, no, it's this material. That's the rough. Wow. This incredible bright green, super incredible rough. And then as we worked through it, they showed me the certification. I was like, no, it's a new gem. It's not Malsitsi. It's not Jedi. It's something, it, but this oh is what they were goodness. carving for Cartier. This is what they're carving for the high jewelry houses. This is the top 1%, maybe 5% butterfly wings, incredible open wow. carvings like they work with Jedi. There's none of that material when I, went, when I just went back. Okay. So we've, so got, well, we've got the best of the best. We've got the ultimate. And the SSEF, who was one of the first to certify it, have said, look, it's going to find its position in the market among Jadeite Jade. It's going to be the next Jadeite Jade. I've just spent a week with a gentleman called Stanley Chu, who's the most, he's the, the most respected Jade authority on, on the planet Earth. Mm -hmm. And he was saying how there's no Jade I've been mined since the summer of 2020. Yeah. This is the future. This is the material right now, which is what the whole of Asia wants. Chromium green, imperial green color, top, top crystallization in the finest grade. But this is rarer than imperial green jade. When, when they were mining jade, and though it's stopped now, when they were mining jade, they were getting 30,000 tons a season, a year. Not all of it was imperial, but there was you know, tons of imperial coming into China. Yeah, yeah. There's been, since 2016, when this was discovered, there's been one parcel of top gem, which showed so much promise. Everyone got excited about it. Like I said, this is Cartier. This is Cartier embracing. They're it. tiny. 70 points. 70 points. Price and application. Yellow gold, sand and scarn and diamonds. Tiny moments of it. It's almost impossible to produce the larger carvings from the material that's coming from the mountains now. So this might be a one-time pocket, a one-time find that goes on to become maybe the most expensive green gemstone in the world. You, and, and my mind all of a sudden is racing. You know, if I just put to one side the fact that I'm genuinely, I've never seen anything more beautiful mm. than this colour and track. Yeah, no, we, look how much nephrite you've done, look how much jade you've done. Yeah, never yeah, had yeah. This colour. genuinely, yeah, it's unbelievable. But if we put that to one side for one second, I'm just also thinking, Dave, that's like us being... The, pretty much there, say when Tanzanite was discovered. It's beyond that. Get, this yeah. is like this you're is get, like that five-year window yeah. of Kashmir Sapphire in the yes. late 1800s. Yes, perfect. You know, there was that amazing moment where they had this, and it showed so much promise, but try as we might, in the last 100, 100 plus years, we've never got Kashmir Sapphire. It was just that one-time yeah. pocket. That's the reality. That's what happened here. This was first unearthed in 2016, although no one knew about it. It went straight to China. They've been working with it. I found it in November. Cartier also found it. And now, when I just came back, you know, six months later or whatever it is, seven months later, eight months, all they're working with is the dust. They can't get it. So this is not just the rarest single location or green gemstone in the world. It is a gemstone that showed the promise of SSCF said this is going to be the next jadeite jade. It's going to find its place with jadeite mm. jade. And I'm telling you right now, it's the rarest of those types of gemstones and the most impressive in terms of color. That's the rough. Try getting, well, I'll show you. Try getting this. These are unbelievable. So this. I know. How have it ha like, well, wow. You see them there. You this see is why you travel around the world. For sure, Davis. I'd never have heard of this gemstone. That. It's 100% natural. I don't have 200 of them. I don't have 100 of them or 50 of them. How many do you have? Six? Five. Five. They are actually being booked in as we speak. So this is a showcase like none of that we've done. How many jadeite showcases have we done? How many nephrite jade showcases have we done? Mao sits it. Mm-hmm. This is a one-time moment acquired in November from the initial uh, pieces, the initial rough that came out in 2016, which the whole world got excited about. The whole world. You've seen the publications. You know, the, the Western jewelry houses, the Western uh, labs, the Far Eastern labs, the biggest jewelry brands in the Far East. And I'll show you the kind of prices that this material commands. This is a wholesaler in Hong Kong, new products, great prices. And you're seeing, oh like, those are earrings in the center. This is wholesale. Earrings in the center, $800. Two drops there for earrings on the left. No metal, no precious metal, $600. Wow. And then just one beautifully carved but small starfish, $900. We got the bangle. The color is, like, you know, mm -hmm. exact. Oh, yeah, this is the, the pristine 
unbelievable top gem material that we are going to offer our collectors. And all I will say is, it's supremely limited and there's going to be no second show, no third no. show. No. This is everything. And I've never seen sizes like it either. Apart from in that one studio in Hong Kong who are working with Cartier. Never seen sizes like it. And tiny moments like this, these are wholesale prices, that's not retail. You know, those earrings in the center, once they're set with gold and diamonds, they might become $3,000. And you've, you're wearing those two bracelets there. <laughs> and they're absolutely monstrous in size and color, crystallization, polish, everything. Wow. Oh, wow. I don't, know, I don't know if I've ever been more excited for a showcase. When I saw this in November, I didn't think I'd ever be able to bring it to you guys. I, I, I generally have never been more speechless with the quality of them. Mm -hmm. You know, like, like I say, like you always say, Dave, you know, we are very much learning in mm -hmm. our J journey. For sure, but this, for sure. this is that, the, the best color. Yeah, this has just turned the industry on its head. Color. And, they, yeah. and like I said, the whole world was mesmerized by it, championing it, writing articles about it, talking about it, the biggest jewelry brands on earth, you know, diving in to bring their collectors this material. And now you cannot get it. And even for a slice, it's cost prohibitive. You're not getting a slice today. You're getting huge strands of matched material, the best of the best. Like it doesn't get better if you go to Cartier, it doesn't get better if you go anywhere else. In fact, this is the biggest and best showcase I've ever seen or collection I've ever seen and you're about to own it. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, which piece are we gonna start with, the bracelet? One of these bracelets. Okay, 30 second clock before we go live with this bracelet. Can we manage expectations? How many of that first bracelet do we have? Um, seven. Just so you know. Now, they are the same millimeters. Yeah, different um, carat weight, one's 10 carats larger. One's got one extra bead. Mm -hmm. So, if you want the small, the larger size, then that's the one coming up next, the one I'm wearing. So they're exactly the same dimensions, the same, but each of these rounds is like 10 carats. And one's got an extra round on Less. There. Yeah. Yeah, good but luck, everyone. Honestly, I am... Seven um, available. Completely smitten by this thing. Yeah, well, this is a real coup to be able to bring our collection yeah. to. Because it's like only available right now in the West from us or Cartier. And you're about to get a monstrous carat. San and Scan. San and Scan from Pakistan. Natural, single locational, and already being touted as the next jadeite, but it's, it's whether they can find more of this material. It might have just been a one pocket find, but it's undeniable. Good luck, everybody. Unparalleled, yeah. It, 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 it's just the color and that translucency, mm -hmm. Dave, which, you know, if you were to look you know, with, with our jade hats on, it's all about that, isn't it? Yeah, it's I mean, colour, it's, translucent. You want that texture. chromium green colour. There's only seven. Well done to the collection, Worcestershire. I am going to actually do the most sensational deal today. Like, okay. I know these start prices seem crazy, but what's really crazy is what I'm about to do for you. Okay. Half the stock's gone of this first piece. Yeah, this will sell out. Um, let's go straight down. Let's look. Forget these crazy prices. Let's go straight down to two thousand pounds. Okay. Let's take it into some, you know, realms yeah. of possibility. And by the way, I'm still thousands of pounds away from being done. <clears throat> Especially when you consider, Dave, <clears throat> drops, two drops, mm -hmm. which actually look like they've got a coarser crystal. Yep. Six hundred dollars at wholesale. Yeah, wholesale. I'm talking about this is a full bangle mm -hmm. or bracelet rather. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Of sixteen millimeters, yeah, oh, which is giant. Uh, you are dust. Dust is what this material right now is showcasing from the rough. Okay, I'm just done. gonna go. We just showed that that wholesale listing. Let's go nine hundred dollars straight away, or nine hundred pounds on this. Let's, let's take a thousand pounds off. Okay, nine hundred. Yeah, let's go straight down because look. Regardless of what this commands elsewhere, regardless of the fact we can't ever do this again, and I've just come back, so I'm perfectly well situated to tell you that. I was excited by many different things that were on my agenda when I went toward China recently. Jadeite was one of them, Peridot was another, you know, the other jades that we could get interested in. One of the top of my list when I got to Hong Kong at the end of my trip was seeing the same studio again mm -hmm. and seeing if we can get more of this for you. Not a chance. And by the way, you saw that glass table of the material, it's still there. But, you know, that 19,000 pounds you just saw on your screen, that comes from somewhere. I can't afford that material anymore. No, 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 no. It's been in the right place at the right time, isn't yeah. it? 
Which is so important in the gemstone world. Yeah, I can't afford any of that. Not a chance. Look how special it is. Yeah. And you're amazing. about to acquire it. Oh, my it. Yeah, goodness yeah, yeah. me. Okay, um, 30 second clock, please, Adam. And uh, I mean, I think this is sold out, to be honest. I think we've got one left. One. We do yeah, have there the next is one, one coming up. But a lot of you have it in your baskets. Good luck. Okay, we're going to start that clock for every single one of you, and we're going to give you one crazy deal. Uh, Cheryl, Anne, well done. Karen, Elizabeth, Greater London, Worcestershire, well done to all of you. I'll have 10, please. Yeah. I don't blame you, Susan. I don't blame you at all. We never had 10, though. That's no, the thing. No, that's the thing. We had seven. <laughs> And that's in the world, you know, yeah, you haven't yeah. got, you know, again, managing expectations. Mm -hmm. This is not going to happen again. We no, are not no. having another San and Scarn show. Your slices, the dust, doublets. Oh, d yeah. Good but, point. you know, you still, you'll be looking at the similar price points. But yeah. here you've got, what, 400 carats. I'm going to do something crazy for you. Um, I think it's sold out, but go straight down. We don't have to do this, it's sold out. 299. 299. Can't, cannot replace it, cannot do it, but that's the beauty of it. If we get a great deal, we, we give you a great deal. We don't look, yeah. I was 400 carats. Sold out. Sold out, we do have the other piece, same mill size if you're looking to create jewelry, um, but uh, 10 carats smaller, 390 carats. So basically, they, you, you lose a bit of the carat weight, but you gain an extra bead, if that makes sense. So, I mean, you could, you'd, hard, you'd struggle to tell the two apart. To yeah, be yeah, yeah, yeah. So, oh my goodness. There's eight available. 390 carats. If you missed out on the first one, I could put the two alongside one another and genuinely you would struggle to find the difference. Um, wow, look at that colour. It's insane. It's absolutely insane. And it, from what... Little I know, and I've learned this morning already, is that this has got a finer crystal than those drops. Good luck, everyone. Hazel, Hertfordshire and Jane, you're straight in there. Well done. If you missed out on the previous, here's your opportunity. There are eight in the world. That's it. Linda, both you and I had that same reaction then when Dave shouted out that price tag. Yeah, I was, I was looking at this um, material. So the last night I saw that we were having it today and I thought, what's that? So I, I sort of had a little bit of a read about it. And also with Dave saying that, you know, the likes of Cartier are after the, the, the small amount that there is. And I know for a fact that also Louis Vuitton are using it in their watches. Wow. They've got a particular watch, and I've forgotten the name of it, but there's a particular watch that Louis Vuitton do, and they've decided to recreate that watch in a very, very, very limited way using this gemstone. Using sun and scar? Mm -hmm. Wow. So they're after it as well. Amazing, which makes it even more difficult for us. Yeah. So you've got LVMH, you know, who are the, the, the owners of Tiffany, some of the other biggest jewel brands on earth, Cartier. Everyone's made a huge play for this, as they have for Jadeite. Um, is this has got the extra bead. We don't even know how correct these, these, uh, the information on the screen is right now, but it's an extra bead. It's the same mill size. I find it hard to believe it's a smaller carat weight, but I am going to do something crazy for you. In fact, Ross, I think it's sold out. There might be one left. Just match the price. It has sold out. But, oh, wow. Matching that price point for you. You can always wish list items like this. You That's have to. definitely what it's I'm the only way. doing. Yeah, because there's not going to be another show. You know, high gone. Like I said, I went there with one of my primary objectives was to get more of this incredible San Anscon for you guys, especially with, as, as, as we've just heard, you know, LVMH, Cartier being involved in it. You know, that's it. You know, the watch face is perfect. Slicing. They're slicing this material because it's so valuable. You've just got the biggest round, 16 mil. It's, it's outrageous. Now we're about to bring you the, the ultimate oh. strand. Yeah, this, let, let me just go back to the studio where I first saw this in November and show you that strand, which is five figures. Right there. Front and center. And I was like, what on earth is this material? Oh my goodness me, Dave. Yeah. Please tell me this quantity. Oh. How many? Yeah. Look at that, there's 12. Look, oh I mean, We my. don't even need to talk about this material because no. it, it, you can see it. That's oh, a real picture. Right. That's not like Photoshop. That's not some computer rendered image. Seriously. That's the really what we are seeing. I've never That's seen how good this material beautiful. is. So gemmy, so alive. 
Only discovered in 2016. Discovered, well, came to the market in 2016. My God, that's imperial green. These are 10 millimetres. Now, we have 8 and 6 mil to bring you as well. Look and I would, I would say to anyone, if you can take these and create the graduated look, which is the one that I saw in the studio, which is graduated, then go for it, which means you, you have to get the six, the eight, and of course here the 10. This is insane. I've 12 in the world. Yeah. Um, we're gonna bring this live for our collectors, um, and you just have to trust us and be quick. Good luck, everybody. Look at that colour. Have you ever seen anything I've, like I it? have, yeah. I have, yeah. The Barbara Hutton necklace. Yeah. Uh, in fact, Ross, sorry to do this to you. Could you Google that? Barbara Hutton jade necklace. Put it alongside it. And you'll just see what I'm yeah. talking about. The, the, exactly how you've got that lay there, just falling down, yeah. cascading just onto a page of A4 paper. Yeah. And it looks like the $27 million. Necklace. It does. 100%. Far, far rarer, some would argue. Yeah. You know, single locational. It's absolutely stunning, Dave, and I can see why you 100%. I fell in love with it. It's not a hard one, is it? No. It's not, I didn't have to go, I wonder if they'll like this. It's like, come on. <laughs> there you go. You got it. It's Ross. a given. Oh, my goodness me. Yeah. Oh, my goodness me. Yeah. And Yeah, arguably rarer. Arguably rarer. The SSEF rarer. said this will take its place among Jade Eye Jade. And it's yep. easy to see why. Yeah. If they can, if they can find more of this material, this is the gem that will take over the world. In oh. my opinion, because it's just everything we could never bring you from Jade. Good luck, everybody. There are twelve in the world. Thirty second clock, please. L literally, here's me talking. This is this is such an exciting launch. Mm -hmm. And you said it earlier on, Dave, probably you're most excited. Oh, for sure. Because, like I said, the only people that have really brought this right now is, uh, is the biggest jewellery houses in the world. Yeah. That's it. It's not like, oh, look, you can find it on somewhere else or it's this is it. And there's, you know, who knows what those prices are going to be. Now, they've already sold out before the clock, Dave. Okay. We're going to do, I mean, super jemmy. Like, so jemmy. The length on this is unbelievable. I'm going to give... Do you mind if I just go straight down to the price because everyone's trusted us? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, you want this um, 38 centimetres. I've never seen a natural strand of that colour that's not six figures. Mm. You know, because if it's jade, it's, it's an auction record. You know, the, 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 the jade necklace that we are comparing this to <laughs> broke the world record three times. The only three times it's come to auction, 1988, 1994 and 2014. Every time broke the world record. In fact, from 1988 to 1994, it doubled the world record. And if it went to auction now, it would sell north of $100 million. Wow. Because in 2014, it sold for 27.4 million. Yours today. Can't believe I'm going to do this, Ross. It's already sold out. This is the, the trust that you guys place in us. We could just go, oh, you know, we're going to do a thousand pounds or whatever. It doesn't matter because we know how valuable this is. But we got an incredible deal in November. Markets changed. I'm going to still honor that and I'm going to go 249. Well 249. Yeah. For 270 carats. Less than a pound a carat. That's crazy. Yeah, it is crazy. Less than a pound a carat. It's, and I know the, 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 it's bittersweet. It's amazing that I see so many of our regular collectors getting this, benefiting, doing what we do. But it's bitter because I know I can't replace it. I will never get this, this grade again, this quality again. The world can't get it. Yeah. Well, at the minute, Ross has just said, I've never seen a showcase like this, and we never will. That's. So. Oh, we, items selling out before we bring. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Um, just so is you it, know, um, and sorry to interrupt, it is key because there isn't a second show or third show that if you want to create that graduated look, that I, even in November, was trading at, you know, ridiculous money wholesale. These are your chances. This is the eight mil now. I love what you've just done there, Al, where you've laid it together and you can see it take shape. This is, this is like um, fantasy jewelry. To yeah. Me. You know, this isn't some cheap simulant. This is material that the biggest gem labs in the world are saying, this is the future. This will be the new Jade IJ. The problem is, as I've just found out, they're not getting it. They can't find it. Yeah. It's exactly what happened with Kashmir Sapphire. You know, they'd have mined that like Tanzanite for 60, 70 years, but they couldn't. It was a five-year window. And try as they might, all the investment in that area, 
Mother Nature has made no more. Imagine that. They discover Kashmir Sapphire. You're there and you manage to get it affordably. That's where we are right now mm. with this opportunity, isn't it? Dave, I've just heard something in my ear which has shocked me. Go on. The quantity of this strand. Go on. 65. Right. 30 second clock, please, Adam. Um, there's 65 of you that can do this. And do you know what? I've actually ne I don't even believe that's our recording. That's how amazing this is. I'm looking at that and I'm going, surely that can't be jewelry we're bringing our collectors. I look at it and I think that has to be taken from a Christie's catalog. That has to be taken from one of those YouTube videos where they're documenting one of the most important pieces. Yeah. That just doesn't look like what we are used to seeing on Jewelry Maker or Gems TV. I'm not disparaging anyone. It doesn't look like anything I've ever seen anywhere, if I'm honest. No, yeah, it's true. And we, or if, this is why, by the way, Al, a week ago, the Financial Times said, we're going to come and do a story on you guys. This is why. Because, because we're do doing things, things like that are just, no one's ever seen happen before. Yep. 65 opportunities. Good luck. Like, can I just say, this is the first time I've ever been part of an auction where I'm like, I don't even care about the carrot weight. It's so It's so far beautiful. From my That's mind. all you need. It's like I'm just looking at that and I'm going, okay, it's a full strand. One of those is special. I'll show you how special one of those is. They're saying it's the new Jadeite Jade. Do you know how much that colour is in Jadeite Jade? Uh, I mean, you do. I know you do. But i just got to show you something. When I was out in China, I was with a gentleman called Stanley Chu. I know I've told this story before. I don't want to bore anyone. I was out there with Stanley Chu. Someone's just bought 12 of these, just so you know. What? Yeah. I was out there with a gentleman called Stanley Chu. And um, he is the ultimate in the jade world. He, he actually sold the fifth most expensive bangle of all time. $3.88 million, Circle of Happiness. Sold it at Sotheby's in 2021. His family have been trading jadeite. They're like jadeite royalty for 60 years, the biggest jewelry house in the world. They've just launched their own brand in 2020 because they know there's no wholesale anymore because they can't replace jade. So whatever they've got, what's the point of selling it to anyone else? They might as well sell it. Mm. They've opened up a boutique in central yeah. Hong Kong. Fascinating guy educated in America, speaks better English than me, and spent, like I said, a whole week with him, was WhatsApping. I'm just going to tell this anecdotal story just very quickly. I don't wear any jewellery. Don't wear a ring, don't wear a bracelet, watch, nothing. Right? I wear this chain, which I've told you about. Um, my parents bought it me for my 21st birthday. Okay? So it's just like crucifix and a gold chain. I always just wear it, sentimental value. And I collect a lot of jewellery for my daughter's collection, for my own collection, but I just don't wear it. Don't like wearing anything. And because jade is a gemstone that has just completely changed my, my world, I was mm -hmm. like, I want to wear a piece of jade. I just want to wear one little pendant, nine carat gold, on my chain, just yeah, so I know nice. it's always close to me. And so who better to go to than Stanley Chu? Yeah. He's the guy that has the best jade in the world. So this isn't wholesale. This isn't retail. This is a friend. <laughs> and he said, look, when I, yeah, I know what you're after. I think I know what you're after. And he said, when I get back to Hong Kong, because we were going all around China, he said... Uh, a WhatsApp, yeah, and I'll show you. I think I've got just the thing for you in the vault. It was like amazing. And I want you to know just how valuable this color is in any gem. Um, so let me find him. So this is Stanley Chu. And he sent me this video. Uh, that's it. This is. Right, that's the same color, is it not? It is the same color. Right, that's 56 points. Yeah. 56 points, a friend. And he is, by Bates the way. Bates rates. How much? 40,000 Hong Kong dollars. 4,000 pounds. 4,000 pounds. For 56 points. Wow. This cabochon is 0.56 carats. In Hong Kong dollars, 40,000. Wow. Which okay. is about four grand. And that's what this colour means. No. And you're about to get, what, 100 and, what is it, 180 carats? Yeah. That's why this colour is so important. That's why Cartier dives straight in. That's why I dive straight in. It's a colour we all know too well. Yeah. Right? So Cartier, it's not even a risk. They were like, but well, this is single locational. And You've got the it. biggest gem labs in the world going, this is the new Jade Out Jade. Yeah. We want it. As, as you said, um, uh, Louis Vuitton are using it in their watch faces. And I'm telling you right now, you've got the opportunity to get a strand. I don't know how many we have left. Um... We had 65, okay. we're down to the final 20. Let's go straight to 249, which is where we just were, wasn't it? Yeah. Let's go there, I'm not done. But I want to give you some idea, because right now we're at 20 grand or whatever it is. Good luck. They're making fun of my maths in there. Oh, yeah. 
Well, um, my math isn't any better. Seriously, though, Dave, you know, you're 16. There's 16 Okay, there. please, please may I have a um, interest... Um, sorry. Please may I have a uh, clock, please. I was going to say you've got your interest-free split payments as well, which is just crazy because we're going even lower. But we're going to have a 30-second clock. We're going to give you a great deal, as you know. Dave, you know, I love the stories behind. I love the fact that we know elsewhere it's selling for, you know, fortunes. Um, and this is that one. Even more than, but, than that. Look how beautiful yeah, it is. Yeah, that's though. it. That's Even more than that. It's all about how beautiful that's, it is. That's what it always comes down to. Yeah. There's a reason Pareto Tourmaline is $60,000 a case. Yeah, because it's but so beautiful. It can be as rare as it wants to be. If it's not beautiful, no one cares. Yeah, okay? precisely. There's many, many rarer gemstones. Painite is one of them. Yeah. You don't hear people talk about it. No. Right? Pareto Tourmaline people talk about. Imperial Jadeite so people talk about. Yeah, because there's nothing else like it. Ross, we're actually just going to take fifty pounds off. We're going to go one nine nine for anyone who under two hundred. Yeah, and then you got four interest-free split payments as well, which is what fifty pounds. So wait a minute, I could do this long line over the head graduated necklace, which is longer than it's, what the one you yep, know the the, the uh, Barbara Hutton. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, but by the way, just so you've got the, the the pedigree here, the Barbara Hutton necklace is Cartier. Yeah. Cartier are now going with San Anscan. Yeah. Okay, that's your that provenance. Ilk. That's your provenance. You know, when it sold, they, they created that. It was created in China, but they bought it and put the clasp on it. It's a Cartier piece. They bought it back in 2014 from the, from, uh, the Christie's in the auction. Cartier bought it. Cartier own it right now. And they paid $27.4 million for it. Oh, that's amazing. And here we are. And now they are moving forward. With this. With San Anscan. This. And because they exactly know this, this. colour. Because they know this colour, they yeah. know what it does, they know what it is, they have a history with it. And this is the Cartier piece, Cactus de Cartier bracelet, yellow gold, San Anscan diamonds. It's, I mean, it, it, it's amazing, but they're tiny. Yeah. They're tiny in comparison to what we have. Mm -hmm. Seven of them left. If you do miss out, you can always wish list, oh, which is exactly what do. I'm going to be doing. Please do. Five left. And 124 of you with it in your baskets. Use your 0% interest split payment if you wish. You are Please sourcing <clears throat> arguably the most breathtaking oh, and sure. certainly one of the rarest showcase I mean, ever done. I mean, just regardless, I mean, can I just let everyone know type C jadeite of that colour is more expensive than that, which is dyed and polymer impregnated. Yes. I mean, you've, you've just come back uh, from uh, China, yeah, haven't uh, you? Where... I held a jadeite strand, not too dissimilar to the... Well, in terms of size, but it was not imperial green, maybe apple green, $70,000 wholesale it was. And that not was... imperial, not that colour, just type A jade eye. You want type B, type C of this colour, you're going to be paying a lot of money for it now. Yeah, I mean, that's And that's exciting, natural, that's real, that's single locational. Imagine that. You say you're one of those people that have been successful now and you know this is on, it, on their way to you. It's sold out. Apologies. Just, uh, just appreciate how monumental that what you've just achieved is. Huge. It's colossal, isn't it? I, I'm genuinely, I'm stood here, and I know I'm in, I'm in jewellery maker and things, but I feel like I've just stepped out and I'm in a, a really, really special boutique because I look across over there and I see those colours and I think, how are we offering this to our collectors? Yeah. Ridiculous. Now, there's one more auction. Six mil. And then you've got the bangle. Yeah, the bangle. There's, but there's, what, six of them, five of them at the bangle? How many? How, how many of the bangle? Five. Five, I think. Yeah. Of the six mil, 50. I wish we had more, I really do. For those of you who want to create that stunning, oh, long line, graduated yep. strand. That would go over the top of the head. Yeah, yeah. Eight mils have sold out. 10 mils have sold out. 16, 16 mils. 16 mils. I can't believe it. Sold we out. sold those way too low. Everything's sold out. Yeah. But, you know, can I just say as well, this is testament to our, our viewers, our, our, our collectors, because you guys know, just like Cartier now, when something's real, when it's rare, yeah. when you know the, 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 the value of the colour, we're there. We can't get enough of it. And, and that is down to the education that we've all had, that we understand this market, we understand this material. And, and also the connections that you've built over the years, the got, respect that you've built over mm, the years. We, we've got the most amazing connections right now. Yeah. You know, and that is, again, humbling for us. You know, getting invited to the Far East is one thing. You know, meeting Joanna Hardy of the Antiques Roadshow. 
and hearing hearing her take on things as well. We were there in the Far East, and you know, I know she's um, Antiques Roadshow, and she's like a you know, kind of a celebrity now, national TV TV personality. But, but you know, she's got real credentials. She worked at Sotheby's for many years, the, the resident jewelry expert. And she says back in the 90s, 95, 97, Sotheby's were turning away colored gems. They said, oh, we don't want rubies, sapphires, emeralds, unless they were from like a, a notable private collection. All they wanted was diamonds. And she said, there's been a monumental shift in the industry now where colored gemstones are so mainstream. And if you look at the auctions, Sotheby's, Cartier, Christie's, over the last 10 years, the, if you look at the auction results, the things that are left unsold are diamonds. It's the rubies, the sapphires, and the emeralds that they can't get enough of. In fact, we've just seen an auction record for the Estrella de Fura ruby from Mozambique, which went for over $30 million. Mm. And jadeite is just about to become a mainstream gem. Yeah. Right, it is. Although it already is in the Far East. Yeah, absolutely. But we mean... We see in the West. And this is something else entirely. And we only have 50 of these opportunities. We're going to be able to create something... Well, you guys are going to be able to create something unbelievable with this. Good luck. So gemmy. There so are translucent. 50 available in the world. Yeah. Look at that, Dave. And, and, you know, I was wondering what that contraption was. Oh, this is a jade torch that I was gifted by uh, an incredible uh, jade eye expert in the Far East. So, you know, we usually use our phone lights. And they, uh, they, they said, this is the jade torch. This is what you use on the boulders. This is what you use. And I thought, amazing. You can't, just, you can't find them. I've always looked for them. Uh -huh. uh, you can find gemstone torches, but this is very different. But I'm going to show you right now the, the translucency of this material. Even Phenomenal. from, I mean, from that right happened from distances away. But look, usually we have to get super close and go through one bead. It's going through all of them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Isn't it? I mean, that's, by the way, this, I know it's interesting to see and everything, but this isn't like some parlor trick. There's a reason they spend fortunes on these jade torches. Mm -hmm. You want to see that. You want to see the crystal, the transparency. That's top crystallization in jadeite, which is what they do at Christie's. It's what they do at Sotheby's. It's what they do at Bonhams. It's what they do when they're buying jade for Cartier, for the Barbara Hutton piece. First thing they do is take a torch over it. You don't use a loop. You want to see the light penetrate through the jade. I've only got 50 of these. I wish I had more. Are we ready? Yeah, we're ready, sorry. Let's do it. Let's get those. Good uh, luck, everyone. Just amazing, Dave. Really? I, I'm so grateful. Thank you so much for stumbling across this. Oh, for sure. I'm, I'm grateful. I'm, bring, I'm grateful. To... You know, I, was, I was there in a part of the, the world where they, they carve jade. You know, there's yeah. places where they sell jade, and there's, there's the, the, the places where they work. Like Edar Oberstein, they don't sell there. No. They, they work there. Yeah. And then they, those pieces go to Bond Street or Place Vendôme. It's the same in Asia. You know, you go to Canton Road in Hong Kong, you're going to find the Finnish jade eye at the astronomical prices. But I wanted to go behind the scenes. I wanted to lift the veil. I wanted to meet the people that are working this jade. I wanted to see the rough. But it's you know having that knowledge, Dave, which make these opportunity pop possible for yeah, us all yeah. because you know like other than that it's okay you see that yeah, absolutely and, and windows, this is the, this is the reality you know i like to go straight i was talking to stanley chu again sorry to name drop but he's no. just the guy and um he, he like and financial times were with me as well and the financial times were talking about how they were they were invited to the unveiling of the asprey jadeite collection yeah. and asprey are out there going guys we, what we're doing is we're working with oxford university on certifying all our jadeite and Stanley was like, why are they doing that? And this is why I lean on the expertise. Because he's like, the only thing anyone wants is a Hong Kong or Far Eastern certification. Yeah. Why, you know, they're the people that understand jadeite. When he sells a jadeite for $30 million, which he has done, the, if you go to Christie's, you go to Sotheby's, you go to Bonhams, always be accompanied by a Hong Kong lab report. Yeah. It's not Oxford University. And he, he finds that very strange. Whereas it might sound nice, I don't know if it's a sales thing or whatever. We're working with the university. It's very prestigious. He's like, look, the only people that really understand jade yeah. is the Chinese. Is That's the truth. Yeah. You know, the same with Cartier. When Cartier created the most expensive jade necklace of all time, they went to China and they got those people to work on those strands mm -hmm. and they put their expertise on it, which is their incredible uh, precision cut ruby clasp. Yeah. Okay, that was, that's the marriage of two incredible industries. Yeah. You know, we Absolutely. know what Cartier can do. And we know what those in the Far East can do. 
And this is why I think it's sometimes great to just get past all the bluff and go to the people that really understand it. And this is why I'm so keen to learn as much as I can so I can share it with everyone at home. Because I truly think, as a community, as a pool of collectors, certainly in the Western world, there's no one that understands jade or the derivatives of jade better than the jewelry maker collectors. Mm -hmm. You know, I was telling the Financial Times about jade. You know, and they've written articles, numerous yeah, articles. Yeah, yeah. I was telling Andy Lucas of the GIA, formerly of the GIA, he's with them for like 20 odd years. He's now with the Guild Laboratory. He's probably the most published gemologist in the Western world. I was telling him about jade. You can't learn about jade in a textbook. No, it's true. You it can't, you true. can't. I was with the, the lead geologist for Gemfields, the guy who was doing the core sampling in 2012 of the world's biggest ruby mine in Mozambique. Robbie, his name, he's South African. And he also did the KGM Emerald Mine. He's, he's an amazing geologist. And he's openly, this is it. Like, sometimes it's not about egos. These are some of the most respected people in their fields. And you've got to hold your hand up and go, I don't, I don't understand it. You know, and the first thing anyone in Jade will tell you, like Stanley, Jade isn't learned in textbooks or labs. No. It's passed down the information. He says, I learned it from my parents. You know, he said he, when he's, there's an amazing article, there, I suggest you read it, it's Prestige New York. They did an article on him in, in Christmas Eve 2020. And he, they, they quote him and they, he says, look, when my peers, my friends at school, were playing with Lego and toy cars, me and my sisters were in the studio guessing the value of Jade, understanding it, being amazing. around it. Amazing. You know, and that's, that's why I prefer to travel and go and meet these people yeah. and see it and hold it and talk with these people and try and grasp a real understanding because let's not forget in the 1980s, the Western labs, the Western world didn't even know where Jadeite came from. No. Even when Stephen Webster was working with Jadeite. 1980. Yeah, they were saying, we, you know, there's still no evidence that suggests it comes from China. It doesn't come from China. It comes from Myanmar. But the information coming out of the Far East was so opaque. Yeah. You know, people didn't know. People weren't, didn't know where to go, where to look for it. That's why you've got to find the people that do know yeah. and, and listen to them. You know, that, that's where you get that information. And right now, we are on the precipice of something truly exciting. Sananskan from Pakistan, imperial green, chromium rich, top translucency, all that's coming from this area right now, I don't know if it will change. I think if the Chinese move over there, like they have done in Guatemala, with their know-how, with their understanding, they'll find it. But right now, all that's coming out is dust, and the price is through the roof. And I'm going to do one crazy deal on this. In fact, I'll give you 30 seconds. Do we, how many do we have left? Um, 18. Okay, 30 seconds, and I'll give you one price. One incredible deal. Sorry to waffle on. Get excited, get passionate about this material and just getting to see this glowing, impressive, sensational imperial green colour. Because that's what it is. It's not apple green, it's not kingfisher green. That in jadeite is multiple millions of dollars. I'm, Some I'm, would argue it's rarer. I mean, we are talking about, it's got to be about 50 centimetres. I'm going to quote that. Uh, I'm okay. going to measure that too. Yeah. Dave, that's a huge amount of this material. And you know, obviously, I'm. Um, I spend a lot of my time next door on, on uh, Gemporia too. I'm about to offer, what's the carat weight here? Is it 170? Yes. I'm about to offer 170 carats of matched imperial green San and Scan, 100% natural from one location on earth for the price of what a Swiss blue topaz ring would be next door. What? That's what's mad. 149. This is 65 centimetres. And you said 50. It's the best part of a metre. Yeah. Oh my God. 149. I, if you've multi bought, well done. What, to did you, what did you just say? Uh, 149. It's insane. It's crazy. Well done. Honestly, well done. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for being part of this unbelievable that moment, historical unbelievable. moment. Yeah. Right now, we can say, you know, really in the West, you know, Tiffany um, used to have this incredible marketing campaign for Tanzania, only available from Tanzania and Tiffany's. But right now, this material only available from Cartier, Louis Vuitton. And jewelry making. <laughs> that's that's pretty, the reality. Yeah, that's pretty exciting, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And the Cartier and Louis Vuitton, they're not 149, are they? No. Um, or 37 pounds and 25 Or 65 centimetres. Yeah, crazy. Or, a, you know, you can put that over your head, like a long line. Yeah. How matched, perfectly executed, transparent, imperial green sold out. masterpiece. Oh, Dave. Well done. Wish list, wish list. Wish list. Uh, and yeah, I know you do the Wall of Fame. Is it still called that? Hey, the Wall, of fame, the Wall yeah. of fame. If any of you create the strand, I'd love for some one of you, if you do, to replicate the, or as close as you can, the clasp from Cartier on the Barbara. Yeah, lovely. That kind of beautiful clasp that is so famous. That one. 
We actually have one quite similar. That's Imagine got seeing in. that. Wow. We had it earlier on today, actually, the cl a class of oh, Ruby. Oh, wow. Um, Someone replicates that. I'd love to see it. Dave. Yeah. We have sold out. Of everything. Of everything. Yeah. Sorry. Literally everything. Please wish list. If you have been unsuccessful, wish list. Our call, our call centre will call you back if anything does fall back into stock. Um, are we doing this now? Are we doing this now? I don't know if we are. I just wanted to show it. We are doing this now. Oh, oh my goodness me. Oh, look at that colour. When you say chromium, this is what you're talking about, isn't it? Yeah. I only got five, guys. Five in the world? Uh, you know, very few bangles have been carved from this material. Yeah. It takes 10 hours to carve a bangle. Wow. You need to be quick on this one. You need to be quick. You need to be making sure if you've got your heart set on owning. I think it's a fair assumption. Ross is saying, look, there's five of these available for you today. Uh, it's, it, it's a good assumption that this is going to be the fastest sellout. Oh, for sure. Oh, my goodness me. And by the way, it's a larger bangle. So, um, oh, my goodness me. Thank you, Adam. Showcasing the transparency, that colour. Um, I don't know if you... <clears throat> We've only got five. Let's bring the graphics live. But if you were to type in the Circle of Happiness Jade Bangle, Circle of Happiness Jade Bangle, that's the bangle that Stanley Chu sold. Mm -hmm. Two years ago, 2021. For fifth, how much? Mo fifth most expensive bangle of all time. And it was um, 3.88 million US dollars, 30 million Hong Kong dollars. Wow. And I'm telling you now, this is the color. Yeah, it's that deep. You'll see it, you'll imperial. see it. It's the Circle of Happiness, yeah. Oh, five of these exist here at Jewelry Maker, so be as quick as you possibly mm -hmm. can. The moment the graphics appear, in fact, I'd be doing it beforehand. Wow. Yeah, get get yourself ready. It's all certified, totally natural. Hundred percent natural. Absolutely beautiful. The launch of this magnificent, magnificent gemstone. This is it. If you see it on the maybe on the model as well. I don't know. That's a picture, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, but you'll also see it on, on the model as well, and you'll see that that colour. And there's also another picture on um, Google or whatever of the, the lady at uh, Sotheby's holding it up, like with her eye. Yeah. Um, and you just see it's that colour. $3.88 million. Sorry. To... Amazing. Yeah, there you go. I mean, this is it. $3.88 million. I mean, so that, that, again, look how beautiful it is, but she's literally wearing some jeans and a T-shirt. Oh, yeah. It's all about the jade. All about the jade. Let's bring the graphics in. There's only five available. I think seconds, this is going to be a sellout. Two have already gone. Two out of the five that we have for you today. Absolutely incredible. There was only five in existence here at Jewelry Maker. They've sold out. One Amazing. deal, one deal on this. I'm actually going under a thousand pounds, believe it or not. We're going to go to 699 on that incredible Sanan Spawn. 699. The phone lines went crazy. You can always wish list it. You can always, always wish list it. Please do. I, yeah, would recommend. Um, speak to our call center. Say, I want to add it to my wish list if for whatever reason, um, one does fall back into stock, which I doubt it, but it's worth a try. 58... Keep your eye on the website. Keep refreshing. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, exactly. Don't give up yet. Now, um, well done. We have the endless knot. Yeah. So, you know, you saw some intricate carvings when on that clip of film we had, Adam, of the, the without the sound, you know, um, in Hong Kong where they had the butterflies. They had those wonderful carvings. We've got an incredible carving for you right now of this material. And um, how many of these do we have, uh, Ross? 50 of this one okay. and 50 of one other carving. Brilliant. And that's it, right? Yeah, that's so it. So this is the Everything. penultimate. The whole show. There you go. These are the carvings that I'm talking about. Oh, my goodness. The meaning behind this as well. Look at that colour. Uh -huh. And now take a look at the quality wow. that you're getting here. 
be a great connector as well, wouldn't it? Yeah, you know, lovely. On, on one of the strands. Well, we had a Akoya pearls earlier on. Imagine putting this as a feature in some Akoya pearls. I think that would be absolutely amazing. It's all hand carved. You've got that beautiful imperial green. Um, amazing imperial green. Now, this is your penultimate, and I'm just going to show the two together because they are both, as you can imagine, very, very limited when it's something as rare as sun and scarn. Um, look at that. So 50, is that right? Did I just hear that right? Yeah. 50 available. Wow. You, you know, this is going to be detailed. It's going to be, um, you can see how detailed it is. You can see how translucent it is. You can yeah. see, you know, the, the work that's gone into this. And uh, just to let everyone know, we're going to bring this live. There's 50 available and all of you can own it. We're gonna do something sensational on this piece. I've just noticed, Dave, not only have you got the Imperial not carving, but it's also drilled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How amazing is that? Mm -hmm. To be, it's drilled as well. So you can actually have it floating, kind of floating. Floating, yeah. you know, the floral or endless knots in, in dispersed oh my with, goodness. with whatever you're thinking. For I don't think line. people are just gonna get one. No. You'd have, okay. like, you know, take a bit a slice out of Van Cleef and Arpels, maybe, with their Alhambra. Yeah. Just put a couple of them. Right. 50 available. We're going to open the graphics. Just be ready to pounce. We are going to do something that is as close to a giveaway as we can say on this piece. 100% natural. Carved to perfection. So, Dave, you know, if you've been watching this amazing showcase and... Yeah. I don't know, maybe you've not got involved as of yet, maybe you've missed out, or maybe beyond budget. Mm -hmm. This is the one. This is the and one. by the way, just as it's um, pirouetting there in the daylight, you can see this bar of light running left to right. That's because it's been drilled through. Yeah. That's how translucent it is. If you just focus on it, you can see the, the, the beautiful light passing through it in yeah. that central portion, like a horizontal line. Just 50 amazing. available. Ross, just to, so everyone knows how crazy we're going, I'm going to start at 99 pounds. I'm Stop. nowhere near done. Nowhere near done. Huh? Yeah, this is it. I said everyone could own it. If you've missed out, if you want to, if you want to multi-buy and create, because it's drilled through, to create the floating neckline, That'll the pieces incredible. on the neckline, four or five, I don't yeah. know. We're going to make that happen. Really? Nowhere near done. It's a, it's, you know, it, this is artistry as yeah. well. Yeah, oh, for it? sure, yeah. It's a, this is magical. In 30 second clock, please, Adam. An amazing rare material that I have completely fallen in love with. Haven't we with. all? Haven't we all? It's so gorgeous. That colour is unbelievable. Thank you, Adam. Uh, you got 30 seconds if, if, if the quantity lasts, but I am going a lot lower on this. A the lot penultimate lower. piece of the legendary Imperial Green Natural San Anscar. Wow, what an opportunity uh -huh. this morning has been. We did say that it was going to be um, a hugely exciting Thank you show. for trusting me. I've got Great London multi-buying, Fife multi-buying, Gloucestershire multi-buying, Lincolnshire multi-buying, North Yorkshire multi-buying, yeah. Derbyshire multi-buying. Every single one of you is taking the opportunity to, to get a couple of these a minimum. Um, Ross, I know it's crazy. I know we could just close it here. We're not going to. We're going to half the price. Ah. Yeah, 49.99. I said you could get it. I said we're going to make it a reality for you. And there's arguments 99. that this should be the most expensive piece in the show. Yeah, hand carved, impressive, yeah, yeah. large piece. Well, well, those pieces that you saw at wholesale yeah, yeah. for six hundred dollars, eight hundred dollars, nine hundred dollars—they're far okay, with the exclusion maybe the starfish. But you know, the drops in the and the, in the other—they're far easier to carve yeah. than this. Mm -hmm. This is what we do. This is this is you know what we do. These are these are the connections that you have. Wow. There were 50 available. There's a lot of multi-buyers. I'm thinking some earrings are going to be uh, oh um, God, put yeah. together out of this. Yeah, I would, I would agree with you there. That would be amazing. And that you can make those earrings, San and Scarn earrings for Imagine, under 100 To match pounds. your incredible necklace, oh, the suite that would be of Imperial cool. Green. We are talking about, you know, you've, who knows what the future holds, but can you imagine... Saying, oh, you know, our, our generations from us now mm -hmm. talking about, oh, yeah, Dave Troth. Yeah, oh. that was my great, 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 great grandfather. <laughs> and, and yeah, he used to travel all around the world sourcing right. for these amazing parcels of gemstones. And he stumbled across San and Scarn before, you know, like the story oh, of your cashmere. Maybe. I don't know. It's cool. But it, it would be more likely they'd say, do you remember that damn mm. David Troth that was just <laughs> giving it away? He found that San and Scarn and gave it away, didn't he? Um, but, you know, he foiled our plans. But this is it. You know, once we, if we can, we will. Um, Just got home. Is no, this Jay, sir, right? it's not. It's Imperial Green. It is Sanan Skan. It's a new type of material from Pakistan. But, you know, just, just like you mentioned there, if I could just show it, Ross, um, the SSEF 
came out and said Sanan Skarn will find its position in the market among Jadeite Jade. Wow, absolutely incredible. So the future, the future of the Jade world. Um, oh, wow. I've got one more opportunity. Is that sold out? Yeah. God. Has it, has it sold out, sorry? Yes. Yeah, yeah. The final piece, the another carving, almost double the carat weight, oh intricate goodness. open work with a floral motif in the center. This would make divine earrings or a simple pendant. Yeah, this is It's amazing. like a pillar of, of incredible uh, carat weight and, and color. This the last is piece amazing. of the whole show. How many of these, Ross? 50, 50 or again. So. And you've seen what we're about to do. We always like to end on a bang. Wow. Oh, it's like lace. Yeah. So difficult to do. Well, I can imagine. That open work carving, top gem, translucent, glowing green color. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Absolutely beautiful. Working with establishments like Louis Vuitton. Is that what you said? Cartier. Yeah. Who have selected this amazing material for obvious reasons. For sure. Anything, yeah. Any budget, yeah, yeah. exactly. Any right. budget. 50 of these available. We're going to open the graphics up. You've seen what's happened. You know what the story of this incredible showcase is. This is nearly double the caraway. Look at that glowing imperial green color. 100% natural. There's that floral motif in the center. I think it would make a divine pair of earrings. Yeah, it'd be incredible. But you've got to buy two if you want to do that. Okay. Ross, let's start at 99. Not done, as you know. This is... This is Bigger. And yeah, oh yeah, this is, this is nearly double the size. And probably carats. one of the most intricate pieces that we've brought to air. Absolutely. It is the most intricate. You know, that wonderful open work detailing. So difficult to do. Evelyn, Heather, Leslie, Greater London, Maker 5. This is the last piece of the whole show, guys. Good luck, everyone. There if was you want to create that beautiful, impressive, incredible pair of earrings or whatever it may be, whatever you have your heart set on, this is the opportunity to do it. We only have 50. Maker and Meath has got three. Uh, Debbie, you've got two. Lincolnshire's got two. Greater London's got two. Bidders all over the British Isles. Lots of you multi-buying. I think we, you, you're going to be uh, pleasantly surprised at what we're going to do on this, even though it is far larger. Make amazing ring, yeah? yeah. Uh, 30 second clock, please, Adam. We, we are going to go out with a bang. It is that big, big piece to finish the show. Well, over half the stock has gone already, so well done for securing yours not leaving anything to chance mm -hmm. brand new launch to some might even say not just jewelry maker and a partnership this is a brand new launch to the western us in world the west. yeah, yeah, yeah the western sure. world certainly the most affordable and yeah. we're not compromising on the grade no definitely not look at that if i bring it down to the look at that translucency good luck ross even though it's twice the size pretty much even though it's seven carats we're going to match the price 49.99 uh, crazy i know Okay. Sorry. We've gone, we have just gone wild on this. Wish topic. list is your friend today. If you miss out, you can always add it to your wish list. And again, on that, on the um, SSEF, you know, they were talking, I have to say that slowly, I can't say it as fast like you. Um, I was noticing that, that their photographs are much more opaque. Yeah, it's, well, much usually it resembles opaque. Malsitsit. Yeah. This is resembling jadeite. Yeah. This is top gem material. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful quality. Mm -hmm. um, amazing. Now we had eight lines of your San and Scar. We did. And of those eight, sellouts, complete sellout, and this has followed suit right also. On wish list if you've missed sure. out. on anything check the web refresh see if anything pops yeah, back in it does happen. anything shows available all the time so yeah. just keep your eyes peeled and see if you can uh, capitalize on those incredible deals unbelievable dave thank you thank, thank you, you so, so much. much and thank you to you guys as well absolutely amazing um now apparently i'm hearing this as we speak as after the break yeah we're going to bring you one of my all-time favorites thanks to lovely dave we're going to be bringing some nephrite. Deals. Oh, my word. I love nephrite. Me too. It's one of my favourite and very reminiscent, very reminiscent colours. Now, these are going to be last of stock opportunities. Dave, uh, as always, thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you so much. And thank you to you guys as well. Back with you tomorrow. Yes. Yeah, we've got an incredible showcase tomorrow um, that I can't wait to share with you. You're going to have to tune in 10 a.m. It's going to be the unmissable showcase. Oh, I can't wait for that, Dave. Thank you. Thank Isn't you. he just wonderful? 
bringing us some of the most beautiful gemstones we could only dream of owning. Now, um, coming up after the break, we're going to bring you some nephrite deals, some absolute last of stock opportunities, though. Um, tomorrow at 10 o'clock with Dave, it's all about Kotan mutton fat, so the most expensive uh, jade in the world, some say, uh, historically. Now, we've got sizes like 12, 10, 16, 18 millimeters, so we've got huge sizes of your Kotan um, coming up up tomorrow. Um, well done. Huge heartfelt congratulations to any of you that managed to get hold of the San and Scarn. It is utterly exquisite and I'm very envious of that, that, you, that, uh, um, that I, I'm not going to get a chance to own it. But you know what? Delighted for you guys. Do not go anywhere though because if you love that intensity, that glow, that allure, then we have Nephrite Jade after the break. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's Mark here. I'm delighted to be inviting you to join myself, Eleanor and the crew this Saturday, 5th of August. Come and join us on our safari. We've got an amazing lineup, including eight o'clock show opener, the most incredible elephant pendant. Nine o'clock, we couldn't be going on safari without Botswana Agate. I've got five incredible kits to show you. I'm not going to tell you about the deal of the day, that's a bit of a secret, but at 12 o'clock, keeping the safari theme, I've got three kits, including the most incredible tassel toppers. We've got a leopard, we've got a lion, and we've got an elephant. So join us all this Saturday morning, the 5th of August. You heard it here first. <laughs> Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help.
It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Basically, yeah. if if money was no object, you know, what would you buy? And they went into cars, and and I was like, look, uh, gold for me. I wouldn't spend the amount of money some people do on cars. I think it's all relative. It is relative, to, I know. Yeah. And, then, and then Linda here just goes, ah, oh, well, I would have a snazzy car, but I would have like a um, one door completely Swarovski encrusted. And I was, it was me, I was going, I think this says something about my character. I would love the Volvo XC90s. I love them. I can't picture that one. The big one, like okay. a four by four. Okay. I love those. I'm, I can't justify that amount of money. <laughs> That's the problem. So probably never would be. But well, there's, there's the Linda. We'll see the, you on the car just, park in Just the single yeah. door. Covered in Covered in Swarovski. Swarovski. You're so bling, it's wonderful. I know. Now... Oh, my goodness me. Just before we get into your nephrite deals, um, can I just give you a little bit of a stock update? So, um, of your sun and scar. Now, if you go to the website, all the W's at jewelrymaker.com, the endless knot sold out, the bangles sold out, the six mils have sold out. Oh, eight mils. There's one. If you don't, I will. Yep. Or I will. Ten mils have sold out. Sixteen mils have sold out as is that one. So it's only an eight millimeter, I say only, seriously, um, but there is only one left. So if you missed out, you d check out now, because there is only one available and we'll keep you updated on that. Keep refreshing, keep adding it to your wish list because our call center will call you if anything falls back into stock. Um, now, still to come, you've got Linda's amazing kit and I'm loving these. Aren't they cute? Have you seen those? Yeah, I've, I've used them. Have you? They, oh, my goodness, me! I can't see the earrings. I'm, Hang on, I've got them over here. One sec. Oh, yeah, 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 because it's put, I put the... Oh, my goodness. They're a bit of me, they are. They're, they are sort of very, if you're going, and I know it's not an everyday thing, but if you're going to the uh, Oscars <laughs> or, you know, somewhere just really swish for dinner or something really nice and you just want something that's... I need, work I with need every, those. Work with everything, actually, casual or really yeah, elegant. Yeah, totally. Entire, Loving yeah. those. And then you've got some um, more beautiful pearl kits, but with your base metal components. Yeah, if we look at this necklace here, you've got your XOs. Yeah. Do you know, it, I've only just realised what XO stands for. I don't know. I think know. I was only like a couple of, I think it was probably about three years ago that I learned what XO stands for. Isn't it love? Kiss and a hug. Oh, kiss and a hug, okay. There you go. I thought it was that game you play. Knots and crosses. Knots <laughs> and crosses. Yeah. Love it. Yeah, XOs, it's hugs. So it's, it's like okay. love and emotion. So I love okay. that. These are brand new and they're coming up in the 12 o'clock hour. But between now and then, we're going to bring you some close out deals on your nephrite jade. So if you remember, um, I don't know if I should use this analogy anymore, but when we talk about jade, gener historically we're talking about jadeite and nephrite. Um, these ones? Yes, um, historically, nephrite being the oldest, the original jade, um, jadeite being slightly younger, um, both incredibly, incredibly valuable. Can I ask for a bust? Is that okay? Ideally, a big white one, if that would be, if that would be ideal, because this is quite a long strand, um, and it is perfectly ombre together, beautifully, beautifully ombre together. Um, so, and it goes from the pure mutton fat white down to the deeper spinach greens. Now, these are last of stock opportunities. This will have taken years to create that perfect color blend. This I'm is just looking thing. out for Susie's name to pop up. 
Yeah, I was exp I'm sure she didn't get involved. I don't think we saw. Thank you, lovely. We didn't see Susie in the in in the last launch, and that's purely because of the quantity. I'm sure she would have yeah. absolutely have loved absolutely. to. Absolutely. Um, there we go. Perfect. Thank you. And I wanted to show it on this bus just so you can see just how beautifully and perfectly ombre this is. Now there are four available. Three straight away, uh, Hertfordshire, did you say? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Hertfordshire just secured theirs. I'm turning it side profile so you can really appreciate just how perfect that blend, that ombre is. It's all totally and utterly natural. There's no dyeing. It's not type B, it's not type C. You know, um, still to this day, uh, Cotan is the most, well, I, I, things might have changed after recent uh, after our recent showcase, but yeah. Kotan was certainly um, it's the oldest location it's of Jade in the world, most it? collectible yeah. and usually the most expensive. Mm -hmm. At four hundred and ninety nine pounds, you go from your pure uh, mutton fat whites right the way down to your apple greens, down to your spinach green, um, which is like the imperial green in the Jadeite world. I had four available at four hundred and ninety nine. I've got two of them left. You can use your split payment as well, which is at North percent interest 124 pounds and 75 pence now if you love that i've also got i'm just gonna have to put that there for a minute the multicolored strand this is beautiful i'm gonna hold this one up to the neckline so maybe you can't choose why are we starting here okay so if you can't choose which is your favorite color well, i'll tell you what we'll get, bring you a strand that's got all of them one price crash. Oh, that's stunning. Isn't it beautiful? You've got your candy colours, which is those kind of goldens. You've got your mutton fat. Not the most romantic of descriptions, I know, <laughs> but that is what they use. Um, for that's for the white. Um, then you've got your spinach green. You've even got some of your lovely cashmere greys. The clock is ticking. These are close out deals, lovely jewellery makers. The oldest, most historic location of source, and believe, by the way, the Cotan deposit is believed to only have about seven years left of mining. So that's thousands of years, you know, um, coming to an end, effectively. Mm -hmm. So now, more than ever, get hold of, as a collector, get hold of your Cotan uh, jade. To start at £450, you know, we've said it before, haven't we, that normally here at Jewelry Maker, we'll sort of start at a price point which is not unrealistic. You know, the reality is if we were to find Cotan elsewhere on First Dibs, in Cartier or in uh, um, Place Vendôme, any of those places, it's not going to be three figures. It's not going to be. So we would start four figures and then some. One price crash, close out deals. First come, first serve. Oh, gosh. One four nine. It's way, mm hmm, says Ross. <laughs> way lower than I was expecting him to take it. 299 at a bare minimum, perhaps, for Cotan Jade, all that history. And the fact that you are ticking multiple boxes, actually, in terms of their colour. No, this is not type B or type C. It is natural grade. Um, so there is no enhancement whatsoever. You can make the most of your... Nor Look at the split payment. Look at the split payment. We're at £29.80 only um, for, uh, for Cotan Jade. I do not know... I do not know anywhere else in the world that can bring you opportunities like we have done this morning. Truly, Akoya Pearls, San and San, uh, and now Cotan Jade, Lincolnshire, Leicestershire, Devon, Anonymous Collector. How many did we have? 14, Hertfordshire, you're there as well. I can't see your names currently. Our call screens are having a moment. I mean, to be able to get hold of Cotan Jade for, for well, a double exactly, price Well, exactly, because it's only going to be secondary market. It probably is at the moment mm. um, out there in the commercial world. But yeah. this is just only my opinion. I stress my opinion, but that to me is better than money in the bank. Yes. That's just my opinion, that's all. Absolutely. It's in the bank. Absolutely. Well, look at Ron Schlussel. He mm -hmm. said it is official that your jades are an investment stone. Mm -hmm. You know, that's that's Roland Schlussel, who is one of the most influential individuals in the gem gemological world, yeah. um, talking about it. You know, and here we are bringing it to you for £149. Or, I tell you what, just give us 30 quid and you can pay it off in bite-sized chunks, one of the world's rarest gemstones. I don't know why it's on five split payments, but woohoo. Um, I mean, where else can you go, whether it's through a door into a, a, a jewellery 
um, store or something, or, you know, anywhere other than jewellery maker, where you see such gorgeously gemmy gemstones, and you get all the, the backstory. Nowhere. Nowhere, is I think it? that's why, um, that's why the Financial Times want to do a story on yeah. this. And that's happened before. We've had the media here doing a story on uh, uh, across the partnership, haven't they? Yes, yes. You know, but the Financial Times are so excited by the fact that we have the likes of Dave, the likes of Jake, the likes of Steve, who travel all around the world and share the story. Mm -hmm. It's not just the marketing of it. It's no, no, not it's, just, oh, it's, diamonds it's, are a girl's best friend. There we go. Yeah. You know, no, it, it's, it's the history and the lore of these gemstones mm -hmm. that, yeah. And, and I love the fact that the Financial and Times and places around the world, you know, the, the jade traders, that's how we get these deals because we get the respect. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking personally. I'm talking like... Yeah, today. exactly. As a company, yeah. yeah. As a company, we get the respect for sharing this, this passion, I suppose, to the history of the gemstone. I've got one left. And you can get hold of it for £29.80 on split payment. Amazing. Truly amazing. Okay. Now, hello, Mark. Hi, Linda. It's the first oh, anniversary of the loss of my dearest mum tomorrow. Um, you were such uh, an inspiration to her. Thank you for all that you taught her. Oh, bless yes, Mark, yeah. yeah. We're with you tomorrow, Mark, aren't yeah. you? I'm thinking of you, lovely. It's, I know it's, it's gone quickly. I know it has. It's not a mm -hmm. it's not, you know, it's a very difficult time, not easy at all. But we'll look after you, my lovely, and how lovely of him to message that. Mm -hmm. Well, Absolutely. you are an inspiration though, Linda, you really Aww. are. You are. <laughs> Thank you. She's our she's our leading lady, isn't she, Mark? One hundred percent. Bless you, bless you. Sending you big hugs and big love. Um, okay. Now Shall we do the only nephrite bangle that we have? Oh, I own this bangle. I bought this bangle. I love this bangle. I wear it every time I go out. I can't wear it to work. I'd like to be able to wear it all the mm -hmm. time. It's absolutely beautiful. Now, we said earlier on, there's mutton fat and then there's pure, like, imperial white. And that's what you're about to see right now. The purest of white. With that fine texture, that fine Central, translucency, that is, isn't it? It's just, it's, you know, it's just speaking, isn't it? Somehow, it's just so mystical, so important. You know, we see those pictures, Linda, where there's, um, you know, your the Sotheby's auctioneers holding up one single bangle. They usually hold it just like mm -hmm. so, don't they? So that you can get the light to the to the actual bangle, show the translucency, show how uninterrupted and flawless that wonderful natural colour is. This is type A, by the way. Look at the glow. You know, if we were sat in amongst the crowd of a Sotheby's auction right now and we were waiting for this bangle to come to air, it doesn't start at 897. No, no. No, absolutely it no starts way. at thousands on thousands yeah, yeah, of pounds yeah. and it goes up, you know, and there'll be one, one available in the world. Thank you. Here we are bringing you the purest of white that even in a floodlit studio, you know, has, is showing that translucency. We were saying that this should be called ghost nephrite because it is that it's yeah it's it's it's, it's hauntingly just pure, pure isn't it yeah yeah we both had the same Purity, word yeah now Sotheby's wouldn't start at 897 and they certainly wouldn't go down this is the only white nephrite bangle that we have and we're at 299 pounds only Oh my goodness me. I can tell you the comments you get with this bangle as well because it gets noticed. It glows from me, uh, distances away. This is your imperial, I, I don't know if this is terminology, I'm kind of uh, sort of uh, winging it here, but this is like your imperial mutton fat. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. yeah. um, because it is the purest of yeah. colours. It's not off-white. Remember, the most expensive item um, of, of jade sold at auction was nephrite. That's it was right. a nephrite, it was a, a historic stamp, and yes, it was from a certain dynasty hundreds of years ago, but it wasn't the purest white like this, and this hasn't been dyed or bleached in any way, shape or form. It was actually an off-white colour, wasn't it? We're at £299. We can't have many of these left, can we, Roscoe? 
Seven left within the vault. Uh, Michael and Miranda, amazing. Uh, Hertfordshire, amazing. Anne in Manchester, Anne in Cardiff, and we've got Fife there as well. Um, you can get hold of it again on your split payment, so just under £100. It's the only white nephrite bangle that we have. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's gorgeous. Now, um, I've got a full candy colour strand. This is arguably one of the rarest colours. Um, there's 108 beads, so you've got enough to do a mala, effectively. Um, and it is kind of like a honey colour, does that make sense? Like a yeah. honeycomb colour, quite golden in its appearance. Um, it is one of the rarest colours of your nephrite, it's absolutely beautiful, I love it. Because you know we always talk about how certain gemstones have like a class, mm -hmm. certain gemstones are pretty or fine. Yeah, 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 absolutely, this, that's classy, isn't yes, it? Yes, this Very. is that Zara-like classy That sort of, sort of, it sort of eludes the fact that I know my gemstones. Yeah. That's I'm not just looking for your for, yeah. for, for the colourless yeah. diamonds or the yeah. rubies or anything like that. Yeah. I know, yeah, I know my gemstones. I know that this mm -hmm. is one of the rarest colours of your uh, of your historic uh, nephrite jade. Now, again, I know we haven't got many of these. I don't think we had many of these at the beginning. Is that right? Originally, we launched seventy. Fourteen left within the vault. There's one hundred and eight natural candy color cotan mutton fat jade look at the start price as i said a few moments ago normally here at, across the partnership we will say okay let's start at two thousand pounds it's not unrealistic we could absolutely absolutely if we find look no do you know, scrap what i'm about to say i was going to say you could find it elsewhere for two thousand pounds you ain't going to find this for two thousand pounds no it's going to be more than that it's going to be a lot more than that, down to the facts of its absolute rarity. We're definitely not going to find it elsewhere at five hundred seven pounds. Oh, highly unlikely. Never say never, but I, I don't know of anywhere. I mean, it's not the tangible detail that makes things expensive, is it? It's sort of the intangible stuff, the stuff that you have no control over, which is the rarity of yep. the gemstone, etc. 60 seconds. We're doing close-out deals, which makes no sense whatsoever. No sense whatsoever. Do you, I, I've worked in those jewelers that didn't well, didn't have a huge, didn't have nephrite, didn't have cotan mutton fat jade. They had one piece um, of jadeite jade that was two and a half thousand pounds, and it was tiny, by the way. That the, the reality is, they don't go. Ah, oh, tell you what, that's not sold. Let's do a close-out deal then. This is one of the rarest materials in the world. In the world. They're happy to sit on that, just to have it as part of their collection, mm -hmm. if you like, for multiple decades. But we're very different to most jewellery establishments. We're very different to, uh, um, you know, the, the million dollar jade window that you saw a few moments ago. We do need those locations. We need those locations within the vault. And if, it's, if you've had it for a period of time, not a huge period of time, mind, comparatively speaking, we will still go, yeah, close out deals. Yes, we know it's one of the world's most valuable and rarest gemstones. We know the history. We know that mutton fat or cotan jade has only got about seven years left of mining. But let's still do a close out deal. That's ridiculous, though. Goodness me, that is mm -hmm. ridiculous. £199. Uh, if, if your budget allows, get this. And try, uh, uh, again, taking um, knowledge from Dave, you were saying don't sell modern, uh, your Cotan Jade yet. If you can. Well, I, I think that speaks to the volumes on um, the scarn that we bought as well. Yeah. Hang on to it, and you won't have to hang on to it for long. No. But, and by the time you've, you think, oh, I've had that a while now, you'll have fallen so deeply in love that you can't part with it. I don't think but, you'd, I'd want to part with this anyway. No, but, the, this is going to be a state type Yeah, jewelry, totally. Isn't it? But yeah. if you imagine that you've been the custodian of this necklace, whatever it might be, um, and then, of course, the Cotan Jade history stops, comes to an end. Yeah. What all of a sudden is one of the rarest colours going to be valued at? It's not going to be 199, that's for sure. No, I mean, it, it, it could go anywhere, couldn't it? It yeah. could go into the stratosphere. Yeah, totally could. Look at the split payment, jewellery makers. Make sure you are checking out those baskets. Um, at £199 only, Hertfordshire, Davinia, Karen, amazing new customers getting involved. We had 14, did you say? 14 available. That's it. Once they're gone, they are gone. And the window of opportunity, well, the history of Cotan Jade, um, where they literally 
they still to this day wade out into the Kotan rivers to source. Kotan jade doesn't form in vast boulders like your Burmese jadeite does. It forms in little, almost pebble sizes. Um, and they, they wade out into the Kotan River because they believe in the river is the best place to actually sort it. It's almost uh, like gold it. mining, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, because it reflects off the moonlight. Yeah. So they do it at night. So how amazing is that? Okay, moving on to... Oh, what? Oh, my goodness me. Oh, that's gorgeous. Isn't yeah. it? Isn't it? I've, I've never seen it. this I've before. I've seen that one either. Which tells me, Ross, neither of you. You'll love this. Oh, my goodness me, that's amazing. Can we do it now? It's like... Um, I don't know how like to... It's like infinity, isn't it? I don't, yeah, I don't, it's like cosmos. Mm. I don't know how to describe it. Other endless looping. But do you notice how, look. It's almost jelly opal-esque, isn't it? Yeah. But it's not mm. just two links connecting one another. It's No, it's like as one, isn't it? How incredible is this piece? And that's all hand carved. We've ne I've never seen this before. That's beautiful. Aha, uh -huh. it's been on air once with the other shift side. I love it. I absolutely love it. I mean, talk about artistry. Mm. Going back to what um, Sotheby's said, and I forgot one how you, there we go. One how you actually said, when it comes to your jade, whether you're talking about jade eye or nephrite, whichever it might be, yes, you're looking for the color and the translucency and that fine texture, but you're also looking at the wow factor, the artistry. This is that wow factor. And yeah, you might be going, okay, well, it's quite simplistic shapes. It's effectively two interlocking links. Yeah, but you've got to do that by hand. You can't just you can't break it and then connect it back together. It's carved out of one pet one yeah, boulder. I mean, this this is significantly in China historically. Um, when a um, a son would take a wife, um, then mother and father-in-law would give the the new wife a gift when she joined the family, and it would nearly always be on a jade. Yeah. So something like this would be the modern idea of that, with that sort of infinite. Oh, do you know? I love that story because you're kind of talking about the, the you know, the joining of two people. Yeah, exactly. How amazing! We're at four hundred and forty-seven pounds. I've never seen this piece before. It's absolutely beautiful. You know, we were saying that Kotan forms in like pebbles, effectively mm. much, much smaller than that of your um, of your uh, your Burmese jade. I, I'm imagining that being carved out of that one pebble by hand in the same historic abrasive manner that um, in the same abrasive historic manner that your jadeite jade is literally sanding, filing it down, not laser cut. In 46 seconds, we're going lower. It's oh, blowing wow. my that, mind. That, that, that's just a, a floating uh, necklace, isn't it? Just, just on yeah. a, a, a silver or a gold fine chain. Yeah, beautiful. On a nice long... Here we go. Hang on a minute. I know this is base metal, which is obviously not what I would put it on, but just... Just, just, just let it float. Just for now. Just for now, though. Just so we can get the look. OK, so I might need to do it through that hole. There we go. Just pop this on like a... This, it's got two drill holes either side as well, so you could actually make it as part of the chain. Yeah. Hang on. Yeah, it's probably I would go with maybe a finer chain, but you get the idea. Very fine chain, I think, um, or something like that. So it literally floats. How beautiful is, is this? And I would probably have it the other way. Does that make sense? It's so significant, isn't it, as well, you know, in its simplicity, but in its complexity as well. I love it. I absolutely love this. I'm getting excited by this one. Um, £149. I've never seen it before. This is literally first time. Hiya, Debbie. Um, I bought this beautiful piece and I think of it uh, as a representation of my family. Love that. Mm -hmm. Love that. It is a little bit because you've kind of got that, you know, that unity, haven't you? Yeah, definitely. Those... I think it's a symbol of a lot of things. It's a symbol of what you would like it to be, isn't it? Vortex, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I would turn it the other way personally. So shall I? Hang on, I've done it now, haven't I? Um, yeah, pivot it round. I have done it now, yeah. <laughs> 
Um, <laughs> um, so that was the chain. Oh no, this was one of this was one of Linda's kits. Uh, well, chains from Linda's kits clock, earlier. Yeah. yeah, I would personally have it that way, and I love the idea of. Ah, so uh, Ross, you're about to have a new baby, aren't you? And of course, get, you know, engaged as well. That could be like you and Chloe, and then baby in the middle. Look. Yeah. Little baby in the middle. There's lots of meanings. I think it can be mm. representative for lots of us here. Oh, yeah. um, Pauline and Cynthia and Michael and Miranda and Patricia and Hertfordshire and Susan and Essex and Janice in London. Make sure you're checking out, though. Loving this piece. Never seen anything like it before. Um, OK, let's do the big one. The big one, The big I? one. Oh. But it's like a bottle green. I mean, Ross could have described that in many ways other than the big one, couldn't he? <laughs> it's the big one. Dark bottle green nephrite, hand carved. Again, going back to what one how you spoke about. Can you get that up for me? Um, one how you talking about the wow factor. Because as well, they also show, they talk about dark jade, whether that's jadeite, nephrite, whichever it might be. Yeah. Um, but they talk about the artistry and how crucial the artistry is. It, so it, when it comes to jade, it's so it says, oh, it can be frustratingly imprecise, the grading system, because it's not just your four C's or your five virtues like pearls. Mm -hmm. This is something which is as much about the level of artistry that is influenced to this gemstone as the gem itself. I mean, that is all done by hand on a material that is physically as hard as steel, and it is carved in that manner in the same ancient techniques. I mean, look, you've got the little man at the bottom. Yeah, this is basically a technique that's passed on from father to son all the way down the ages. You know, yeah. It's not something that can be sort of taught overnight. You have to get a feel for this. So you yeah. have to be involved in the process. There he is. Look, you can see him through, going through the... Oh, that's Going through the bridge. Can you see that? It's almost like it moonlight there. It tells the story, it does. doesn't it? Yeah. He might, he might have been at the, uh, I don't know, rice fields maybe. Yeah, or, um, or he's looking for Kotan Jade in the river. Maybe. So you can see him there on his boat, literally going through the bridge. And then you've got those wonderful structural trees. You've got the pagodas halfway up, the landscape, even up to at the top here. Can you see just there? It's the Starbucks up there. Um, is this Starbucks? No, but this Costa. So oh, okay. okay. Um, even the moonlight. <laughs> so, yeah, again, you know, going back to what Sotheby said, one how you, he said, approach jadeite jewellery not as a commodity, but rather as a work of art created by nature and shaped by human hands. That's so beautifully um, illustrated, it isn't is. it, by that statement? Yeah. It is. And I think the next paragraph goes on to talk about, yeah, here we go, what experts look for in, uh, an ideal stone is a certain wow factor, which may seem frustratingly imprecise for would-be collectors seeking a more concrete guidance. However, all of this makes sense when we approach uh, jade jewellery, let's say that, not as commodities but rather as works of art created by nature and shaped by human hands. Just as it's impossible to measure the splendour of impressionist landscapes by the canvas height or, uh, and width or the ratio of its colours, the beauty of jade in all its variety and complexity cannot be classified by a system of prescribed standards. That's incredible statement I love that connection with impressionist art because yeah. that's exactly what it is the impressionists didn't paint what they saw they painted what they felt yeah Lovely. Um, and that's exactly what's happened with that beautiful uh, let's have a little should we let sh um, can't yeah let's go for this one because that's absolutely that's a beautiful <laughs> I'm a big one yeah Abs oh my goodness it's hollowed out how do they do this? How do these artists do what you're about to see? Now, it's spinach green, so you know you've got the finest colour, finest translucency, and if it weren't, yeah, um, if it weren't those things, then it wouldn't have been given to this artist, quite simply. They're exactly. not going to work with lesser yeah. grade, are they? But can you see, you've got beautiful, like, forget-me-not flowers, bear with, let me tip it over because you've got it on the other side as well. And then also, I'm going to show you this. It's not just drilled, it's completely hollow. So you have, I can't get my head around how something like this is. How could you make something hollow with that amount of carving? With that outside? level of detail. Yeah. Look, oh my goodness me. Again, spinach green, 
beautiful. Wow. It, like spinach green is what imperial green is as well. Here we are at two hundred and forty pounds, which is just insane. I'm not saying two hundred and forty pounds isn't a considered amount of money. Of course it is. However, when we look at the material, the work of art, remember um, that we are discussing, that's a, a fantastic price point. This is one of the world's rarest gemstones, and it's about to come rarer in the in the in the foreseeable future because they say the Kota mine is on the verge of running out. We're bringing you close out deals. So how many do we have left? 19 left within the vault. We're going to do it in one price crash. Good luck, everybody. Oh, gosh, what's he going to do? Brace positions. Oh, I'm glad I was braced. <laughs> Under a hundred pounds. Incredible. It is incredible. I'd go for a slight, like a thicker cord, so that and feed it through, so it almost kind of gripped. You see, I'm coming from like a Can slide. you have a quick look? Sure. When you say it's hollow, so you can actually see through the carving. Yeah, it's, yeah so it shows can. you that translucency. You can, yeah, you can see through. The, oh, it's amazing. Not I, I wouldn't. Not one drill have, hole going no, through. No, they've the had drill to hollow hole that out. And all that's been hollowed out because inside it's a filigree that it goes from. Back I don't understand it. how do you even do something like that? It is that wow factor, remember? The one how you was talking about, yeah, and a choke would be absolutely amazing. Love the detail. It's not just carved on the one side, it's carved on both. Um, split payment is just madness, isn't it? £39.99 pence only. These are closeout deals. There's never been a better opportunity for you to purchase this. It, it just, I, I just can't get my head around it. How do you actually hollow out something like this, plus give that level of detail? Hello, Suja, my lovely. This is a beautiful carving and much appreciated by people who have seen mine. I bet. I bet. It's incredible. And it's one of those that makes you scratch the top of your head, doesn't it, thinking, I don't get how this is actually been uh, actually no, achieved. No, it's just years and years of artisan yeah, uh, artistry being passed down, down also all the generations. Yeah. Um, but can you imagine sort of the, the time, uh, the knowledge, the absolutely everything that you can, every word you can think of that has gone into sort of this person sitting there. I can see, I can see he or she sitting there by a stream yeah. and carving away and coming up with something that beautiful. Yeah, amazing. I don't know. Have we got any, um... hang on, actually saying that. Do we have any silver chains behind the scenes? Because again, just feed that through. The yeah. drill hole is that generous. Yeah, you just need to squish the, or take the uh, jump ring off the end and then the chain will go through. <laughs> um, amazing, yeah, go for your silver yeah. because uh, base metal chains are a bit too chunky, um, yeah. as I just experienced. But yeah, you could easily feed a sterling silver chain. And where exactly is it is? Super, super simple. Well done, everybody. Again, totally and utterly natural. I'll leave that with you. Uh, moving on to... Do you want to choose one? Would you like to choose one? So we've done that one. Um, done that one. I love the little rabbit one. Little bunny rabbit. Yeah, I, like, I like the, the, the mat. Yeah. Um, the difference of that one. Uh, now, if you uh, are expecting a baby this year or you know somebody that so has had a baby. It's a lovely little new baby or yes. christening present, that one, isn't it? It is the year of the rabbit. Also, if you are 1987, uh, yes, um, you're also a uh, year of the rabbit. And there's other years, isn't there, but I can't remember. How many, far, how many years is it? Is it 12 years apart? Yeah, I think it is. Uh, sounds about right. So 12 years apart. Um, you are a year of the rabbit. We discussed this, basically. So, uh, or maybe you know someone that's a rabbit. Um, or you like rabbits. Or you, or you quite simply like rabbits, yeah. It's nostalgic, this, for me. And weirdly, mm. I was only talking about Watership Down last night. Mm. Remember that? That's a, that's a memory, mm. that is, of my childhood, Watership Down. Mm -hmm. um, we're at £150. Uh, as Linda said, it's this matte texture, which is really mm, nice. And it's like a soft cashmere grey. Let's do a crazy low price tag. Possibly one of the most affordable Cotan jades that we've brought to wear. Yeah, it's got to be up there, isn't it? Look at that translucency. Ah, oh, I like the little swirls. I know, yeah, attention to detail. It's fantastic. They do. 
Rabbits make noises, yeah. They kind of grunt a little bit, don't they? <laughs> and they sneeze. Mm. Yeah, it's very cute. It's very cute. Happy rabbits are when they they called Binky in when they kick their legs back. That's a happy bunny. Oh, is that happy, a happy bunny. bunny? Yeah, they kind of grunt at you. Um, yeah, <laughs> I love this. I love it, and it does it conjures up memories for me. Watership down. Brian, <laughs> well, don't get me or start me off. Oh dear me, forty nine ninety nine. Well done, everybody. But yeah, the idea that the, that behind this was uh, there is a year of the rabbit. There's I can't forget all the animals. I'm no expert on it at all. But we discussed, didn't we, what years we were, what animal we were. Do you know what? Uh, do you remember what you were? It's either rat or a monkey. Rat or a monkey. I can't remember oh. what I... I think I'm an horse. An horse. <laughs> an horse. <laughs> yeah, I think we're both horses, aren't we? Yeah. Uh, Adam, you're a rabbit. Yeah. Do you remember what you were, Dan? No idea. No idea. <laughs> no idea. What year were you born? 1997. Goodness me, I'd left school then, Dan. Um, <laughs> I was married for kids. You're an ox. <laughs> you're an ox. There you go. There you go. So, interesting to know. If you are a rabbit, there you go. Perfect pendant for you. Amazing. Well done, everybody. Now, a little bit of a heads up coming up in your masterclass. We've got some absolutely beautiful kits coming with our lovely Linda. Um, those amazing earrings are also um, part of the kit. I don't know how many have we got of these then, Roscoe? Nice quantity, but I think they're going to absolutely fly. Um, loving those. That will complement so perfectly um, the kit that's, come, a kit that's coming your way. What next? The other florally one. <laughs> okay. I think there's a couple of florally ones. So that's, um, do you want to show me this one, maybe? Yeah? Great minds. Now this one is not drilled. It's not random. Oh, unless you get, you get, it's not, they are all green. I've never seen that on our graphics before. Okay. All right then. So you might, I was, what I was assuming is maybe, look at the, never, never mind the colour, look at that detailing. Look at the detailing all the way around. You've kind of got this kind of like Aztec-y. It's mm, almost sort of an aztec lotus flower, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Natural, oh, I, I'm seeing spinach green. I don't know. It might be that if, if it's a case of that you might get a random colour, you might get your uh, mutton fat, you might get your greens, you might get the black. Um, anyway, close out deals. Close out deals. Let's go straight down to it. £79.99 pence only. This isn't drilled, so you could just literally anchor onto this, maybe using a pinch bale or mm -hmm. a jump ring yeah. or something like that. Um, good luck. How many do we have of these available? 12 available, and it is double carved. That's beautiful. It is quite lotus flower-like, yeah, isn't it? Yes, it's lovely. Lotus flower, but then you've got quite an, a, a, like an Egyptian mm. vibe in that wonderful framing all the way around. Um, make sure you are checking out those baskets, everybody, to guarantee your success. We've got a lovely masterclass coming up as well. Um, Wall of Fame, by the way, is coming up at midday, for those of you that are asking. Um, we tend to bring it in the 12 o'clock hour just because there's more of you there, and it's a bit more convenient for most of you, so that's when we do. Um, Okay, let's do, we've got another rabbit, have we? Oh yeah, is it? Is it? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it is, yeah, I was looking at it upside down, it is a bunny. <laughs> yeah, it is a bunny, you're right. There he is. Yeah. Ah, it's because it's the year of the rabbit. That's why they're being carved like a little coin. That's beautiful. It's and it is a silhou silhouette within. Yeah, using the translucency. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it's. Uh, some... What does that mean then? Some, um... Something to do that, with the rabbit. Year that's... of the rabbit, I'm yeah. sure. Or yeah. what does the rabbit represent? Rabbits are class. <laughs> okay, I'm sure it probably <laughs> says a bit more than that. Um, ah, there he is. 
absolutely beautiful. Again, we're bringing these to your, your lovely closeout deal. Simple pendant. I like the idea of gifting these to some to somebody that maybe is expecting or has just had a newborn bubba hmm. um, this year. You know, because they're going to have plenty of baby grows. They're going to have lots of blankets, aren't they? And mm -hmm. all that kind of malarkey, but something they can keep forever. £49.99, again, it is still, you are still sourcing beautiful natural type A uh, nephrite, and it is from the Kotan River. We've shown you photographs in the past of actually the... Uh, the they are almost pebble size and they come in lots of different colours, much like your jadeite does, um, but form significantly smaller um, and it catches the light, especially the moonlight, which is why um, it is still sourced in this manner today. Um, well done. Stay where you are on those phone lines. Congratulations, everybody. Um, OK, so we've got two more to bring you. The fishies and then a flower. I like the fishy one. Yeah. So double fish, I believe, is symbolic of happy marriage. Unity in a happy marriage. Every day is a school day. There you go. This is lovely. And those fish, little kiss, look at the kissing fish. Do you see? But also if I pivot it round... Look, look, even down to the scales, the little eyes. Yeah, very auspicious, two fish. Again, koi's can mean something different to your goldfish, I believe. Um, I think the goldfish, two goldfish, don't quote me, I'm no expert, but two goldfish is the happy marriage. And I think two koi's is luck, um, is luck. Um, now, either way, look how beautiful it is. Well, again, if you know someone that's getting married, I think that would be a really nice gift mm -hmm. with meaning behind it. Even here at £8,982, look at that colour. It's absolutely beautiful. Unbelievable quality. Unbelievable artistry. I've only got 11 of them left, so let's bring you those closeout deals. Well done, everybody. Your look at that mirror image on those. It's, unbelievable, it's so isn't it? incredible precise, isn't it? Yeah, unbelievable. £69.99. pence. Look at the luster. Remember, whether it's Kotam, whether it's uh, Burmese, whichever, it should look like a melting ice cube. And you can see it's a slightly different luster between your nephrites and your jadeites, but it should look like it is physically melting. Look at how perfect that luster is. The level of artistry, to be able to say that we're bringing you this, uh, this location, this quality, um, and that level of skill... And a double figure price tag is absolutely mind blowing. Um, if everybody checks out, it has already sold out. So yeah, it's almost the, as if a, a liquid nephrite has been poured into yeah. a mole, hasn't it? Which obviously it isn't. No, no, it's all done by hand. Look at the look at the split payment. Make sure you're checking out and stay where you are on those phone phone lines. Right, the last one. It's a lovely little lotus pendant. This one, so maybe you don't want to wear the big sizes. Which, as Dave was saying earlier on, wasn't he? He wanted just a little cabochon that he could put on his chain. My daughter will only wear delicate jewellery. Yeah. So, you know, there's sources for courses, isn't it? So this would be something that would be right up mm -hmm. her street then as well. Look at how beautiful you've got your lotus flower. With all the meaning. Believed to be the uh, most beautiful planet, uh, flower on the planet. Because uh, it, it's journey. It's all about the journey of a lotus flower. Also frequently requested in a tattoo um, and painted within uh, Chinese artistry as well because it, go, it grows within murky, muddy waters, talking about sort of the journey, representing maybe sort of turbulent times in our own lives. And obviously then the flower sort of is in full bloom when it reaches the surface. We're at £49.99 pence for the lotus flower. Um, but for our finale, we're not even going to stop there. When we say close out, we absolutely mean it. You've got that beautiful, very distinctive green, isn't it, Cotan? Uh, Cotan Jade. I think it's got the distinctive colour, but also it's got that distinctive lustre. Yeah. It's much more oily looking. Mm. It's not physically to the touch, but it no. looks a lot more oily yes, it, than, yes. um, than that of your jadeite. And that's actually one of the... Um, distinguishing characters about nephrite and jadeite. So their luster can, is different. You, yeah, so you can see by eye yeah. rather than by any. In 33 seconds, like I said, the last of our beautiful closeout ne uh, nephrite deals. 
Um, lotus flowers, again, I, I always think there's, we can all think of somebody, can't we, that will um, maybe has gone through difficult times or is going through difficult times at the moment and just, you know, this could be a nice token gift. Um, and when we say token, we don't normally think Kotan, do we? Not yeah. normally. Yeah. Um, well, forty nine ninety nine already an absolutely incredible deal for your lotus flower. There are only 19 of these available. First come, first serve. Beautiful, natural Kotan jade. Hand carved, level of artistry. That wow factor, the one how you spoke about. £39.99. That would be only. lovely on a slider bracelet. Oh, it would. Oh, it just, just lark's just, head knot either side. Yeah, just, just sat there, yeah, beautiful. And some cord or something like yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for, for a man, yeah. Yeah. Oh, my son would well, love that. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think Tom would wear that mm -hmm. too. And uh, Adam Adam in the gallery was like, yeah, I'd wear that. 100%. Mm -hmm. Lark said not, Solomon's Bar, job done. How cool. And let's be honest, it's not we don't often bring that many carvings that many that all the gents would wear anyway. No. Whereas all, it was fairly no. unanimous then. Yeah. Make sure you are checking out those baskets, everybody, to guarantee your success. We only had a limited quantity of these. Um, again, if you had any of the strands that we've brought you this morning, uh, make sure you're checking those out because they're very, very limited. But coming up, Linda's beautiful kits, amazing jewellery, stunning earrings. And also, just before we dive into your masterclass, we've got your wonderful creations and sources of inspiration. It's the Wall of Fame. Make sure you check out your baskets and don't go anywhere. Linda and I'll return after this. Hello, everyone. It's Mark here. I'm delighted to be inviting you to join myself, Eleanor and the crew this Saturday, 5th of August, Come and join us on our safari. We've got an amazing lineup, including eight o'clock show opener, the most incredible elephant pendant. Nine o'clock, we couldn't be going on safari without Botswana Agate. I've got five incredible kits to show you. I'm not gonna tell you about the deal of the day, that's a bit of a secret, but at 12 o'clock, keeping the safari theme, I've got three kits, including the most incredible tassel toppers. We've got a leopard, We've got a lion and we've got an elephant. So join us all this Saturday morning, the 5th of August. You heard it here first. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30-day money-back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. 
Happy shopping with Jewellery Maker. Jewellery Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewellery Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Afternoon already. Oh my goodness, it is as well. Yeah. I thought my tummy was getting a little bit. Oh, sort of... feed me, feed me, feed me, feed me. Yeah. Well, should we get a bit of inspiration before we dive into your beautiful kit Absolutely. and your amazing Please jewelry? Do. Please do. Um, starting us off is Kathy. Hello, good afternoon to you, Kathy. Oh, that um, is stunning. You're number 231, and Kathy says, uh, This is an owl necklace made with the help of Rachel Norris's tutorial booklet, Little Amber Owl. It is made with malachite or sorted beads, uh, silver coloured copper wire, all from Jewelry Maker. Thank you. That's incredible. It's beautiful. I like the fact that there's a little uh, malachite owl as well. Yeah, there's little malachite. Very tummy. cute. It's very, very. Did you know? Fun fact about owls. Well, that's not so fun, actually. But there's 250 dis uh, different species of owls, and the only, and there's only one continent that they don't exist. Antarctica, absolutely. And they've got very long legs, yes. That's oh, no. Yeah, a an owl can effectively almost like lift up his skirt, and he's got really long legs. Google it when you get home. It's ever so cute. Oh, I'll Google that. Ever so definite. cute. Can you show? Can you Google it, Roscoe? An owl Owl's showing legs his legs. Showing. His long legs. Um, <laughs> oh, is that the species long-legged owl? No, 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 they've all got them. They kind of go really? like that. Really? Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Number 232 is from Christine. Oh, very oh. beautiful, Christine. Some amazing sea beading here. Uh, dear Jewelry Maker team, it was International Beading Week and I made these pieces with two whole cabochons, delicas, gem duos, uh, tillers, bugle beads, sea beads and two millimetre mauve beads. All beads are from JM and ha I have had in my stash for a while. Thank you for all the demos and their help from the team and good luck to all in the draw. How lovely, Christine. Well, good luck to you, lovely. Number 233 is from Kate. Ah, I love these kits, Kate. Um, hi, all. Here is the uh, bounty from an afternoon spent with Rosie. Uh, sorry, Rose, who is four. Um, and one of your clay heshy bead boxes and a spool of elastic. I love that. Um, and it'll help give them with the stringing, but otherwise designed by Rosie, who oh. enlightened me with an extensive commentary on why each bead was being chosen. Oh. Slept well that night. Yes. They don't just they don't just get on and do it, do they? They have to tell you mm -hmm. everything. So loving that, Kate. Thank you for sharing. They're absolutely beautiful. Number 234 is from Barry. 
Hello, Barry. Mm. They're absolutely beautiful. Oh, a gemstone I saw actually for a long uh, recently, but it hasn't been for a long time. Um, and Barry says, "Hi all. I seem to be on a bit of a roll the past few days, and I've been engrossed in making pieces using gemstones that have been in my stash for some time. My entry to the Wall of Fame this week is uh, two sets made from Miriam Jasper and findings that I recently purchased from jewelry maker during the summer blowout sales. Um, they have been passed by my quality assurance department." Department, <laughs> aka the wife. Um, so I'm happy with the results. Love and magic to all at Jewelry Maker and my fellow waffers. I love that. So quality assurance department, <laughs> aka the wife. I like love it, that. Yeah. Um, good luck, Barry. Number 235 is for Maya. Hello to you, Maya. That's beautiful. Uh, and Maya says, I love Bronca Onyx and I love to tell the story to whoever shows interest. Please can. We have more tassel toppers. They are so difficult to find. Thank you to Susie for the inspiration and good luck, everyone. Maya, I agree. Love them. I will certainly relay your message. Number 236 is from Jill. Ah, lovely. Some beautiful hematite. Jill says, hello, everybody. Here's my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. A pretty memory wire bracelet with gorgeous hematite. Um, it has a lovely sparkle when wearing it and, of course, goes with everything. Thanks for the great deals and the good luck to everybody in the draw. It's nice to see all our FB friends on screen, too. Lo oh, in the Wall of Fame, mm -hmm. our Facebook fans, yes. Um, absolutely. Number 237, last but by no means least, is from Rachel. Hello to you, Rachel. That's very pretty. Mm -hmm. Loving that. Um, please find attached my entry an elegant seed, pearl, jade, and green angelite necklace. Like that combination. And earrings that I made for my amazing mum. She loved it. Good luck all. And to me, says Rachel. I'm not surprised that she loved mm, that. How that's beautiful. what's not to like. Stunning. Well love, done, everybody. Um, and I'll keep everything crossed for you in the draw that happens on a Wednesday morning. So, what day? Oh, that's with us, isn't it? That's with us. We'll try and be... We will try and be lucky for you. Now, coming up in this hour, you've got some absolutely beautiful pearl kits. And look at these earrings. I love them. So the components to make those absolutely beautiful earrings, um, including, these are gold-plated 925 sterling silver, genuine culture pearls, and then you also get that, that pearl as well um, to, uh, um, to complete the look. Um, shall we start with those? Mm -hmm. I think we should. I'm going to borrow that piece of paper back again. Um, <laughs> because look at the size of those pearls. They're huge, aren't they? Absolutely massive. And then, do you know, if you saw these in, like, Suru, they're very Suru, aren't they? Do we all agree? Mm -hmm. Suru, the Italian Sicilian uh, stroke Birmingham sisters mm -hmm. that started that very successful jewellery brand that's worn by royalty quite First literally. First of all, I thought you said Subaru. Not Subaru. <laughs> Not the same as a Subaru no, car, no. no. Much more beautiful, in my oh, yeah. opinion. Um, but yeah, how lovely are these? I want to buy these earrings. Love them. And they've got the little loop at the bottom, which you could quite simply cut away if, yeah, you, if wanted you wanted to. to yeah. um, or wrap loop, featherweight head pin, yeah. wrap loop onto your pearl. Job done. Yeah, you can actually get the um, standard head pin through those pearls. Can too. you? Can yeah. I just, oh, oh, sorry. There it was gone. There it was. <laughs> Linda did have her. her Had it all there ready for you. All ready and prepped. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. And then clumsy Al comes in. Sorry. I want to join oh, you on this. There's a featherweight. That will definitely go in. Absolutely. Fly but through the pearl. Let's just demonstrate if you haven't got featherweights, you can use 0 0.6. Yep. Well, oh, they easily go the, through. Yeah, Easily and there's the. Through. I think. I think. I'm almost sure that 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 will by looking at the size of the hole. Yep, definitely. You can always, if you prefer to use the, uh, the bigger gauge head pin, you can always do a little bit of reaming. Look how lovely that is. Just wrap loop it on directly. Mhm. Mm Love these earrings. I think they're absolutely beautiful. You know, if you go along to Suru, which we've shown in the past, haven't we? Suru do very similar designs, actually. That might have been the source of inspiration for these. Um, but you're talking about 150. I think that tends to be their kind of mm -hmm. roundabout ballpark figure. Um, 150 pounds, which isn't too bad, considering they are genuine cultured pearls. Um, and they are of that amazing quality and size. However, um, we're already beating that price point. Not quite the same, but here we go. Baroque pearl love heart earrings, 165 pounds. 
And they are big, by the way, those. So some would actually shy away from them. I've seen them actually on. Yeah, they're really, really, really large. Suru is, uh, you know, a, a wonderful success story. Um, certainly in Brit jewelry, British jewellery design, like I said, they are Sicilian, half Sicilian, half um, Birmingham sisters. Wow that started this amazing brand. Um, but again, big celebrity followings. Uh, Denise Van Outen's wearing them. Like I said, uh, Princess of Wales wearing them. But you can see really quite nice eclectic designs that I can show you for um, uh, more earrings. Loving those. £165 and you can get the matching pendant with your paperclip chain. We need to add that one, don't we? We need to add it to our paperclip chain PowerPoint. I think that would be perfect. But loving those. But you're talking three figures and then some. Now we know that with just a little bit of uh, little bit, a little bit of knowledge, if you need, or with the right components, you can make, you can be inspired by these designers and make them at a much more affordable price tag. Now we have how many of these available? Seventy. Oh, had hoped to join you on this one. I don't think you've got much chance. Eh? I don't think so. I think I'm going to miss out on this one too. They are gold-plated nine two five sterling silver. They come with your pearls that our graphics say slim they're huge though they are 10 millimeters in their size and we're at 49 pounds and 99 pence only they're Did... a fat teardrop aren't they yeah they yeah slim wouldn't be the word the terminology no. that i would use fat teardrop, large I think. Yeah. if anything large pearl we had 70 available make sure you are checking out your baskets i mean look at those Absolutely beautiful. Good luck, everybody. Oh, we're not stopping at $49.99. Oh, girl, see, the, the chance of me getting hold of these is just rocketed out the window. What? Wow. I love wow. these. I think they're absolutely beautiful. And they're cultured pearls, aren't they? Are they are not faux. Uh, encrusted. Genuine on. cultured pearls encrusted and large cu uh, cultured pearls on the bottom just here. Yes, stuff. Flawless, aren't they? Yeah, beautiful. £29.99 pence only. Yeah, the pills are sizable enough that you can feed a usual head pin through. If not, use your featherweight head pins for sure. Just wrap loop them. Maybe do some of the, we spoke about two millimetres, do a little classic Linda Bromwell mm -hmm. cluster on the top. I think mm -hmm. that would work too. Mm -hmm. Loving that. What? I'm amazed these haven't flown out. These are probably one of my favourite components. Um... Go to Stan. Can you pass me my my bag? <laughs> I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I thought they'd have sold out by now, but clearly not. So I might have to join you on it during this auction. I love them. Just a little wrap loop. Even I can do that. Mm -hmm. Little wrap loop. Away you go. You've just made some really beautiful, very Italian inspired. I feel. Um, clock ticking. You've kind of forced our hands on this one. That was our rock bottom price, but. Okay, Roscoe said, okay, we're going to have to do it, Elle. We're going to have to go that little bit lower. Good luck to each and every single one of you. Make sure you are checking out your baskets. Yeah, Elle sat in the studio with her phone. I love them. I know I'm naughty. I love these earrings. That's why we look how lovely. I'm inspired. <laughs> I'm inspired by our lovely Linda um, with what, macrame is that? Around. It's this is a herringbone. I'll demo that, I think, because I really like that, uh, that, um, sorry, that herringbone. You can use it in lots of uh, different pieces of jewellery. You can use it as connecting. And, yeah. Um, it's, uh, it's lovely. But why don't you make one of those the way that you said you wanted to make one? You've got your wrap loop onto it put you in the spot now. <laughs> I could, I, 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 yeah, no, I could. I Present think I'm probably going to have to. Yeah. I'm probably going to have to because I think I'm going to miss out on this opportunity. Yeah, on a, in a queue. I don't know. It's, it's, it's buffering, so who knows? Oh. It's buffering. Oh, I can see my name. Um, but yeah, I'll have a go. Oh, yeah. Definitely have a go at it. See if yeah, it goes look, through you're, the you're, you're there, Elle. I can see me there. I can see me there. Um, and then talk us through your beautiful jewellery because you've also got the kits coming up with the mm -hmm. XOs, which apparently means hugs. Um, so loving that. These kits are gorgeous. But right now, these earrings are gold plated 925 sterling mm -hmm. silver. Absolutely. All I've added is, the, is obviously the wire and the, um, the little tiny pearl. 
At the bottom? At the bottom, yeah. Well, I mean, you could make that. That would look beautiful with one of those two mil faceted oh, gems we yeah. had at the beginning of the show. Which seems they? like a nanosecond ago, doesn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. <gasps> what about putting? Or a four mil. What about putting some of your new gemstone launch? I your see silent scar. Yeah, your silent scar on, um, in the four mil would look lovely. Just one of those in between. Oh, how incredible. So pearl, sun and scarn, and then that at the top. Or another thing that Dave bought us a few weeks ago was the conch, the little conch. Pearl. Oh, yes. Oh, mellow, mellow. Mellow, 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 yeah. didn't we? Yeah. How unbelievable. And that's the thing. You know, so easy to do. Mm -hmm. But luxury jewellery. Massive congratulations, everybody, on those. Um, OK, let's now bring you the kit, shall we? Um, so these are all about your... Um, Exos. So if you have a little look at Linda's beautiful jewellery, you've got your letters within here as well. Now, um, do you want to do the yellow gold or the silver? Let's do the silver first. Okay. Now we've got a hundred of each of these. I will do that make along there. Just mm. need another one of those those head pins. Um, mm. So starting with, yeah, there we go. The silver one. You've got your XO, um, which stands for hugs. There you go. Um, and you're also getting within this kit, there's a lot of components. So you could put one letter, couldn't you, per, per chain if you wanted to. Yep. So you get two of the X's, two of the O's, and then you get three lengths of your chain. These are silver plated base metals, so they are more affordable effectively, but you've still got the precious metal. Um, 18 inch, 22 inch, and also 26. So you've got your longer chains within here as well. Um, but you don't just get that, you also get your cultured pearls. It's a lot. It's mm -hmm. a big kit. Mm -hmm. And it's, you know, it's um, very, this, is, this kit is very open to beginners, <coughs> to far more, you know, advanced. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, beginners will be absolutely fine with this kit, as will more advanced. It's, you know, you'll do something entirely different, which is what I like about a kit. Yes, yeah, yeah, definitely. Love, 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 love this. Um, yeah, you know, you could, you don't have to use these components together if you don't, no, if no, you didn't not want at all. to. No. Um, so, at eighty nine pounds and ninety nine pence for the cultured pearls. I mean, look how lustrous those cultured pearls are. They're not faux. They're not plastic. They're not simulant pearls. Not glass. They are organic pearls. First price crash. So you're getting four of your charms, three of your chains, and cultured pearls. So that's what for eight components. What? That's your first price crash. For the mm. strand alone, that's amazing. Yeah. I mean, those, um, those charms there, you could use those as earring drops, couldn't yeah. you? Because you've got two of each. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's a good point. Even if you don't go with the XO, mm. just Absolutely. use it separately. Yeah. Because that could just be a circle. Yeah. We are not even stopping there. For this strand of cultured pearls, nineteen ninety nine. How amazing is that? Mm -hmm. But you don't just get this. You get the three chains of different lengths. If you're wondering about the question mark on your graphics, that's because our our graphics doesn't like the inches sign. So oh, we'll right. put a question mark yeah. there instead. Yeah. I like it because there you go. Eighteen. <laughs> uh, Twenty two. <laughs> maybe the twenty six. No, you definitely are getting those. So don't be confused by the question mark. It's only because our graphics don't like inches. Um, I mean, we're at 19.99, but we're going even lower. Plus, you get two of your X's, two of your O's um, as well. Whether you use the components together, that's what? 19, straight, straight away there, Ross. 19.99 divided by eight. Two pounds. Twelve. Yeah, £2.50. £2.50. That's £2.50 per component. £2.50 for those charms. £2.50 for those chains. £2.50 for the pearls. How about <laughs> £1.62 for these cultured pearls? Not fake, not plastic, not synthetic. Wow. That kit's ridiculous at £12.99. Uh, it is, isn't it? That's amazing. I'd expect to pay more than that for the pearls or the chains mm -hmm. or the charms, but you get all of it. 
There is a hundred of these. There's a hundred of the virgin in the gold as well. So can we shop ahead on the gold colour? The gold it, one actually has got love in the Oh, gold. The, yes. Oh, yeah, so it doesn't say EXO, it says no, it's love. love. Oh. Actually, mine says VOOV. <laughs> okay, then. Or you can have VOOV. VOOV. <laughs> VOOV. Um, just, I've got two Vs for some reason. EVOL. Yeah. Oh, you've, you've got, got two Vs. I've got two Vs for some reason oh. here in the studio, but yeah. yeah. Ah, I love them. You can shop ahead on the gold as well. These kits are absolutely beautiful. Stunning necklace, that. That's the kind of piece of jewellery that you could wear on a regular basis, couldn't you? Now, I'll keep you updated. There's a hundred available of each of these kits, but they are flying out. I'm not surprised. And there's a slight delay on our graphics as well here in the studio. Um, so I would encourage checking out. Um, yeah. You're, you're, let me just quickly show you. You have your love and you have the same three different lengths of your beautiful chains in your gold plated uh, base metal and you get your beautiful culture pearl. So you can shop ahead on both of those. OK, let's do it. Let's Let's do it. What are you going to demo? Oh, I thought you were. Oh, no, 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 can't put that on me. That's I'm fine, okay. Um, great at right, that's, that's those earrings that Elle has purchased yeah. and is also hoping to finish this studio sample as well. You might have to correct um, it, though, I've got to be honest. I'm going to do that herringbone effect around a bead. It can mm -hmm. be any bead at all. Um, but as I said earlier, it's, it's so useful to have that technique under your belt because you can use it in so many different pieces of jewellery. If you imagine those all linked together via a jump ring mm. or a rosary link um, around in a necklace, bracelet, whatever, it's something I used to do some years ago and I've just come back to again and thought, why has it been gone for so long? Right, so I've got a piece of, uh, this is 0 0.6, uh, 0 0.6 wire. OK, uh, colour of your choice, obviously. Um, and I threaded on not the pearl that came in the, uh, the kit with the um, encrusted pearls. This is, this is from the kit that Elle has just presented. So on the very tip of the one end of the wire, I'm just going to go about half a centimetre Pinch it in my flat nose pliers and then just do a 90 degree push down is the word to describe or words to describe it. Taking now my round nose pliers right on that tip so there's nothing peeking out that side. You can't feel any um, of the metal there at all. And then slightly push down using your finger as a cushion and then until your elbow won't go any further, twist it towards you and then pop your where they fit and then just ease them back to like a lollipop head so that you've got um, a nice simple loop that one's called and then just put actually at this point you can take the pearl off if you want to although that's quite nicely um, on this piece of 0.6, it's quite snug, so I will leave it on. Now I've got a, some 0.4 uh, gold-plated wire. What I'm going to do, I will take that, let me just take that pearl off. If you find everything, any, anything at all is a little bit snug in any way, shape or form, just revert to your flat nose plier so you get more purchase on it and take off that pearl. Then I've got about, I suppose, about 18 inches. I don't do centimetres. I'm still doing the inches question mark mm -hmm. of 0.4. Inches and then, mark. yeah. Sorry, I've just clocked what you just said. <laughs> <laughs> so looking at that simple loop there at the end of that piece of 0.6, I'm just going to put uh, just between finger and thumb on the loop and then taking the 0.4 wire, I'm laying that on the top and then stabilising it with my thumb and then just tightly winding around the skeleton wire. So you wind around and then push so you're making a coil. Now count how many of the coils you're doing, that's number five. 
six, because we need a mirror image at the base of the pearl. Seven, eight, nine. Let's go for the easy number of 10. Right, and then just, because that's going to get in my way, so I'm going to snip off that little bit of residue that I started with. And now I'm going to pop my pearl back on. It's always a mistake taking the pearl off, Linda. <clears throat> there we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Again, taking my flat nose pliers. I'm just pulling the pearl up to the end of that coil. Now again, a little bit similar to the first demo with the uh, nine o'clock kit. Very, very similar when I used the three pearls, but this time working around half of the pearl till I come to the 0.6 wire and then winding that around once and then bringing that back along the other side and winding it around once again. Just sort of half a turn back to where I started and then again keeping some tension on this wire that you're curving around to try and get the nice sort of on top, the wire needs to sort of sit on top, which it will do eventually as it builds. And then again, just slightly underneath that last coil, that's coil number two. So I'm counting on this end as well. And then again, feeding that around and then slightly raised above the previous coil and then holding it nice and firmly in the previous um, demo, I used 0.25, so that was a little bit trickier, but the 0.4 has got more stability, so you'll find it much easier. So one coil all the way around, and then that's number five down there. That's right, so I'm waiting for 10, aren't I? Now, there we go. So each time you're going at the bottom end of the pearl, you're going downwards, with the coil and you're going upwards with the coil towards that simple loop. So again, around, give it a good tug and then urge it again around the side and then just above, you, you've actually got the benefit this end of these previous coils that you can slot in between. So you should have 10 all together, you will have 10 um, levels of wire going around the outside of the pearl because you're going around 10 loops at the top, so ideally 10 loops at the bottom. So around again, and following that round, you get the general gist of it now. Just urge the wire to be very, sort of uh, very close, they want to be together, very close, not necessarily on top of one another at the side, but quite close. So you're doing a halo around, and around, I think that was number eight. So that's eight there. So you're going back, down, just keeping an eye on the development of the herringbone. Again, tightly around, this is the last revolution. Around, good job too, because I'm running out of wire. Around the base, up to the top, and then we've got to the wrap loop now. So we just take that residue around two or three times and then take off that excess. And then obviously we need to finish this end as well. So because I dropped from, I dropped another small pearl from this pearl here, I'm going to put my flat nose pliers at the very base of that herringbone and then support the pearl, support the halo of the wire and 90 degrees. And then just snip off to about a centimetre or just under. Have you got my flat nose, my round nose, yes, darling? Thank sorry. you so much, that's quite all right. I mean, you are demoing here. And then the round nose pliers, about a centimetre, sorry, about a centimetre down the actual plier itself. And then, again, working it round to the elbow gets uncomfortable. Pop it back where it fits, which is that centimetre down on the other prong of the plier, and then encourage that down. Now, 
the only thing I don't, we don't normally worry too much about which way these loops go, but to be absolutely honest, it's when you're going to make that particular earring with the encrusted ones, it's better if you have the same profile on the two loops. So I'm just going to take right the way down the flat nose pliers and support the pearl and then just do a quick turn so that I've got, now I've gone and skewed that a little bit, just so I've got the profile. As I turn that one, that one turns, so you're best probably off having two sets of pliers and then doing it that way. But what you need is they need to be in exactly the same profile uh -huh. so that they will, so that's each earring then will dangle um, in the same direction. And then it's simply a matter, can I, can I pinch that a minute? Please? Yes. Uh, taking the encrusted earring and the end that I, I've just done that simple loop on, just open it like a jump ring towards you and then attach that onto the soldered jump ring of the earring finding and then close and you've got your herringbone ah. earring finding attached to the encrusted one and then it's entirely up to you if you want to put another little drop on it. If you don't, then when you've done finished doing the herringbone down the 0.6 wire, then just make sure that you wind plenty of the 0.4 around at the base of the herringbone and then just chop off the excess and it won't come away. If you're a little bit unsure, just the tiniest drop of nail varnish on the end to stop that from shifting. Beautiful. And as I say, you can use that herringbone around anything, any shape yeah. gemstone, whether it's faceted or, or whatever, you can use it around any and use it as a connecting point. Um, it looks really nice in a station type necklace. Yeah fitted into um, a chain all the way around with that design. So, They're uh, beautiful, absolutely beautiful pieces, Linda. I love every single one of them. And they're so wearable. We always say this, though, together, don't we? We always um, talk about how your jewellery is very commercial. Well, I embrace statement jewellery, um, but I also, at the same point, embrace wearable jewellery yeah so i like it to have some sort of a statement but not too much statement that most people won't wear it yeah. so you have to consider that when you're making jewellery yeah for selling it at all just have something that's eye-catching but keep it fairly simple in its design love it i just did a little loop in mine look Say how pretty Although I did, I did intend to do two, but um, yeah, I've, I've, I've taken you. No, I've, 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 I've butchered the head pin, so I was kind of oh, okay. hoping that you could well, help we'll me with that. But that's all right, that. isn't it? It's not too bad. It's not so much a loop. It's more of a kind of pair. But that's <laughs> all good. It's, it's all good. It's surprising, actually. Simple loops and wrap loops really are, hard. are always, always a part of my repertoire. I know that. Um, but it is practice making perfect. Yeah, mine's kind of like a, like a pair. <laughs> it's just one of those things, the more you do, the more, but the, the yeah. best thing about practicing those loops is the fact that you need to get that lollipop head. You do. You, you know, do. just so that, that whatever's dropping from it just drops with some freedom and it yeah. has some fluidity. Loving these. Now on to the love kit or voov. As my best year in the studio. Right, um, it's only because I got two V's for some reason. It should have the vum then, shouldn't it, really? Um, love it. You could put, you, it, you might have initials just there. You might just put, for example, I could put E, couldn't I? Yeah. Uh, just in there. Um, love it. So again, you get the three lengths of chain. So you're 18, 22, and 26. Um, plus, you get your cultured pearl strand, and also you get those lovely words, which are uh, cubic zirconia encrusted. Look how pretty that is. So beautiful. So beautiful. £19.99 pence only. We've got a hundred of these for the strand of pearls. I know I've said it already, but that's absolutely amazing, isn't it? It is amazing. Absolutely yes. amazing. Um, we're not stopping there, though. There's no question mark about it. You definitely get 18, 22, and 26. So it's not like, oh, I don't know which one you're going to get. You get all three of them. Um, <laughs> uh, 18, uh, maybe 22. No, you get all of them. 
It tickles me. It really tickles me. How quickly did you just do that? And like, seriously, <laughs> I, 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 I hash it's it just practice. I think time. I can do them in my sleep, to be truthful. Uh, 19 pounds and 99 pence only. We're not stopping there, though, lovely jewellery makers. We're going to go even lower. Wow. Matching that price point of the silver kit as well. So wait a second. I can get both of those kits for £26. Wow. For the strands. It's great. It's, particularly if you sell your jewellery, it's quite nice to have that diversity of either or, isn't it, with the metal colours yeah. and also the, the, um, the letters, what, you know. And more recently as well, you know, it was always about silver, wasn't it, for us? Um, silver was always the most popular colour. It probably still is. But now um, we're really, the warmer colours are a bit, a bit I, I think I, I think I read recently that gold is making a huge comeback over the autumn and winter. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Yeah. Not surprised by that at all. Um, which means this kit, doesn't it? Well, for a finish, you think if I go into Zara and I see, I don't know, uh, um, a necklace, maybe, well, just one initial, or if you see that love necklace, bearing in mind Zara, it's going to be costume jewelry, it's not going to be genuine pearls. Mm -hmm. It is not going to be anywhere near twelve ninety nine. No, no. You know, they're, even their costume no. jewelry. I mean, is... even you're going to Claire's now. Yeah. And that's oh, sort of yesterday. Significant, isn't it? <laughs> My daughter, um, who's just turned seven, she got some money from her uncle. And she's like, right, mummy, please can I go to Claire's? I was like, it won't go very far in Claire's, to be no, honest, no. Willow. Anyway, she scooped up these things. I was like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, take to the value of Comes, money. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly our mm. words as well. I was like, look, you can't afford all that. Sorry, go and put some of it back. And she was like, mm, disappointed. <laughs> no, you can't afford all that. Sorry, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and, and also she was looking at some of the earrings and I wouldn't let her get the earrings. I was going, not having those, Willow. A, because I work for a jewellery maker, but B, because I was like, they're, they're costume jewellery. They're going to make your ears hurt. So, um, whereas a lot of, in the ears, things like this, your sterling silver, much, much better, aren't they? Absolutely. I mean, my twin granddaughters have recently had their ears pierced and I instilled into them for the first, at least the first year use precious metal absolutely definitely and then you can you can try the the plated metals and yeah. then you can go for base metal but you know if you're going to have a reaction it's going to be to base metal yes i agree yeah i agree well done everybody make sure you do check out on those fabulous absolutely fabulous um gosh time has gone so quickly hasn't it today um, but I think we've got time to squeeze a few more items in as well. Get your messages in, come and say hello. Keep an eye on the website as well, because don't forget um, today's show's deal. We've got closeout deals on your Cotan Jade, which has been incredible. Got a few of those, but extremely limited. Um, we've also had the launch of your San and Scan. Um, so the connector, there's one of those. Oh, two, two of those, okay. All the, sold out, sold out. Has the eight mil sold out yet? Yeah, I'm not surprised. Oh, okay, nice. so you can get hold of the uh, San and Scarn uh, in a connector, the last one, the finale piece that we actually had. Um, so yeah, keep an eye, uh, keep an eye on uh, the website for that. There's been lots of incredible deals. Shall we do faceted? Okay, some faceted pearls. Wow. Wow. I think I've only ever seen those once before at Jewelry Maker. I mean, this is, you know, you hear that question, what do you buy somebody that's got everything? That's mm. what I, mm. how I perceive your faceted pearls to be. Because, you know, if you, um, if you know somebody that has already got an amazing jewelry collection um, and you just want to get them something slightly different, then a faceted pearl would be something that you'd like to entertain, but probably wouldn't normally because of the expense. Now, up until very recently, Mickey Moto, about 20 years ago, we couldn't facet pearls. This was, a, this was an idea, a concept that was actually put to, wasn't it, um, Roscoe? Uh, it was put to who? I can't remember. Jake was talking about it now. I've gone blank. I've just gone blank. Fabergé, that's it. A question was actually put to Carl Fabergé. Um, what do you think is going to be the future of jewellery? Um, and he said faceted pearls. And of course, no one took him seriously at that time. Can we, can we, can we bring that information up? Um, 
And he's like, no, yeah, nobody took him seriously. How would you pass it to Pearl? I how you, yeah, yeah, how is that going to happen? And he could have spoken about his eggs, couldn't he? He could have oh, spoken yeah. about his amazing jewellery, but no, he actually spoke about um, faceting a pearl. Um, many years later, and it took decades and decades, the diamond cutting company mastered this, um, this amazing technique. Um, but to facet a pearl, first and foremost, you need to have the finest quality pearl. They need to have a very delicate, fine nacre, so it can't be too gritty, because obviously that's going to flake and pit and not be ideal. Um, every single pearl has approximately 200 facets, which is just mind-blowing. Um, but yeah, we can show you, it was some time ago, there we go, in 1910, a French journalist who was interviewing Carl Fabergé asked him, among other questions, what, in your opinion, um, will be the popular jewellery of hundreds of, uh, of hundred years from now? Fabergé answered, facet pearls. Of course, everyone thought he was joking. Um, reading on. Um, and it was written about here at the AGTA Spectrum Awards, the world's finest jewellery and coloured gemstone combinations. Those pictured pieces like this, platinum honours, that's one single, that's one in mm. platinum, you know. And again, you'll notice that's, a, that's a, a, a Tahitian pearl, but that's one Tahitian pearl, whereas you're getting an entire strand. Here, jewellery insights by Katerina Perez, who wrote about faceted pearls. You're getting a South Sea and a Tahitian pearl there, but two, there's two. Too, whereas you've own you've got an entire strand and they're not small they need to be the finest quality pearls they need to grow mature to a size so that you can actually facet them down but they need to have that beautiful pure fine nacre surface now um we're at 499 genuinely uh, that this for the person that absolutely has everything you know and we've spoken a lot about legacy jewelry today haven't we mm -hmm. that's what a faceted pearl is to me yeah i mean i said this is this will only be the second time i've seen it in fact this is the first time i've seen a faceted freshwater pearl because the previous one was a shell pearl. Or, yeah oh okay yeah yeah, well, shell pearls are reconstituted, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, so they're easier to facet because you can carve them. But looking, I mean, from what, a couple of feet away, the faceting on this is almost like flat glitter. Yeah. An iridescent glitter on it. And it is done. We can read on. Look, the Japanese factory, Komatsu Diamond Industries, specialise in diamond cutting and have done since 1967, were the first to pioneer this technology. Their original goal was to find a way of sprucing up ordinary looking Akoya pearls. Sprucing up. Um, and in one of their experiments, they tried applying diamond cutting technology to the pills it took 20 years to achieve the desired result and they after that by the way said never again they're never doing yeah. it again because 20 years is quite you know it's quite yeah. an investment of time isn't yes. it but again the quality the beauty the luster the light performance the fact that it is so different well done everybody um now if that is say just a little bit beyond your budget then i do have another option now, now on that, Kater it wasn't Katerina Prez that made that piece of jewellery, I don't think, but she wrote about them on that. But that piece that is photographed in that article, they have a white and they have a Tahitian, I believe. Well, if you love that kind of yin and yang contrast or mixture of your colours, then we're about to bring you an opportunity of three. You remember that clasp we had, that horseshoe shaped clasp? Yeah. Very Mulberry-esque. Well, that, you could almost emulate that, couldn't you? Yeah. With that piece of, with that clasp. You could. Now that is a natural purple pearl. Gosh. It couldn't be dyed, otherwise you'd facet the dye away. Mm -hmm. That's a natural papaya, and that's a pure white. You can see when we're up close right now, you can see how that can, there's about 200 facets. Uh, let me introduce you to a gentleman called, on, is it Victor? <laughs> Victor uh, Tuzlukov, is that right, Tuzlukov? Um, there is also exclusive exhibit showing off the work of Pearl Cutter and a field of which Victor Tuzlukov is disputably the master. Victor has cut around 20 pearls in his pursuit of perfect symmetry, half of which can be seen decorating the jewellery of Russian designer. Good luck with that one. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to even attempt it. Um, which he donated in the Russian state uh, depository uh, and the Kremlin Museum as prime examples of top quality modern jewellery art. And two have found 
found their way into private collections it, within America. 20 pearls he's cut in his legacy. Mm -hmm. 20. Yeah. Well, the, the only... Th I've recently been doing some more research on pearls, looking for something new to bring you guys out there. And I've come across something that is called a Druzy pearl. Yeah. Now, they are rarer than hen's teeth these Druzy pearls. So I think this is the answer yeah. to um, finding that Druzy pearl, which is like a, you know, Druzy is like a crystallized mm. formation on a gemstone or within a gemstone, within a geode. Yep. Um, but getting it to, you know, I think, I think, that, I think that's Dave's next thing. I oh, think that's exciting. Find that, but this is. A, I think this is going to be as near as we can get to well, that Druzy pearl. We are at fifty pounds per faceted natural pearl. That's a great price, even without the facet. Even without the facets, because these are natural purples, natural papayas, um, and they are through drilled. So you could absolutely use them with all of your bales, uh, you know, which we bring to you on a, uh, on many occasions. Let's take a significant pr chunk off that price tag for you. Uh, again, this is that. To facet a pearl is something that up until very recently, very, very recently, we'd have gone, no, you can't do that. You can't facet a pearl. But little did we know that it was actually something that was doing, be, being developed by, by one, a Japanese company that it took 20 years to master. £89.99 gets you all three. I mean, that's £30 per faceted pearl. Do you think, the, do, do, do you think that South Sea and, uh, and Tahitian pearl was anywhere near double figures? No, definitely not. And this is also not where Jake closed this opportunity. We will match his unbelievable deal. Even if these pearls were not faceted, that level of artistry, there's that word again, um, again, which we use all the time when it comes to cutting or carving your gemstones. Even if it didn't have that level of artistry influence to it, that's a fantastic price point. I mean, I can see the difficulty of getting a pearl faceted in symmetry. Well, look how, how <coughs> mirror-like it is, mm -hmm. Linda. It looks like it's coated in glass, doesn't it? Yeah, and, and I mean, with a gemstone, yes, it's it's feasible to, to get yeah. that faceted well, there's in a symmetry. Structure. Exactly. But with a pearl structure, you've only got between 1 and 1.5 millimetres mm -hmm. of nacre, or nacre, whichever way you want to say it, to work with. Well... I don't know whether they grow them that much la larger with more nacre maybe to facet it down. I don't know. I'm no expert I think on it's this. very much look at the draw when you, you know, a mollusk produces X amount of nacre. I think it's very much look at the draw. I don't think they've quite gone that far that they can actually measure the nacre that will form. Here we are at 89.99 and we are going even lower. We will match Jake's unbelievable deal not closing here we can't have many of these left can we less than 30 remain within our vault going to show you a few other designs of faceted pearls uh, oh my goodness wow it's like a chrysanthemum flower like, 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 how amazing is chain that or, uh, not I mean, channel chain it's the what's the chain i'm thinking of help me out here Elle. cup, cup chain, chain. Yeah. Ah, okay yes yeah, so you've yeah. got layers like a chrysanthemum flower how beautiful is that Oh, very geometric. Look at the That's, level of precision. That is beautiful. Look at that precision. That is gorgeous. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, amazing. Symmetry, like you say, mathematical uh, uh, symmetry. To be honest, though, I think, Elle, I think making it just out of the pearl without any of that backdrop will be just as stunning. I agree. I do agree. I think it overcomplicates it a little bit, don't mm -hmm. you think? Because it then is yeah. the star of the show. Yeah. yeah. Shall we match that price point then? Never mind £30 per pearl. How about you get all three of them, all three, with change from a £50 note? My goodness me, we're talking about what? 16? 18 pounds each. 18 pounds each, is that about right? Six. How amazing is that? 16, you 16 were right. 16 pounds and 66 pence. Five, Nicola, Kathleen, Maker in Kent, amazing. Um, let me just double check before I say this. They are half drilled. Are they half drilled? Yeah. Half drilled, so all you need to do is pop your peg bale in the top, leave it overnight, and you've just made the most beautiful, luxurious pendant. Um, I'm with you, Linda. I think, you know, what, as beautiful as those pieces are, and, and amazing pieces of jewellery, um, 
I'm, I'm looking at that more than the pearl. Yeah, absolutely. So am I. This is why I, I, I was thinking before those um, photos came up that um, the pearl on its own is stunning in a ring. <laughs> I have just spent more on a tank of petrol. Ridiculous deals. Yeah, it's a good point. Yeah, I did exactly the same yesterday. It's yeah. astonishing. It is. It's a good point. Um, and that's gone down, isn't it? The price yeah. of that has gone down. Um, well done, everybody. Congratulations. Make sure you are checking out your baskets. I'll leave those final few with you. Oh, it's so beautiful. Wow. We launched this with Jake. Can we just take the moment to... We closed that white strand at 499, didn't we? Which was bleached. This is, you've got the white, but you've also got the natural purples. Take a moment to appreciate natural this. papayas. There are only five of these in existence now. Now, you know, even with the five, this deserves to be a star buy, but time has, oh my goodness, time has literally run away with us. These are all hand carved. Look, at, look how beautiful they are. It's like, a, um, you know, when you look at a peony before it blooms? Yes. Like that yeah. closely yeah. knit bud, aren't they? Ev oh, it's I mean, unbelievable. When you think about a, a cultured pearl, freshwater pearl, a koi, any, any sort of pearl, how can that be made more beautiful? More beautiful. And, I mean, I don't want to compare the two. No, because they're very it's, different. It's all very much eye of the beholder, isn't it? But I, I think... You're quite right, Elle. It's almost as if there's been a glass coating. Uh, coating around it. And it's all down to that faceting, that precision, that surface luster. Now, there are five of these left within the vault. Once they're gone, that's it, they're gone. I'm not saying we're never going to be able to get faceted pills again, but I should imagine it's not an easy task. It's well, it's taken us nearly 40 years exactly. to get those. Remember, <clears throat> natural purples, natural papayas... Now, the all-white strand, we closed at 499. That's amazing. That is absolutely amazing. You've got 10 to 11 millimetre pearls here. Remember, uh, we've been told in the past by a pearl expert saying, look, the, uh, any, a pearl over um, double-digit millimetres is like equivalent to the rarity um, of, of, I think he said, two-carat diamond, something like that. Oh, I would so imagine we are it talking would be. I mean, that's when the price goes up hugely. It's a milestone, isn't it? It's yeah, a huge milestone. Massive milestone. In 35 seconds, bearing in mind you've got your natural purples, your natural papayas, in 30, well, 26 seconds now, we are taking it to a lower price tag. Is there logic in this? No. No, definitely not, even though you've got rarer purple colours, purple, um, you've got your papayas, huge in their size. And you've got your 0% interest split payment. Don't be afraid to use that. Good luck, everybody. I've got collectors getting involved. This is the kind of jewellery that I would pass, you know, this is the kind of piece that you go, okay, for, for some, it's definitely heirloom, but somebody that's already got an amazing pearl necklace that maybe is looking for something that little bit different from all the rest. You can almost imagine Richard Taylor, uh, Richard Taylor, Richard Burton would have yeah. bought... Liz Taylor, because yeah, it's, definitely. it's just different. It is just that little bit different. £399. The reason why I'm shocked by that is because you have got natural purples, you have got natural papayas, and I would expect this to be closing higher um, than the previous white faceted pearl strand. The final three, Nicola, amazing. It's absolutely beautiful. You'll love it. Bidders on the phone lines. There's three left. If you press your option one, you do have a chance. Speak to our call centre. I've also got a maker in Fife. I can see you there. Five of them left once they're gone. I mean... I, I never say never. I'm not going to sit here and say there was only ever 15 actually brought to air, so it's an incredibly exclusive opportunity. Uh, Gillian and Devon, you can leap above everybody else right now and uh, and secure yours. Absolutely, if you check out your basket, the final two opportunities um, down to the last one. Gillian, amazing, you've done it. Congratulations. Um, yeah, don't let that put you off. You can phone that free phone telephone number, speak to your calls, our call centre, and that can be yours. And if you miss out, always wish list it because our call centre can, uh, will call you back. Now, there's three of you within your baskets and a couple of you on the phone lines. So I'm going to take this time to say good luck.
Well done to everybody, um, particularly on your, uh, your, your brand new launch that happened today, your, your uh, San and Scan. It's just mesmerically beautiful. I've loved every single moment of the, uh, this Friday show. It's been sellouts across the board of your San and Scan. Um, a stunning kit, beautiful inspiration and demos from our lovely Linda. Thank you. Do you know? Do you know when you're back? Twenty second, I think, is the next one. Twenty second finger. Oh, it might be with me. I feel like it's with me. Is it Tuesday or Wednesday? I have no idea. No actually. idea. Just, so. just, just know the number. No, we'll not just remember that number. <laughs> uh, well, we can't wait. It's been wonderful. <laughs> well, it's it really been has. Fantastic show. Congratulations to everybody that got that gorgeous. I know. Um, San and Scar. San and Scar. See, I'm not used to it. Yeah, that we're not used to it yet. We're so still trying new. to program it into yeah. our brains. I'm back with a lovely Mark tomorrow and also Dave. So, um, bless mutton fat, coat and mutton fat, and beautiful kits with Mark coming up as well. Um, we'll see you bright and early in the morning. Have a nice afternoon. And see you. you soon. Bye.